on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com, where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of Hello, 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 hello. Now, Jess is presenting today and she's doing every... I'm well, not presenting, I was about to producing, but she's doing everybody... She's counting down, she's telling me everything. She can do everybody's job today. Just turn them down to a bit loud. Right, uh, now, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Didn't rain on the way in this morning. I know, I know, I can't believe. I was a bit worried, I was a bit worried. But we did have an electric um, power cut during the night. So I was stressed because I, I had to get up, get my native light torch... No, I, I think Luther, something wrong with Luther at the moment as well. I think he's going a bit, got a bit of dementia or something like that. He's only three and a half, but um, no, 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 it's a cat. So that's cat years, he's 20s. But he, he just wa he wanders into a room and goes, 
Ah, it doesn't meow. It's a cat that doesn't meow, right? And then he goes like this, and he, ah, and they go, I'm, I'm here, Lucy. Go, oh, and then he just trot off so it's just about ten times a night, and it's getting exhausting. Anyway, shall we do today's early bird? Graphics in. Our first hour is all we love William Morris, and this is early bird goes with it. Right, these should be six. Now I need to tell you something, right? These are credit card holders which have that protector in. So if the naughty people have got scammers, they'll be fine in there. You don't choose which pattern you get. They're completely random. They're what? RFID blocking something or other it's called. What will Hobby Maker making? Yes, because there's glue all over this table again. Uh, anyway, uh, you can't choose. Now, the other thing I want to say to you is if you buy six of them, you won't get one of each because they're all in a big box in the warehouse. The warehouse go, oh, Cat's ordered two. Jess has ordered 27. Ollie's ordered one. Do you know what I mean? So it's just that's how they get them out of the box. Right, they should be six ninety nine. Early bird price, please, Jess. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Now you see this one here. You see this one here. I've got that in a tea towel now. I got it as a present. I got it as a present this week. That one. That. that was my favorite. Oh, that's Cat's favourite one as well. There you go. Thank you, Kate, the collector. Anyway, anyway, uh, these always sell out whenever we have them. So what they are is you've got look. Your plasticky coating there, and then you press your button to open them. Your credit card sit in there, and then you keep them all nice and safe in your bag and everything. And the brilliant thing about them all being bright like that is you can see it at the bottom of your bag. How many cards could you fit in there? I don't know. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because you should never have them rubbing against each other, should you? Why would you do that? Oh, she hasn't got six cards and she used to put her glasses cleaner in there. But isn't your glasses cleaner in your glasses case, your William Morris glasses case? There you go. Uh, oh, loads of people multi-buying. Let's see. Margaret says, good morning. Sue says, good morning. Pam Minihani says, crazy Lorraine. Happy anniversary, crazy Lorraine. It's our 50th wedding anniversary today. 50 years. Yet less for life, don't you, these days? Uh, 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 what else is here? Delia says, morning, John Team. Looking forward to a lovely morning with you all. June says, morning, gorgeous. Donna says, morning. Uh, Margaret says, congratulations on your wedding anniversary. Uh, that's for you, Crazy Rain, not me. Uh, Paula says, morning, John and team. Love Paul in deep cut. Crazy said, can you wish Steve a happy golden wedding anniversary? Of course. I've, I've already done it. Steve, she was well, Crazy Lorraine. Now, Crazy Lorraine, because she's much, much younger. She was a child bride, weren't you, Crazy Lorraine? 50 years. 50 years, she was a child bride, because Steve's quite old. Uh, it was his birthday last week, and he got a cream tea from somebody. It looked lovely. Uh, anyway, they're having a big party tonight. You'll have met Crazy Lorraine to show you. Yeah. Uh, morning, is he going deaf? Who? Is who going deaf? Luther. Oh, maybe. Oh, OK, hang on. Let's have a look at these then. I had an LD Jack Russell that did that. We thought he was seeing ghosts. Gwen, I thought that. He's not old, though. He's only three. Um, I thought that last night because I know there's a lot of spirits in my house and I was thinking maybe he's chatting to the spirits because then he went in the garden. He was doing that in the garden as well. Um, <clears throat> Oh, yeah, they are on a different plate, but he's, he's a cat who's never... Ne so when I got him from Cherry, she, I said, oh, he never meows, and she used to meow all the time, and he's never meowed, right? Um, and he does go out fighting all the time. No, he doesn't look startled at all. He's so laid back, I can't tell you. But he's huge. He's, like, this big. He's massive. He's absolutely... And he's big, softy, and everything like that. But it's just... I'm just a bit worried. OK, good morning, John and team. It's my 70th birthday today. Might have to spend some of the cash. Meg for... Do you know what, Wakefield... Oh, wait, Meg, I used to live in Wakefield. I was at Bretton Hall College. Uh, isn't it funny, that Nita we had in the other day as well? She was from Bretton Hall, wasn't she? And I just remember going... When I, used, when I was at Bretton Hall College, you used to have to walk through the prison to get to the library. They still have to do that. Yeah, you had to walk through the prison grounds to get to the library. No, Bretton Hall College. I was doing my degree, my first degree. Anyway, happy birthday, Meg. Happy birthday, my love. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Morning, John and team. It's actually sunny heat and temperature 13... Oh, here, here, and temperature is 13 degrees in Shropshire. Oh, Heather, there's something wrong with that, isn't there? It's going to be really hot here as well. I'm, oh, I can get my ice tub then if it's going to be... Oh, no, I've got to go and open Yvonne McAtamley shop after I've been here today. Maybe tonight I'll get in the tub. People multiplying. Half, almost half the stock has gone. Yeah, okay, and you're going to feed me all my lines today then. We knew this was going to be popular. 
<laughs> well, some producers don't, but that's fine. I don't mind. No, no, you give me important information. OK, we're going to do a fifu. Uh, so easy to fit the cards in and easy to find. Oh, I said that, didn't I? Uh, hopefully it protects the cards well. It will, Joan. It will. Was that a fifu? It was a fifu a month ago. Got another one. Oh, she's doing fifus rather than cutting messages today. Love it. Excellent product for any William Morris fan from Heidi. Heidi, hi, Heidi. Or 99, it's up to you. Uh, morning, John and team. Love to go to Luther. Oh, thanks, Josephine. Well, Josephine, they love their catnip mice. Love them. Yeah. Beautiful. 4 99 They love them a bit too much, though, because they hide them behind the telly. And then they go and fight behind the telly with these cat... Oh. Too much catnip, maybe. Yeah, but then why isn't Ghost... I wonder if he's going blind. No, June, he's definitely not going blind. I just think he... Mike and Julie have got a cat like that. Uh, 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 oh, hang on, what's she called? What's that one called? Anyway, and he keeps picking up socks and carrying socks around the house. Uh, Mari says, morning, John. Heat wave on the way, so your ice plunge pool will come in handy. It won't last, though, will it? The ice is going in tonight. Morning, John and team. Silent meows are not silent, just too high pitch here. Well, can't I, he never even opened his mouth. It never, he just used to wander around like this. Very, yeah, and then he got into loads of fights. And then the last one, he's got kind of a, like, a boxer's nose now. Oh, we were at the vet every month. £220 a month it was, every month. Uh, and then um, he stopped going, he, he doesn't go out very much anymore. He, doesn't, he just goes in the back garden now. May, maybe, but the vet said it, it wasn't the other animals bullying him. It was him bullying the other animals. Oh, yeah, Meg, Meg. No, John, we have a new library now, but it's a lot smaller. Oh, there you go. Well, it was a long time ago I was there, Meg. 1978 I was there. You'll have been a young woman then, Meg. Actually, not that much. Oh, have I told you this story about that, where I used to live in Twicken, about the, house, the car going into the house, right? The Daily Mail wrote, uh, car rammed an elderly lady's house. She's the same age as me. It's in the Mail on Sunday. Not Mail on Sunday, Mail Online. It's an elderly lady. Thank you very much indeed. Anyway, keep going through for these. Keep going through. L yes. Loads in baskets. Check out, check out, check out at 499. They are random, though. You can't choose which one you want. You see, I, oh, they're all lovely, aren't they? Don't be, you won't be disappointed. Sandra says, morning, John and team. Off to our broth today. We'll watch on the train. Fingers crossed. Oh, what? The train's not running again. Oh, the train strikes threatened. Do you not listen to the news, Jess? Oh, no, 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 there might not be. There might not be. Uh, I, I, everyone's worried about Festival of Quilts, aren't they? If they change like Festival of Quilts Day again. Oh, today? How much was your ticket? Oh, that's a cheap one. Four night, four night. Yeah, my niece, right? My niece has got tickets for Taylor Swift. Of all the things my niece is, I didn't think she was a Swifty, right? And she and six friends are going, and my brother got them tickets. It was like a couple of grand, the tickets. 4 99 keep going through. Uh, oh, talking about lottery, I got an email to someone said I won something on the lottery, and I've opened it. So I could be sitting here with £3.20 in my bank account now, couldn't I? Or a free lucky dip. No, they come later in the week, don't they? The lucky dips. I don't know. <laughs> I always remember when I came back from... Oh, yeah, what's she called? Gwen. Gwen, what's her last name? Oh, <laughs> Grandma Gwen's watching. Not allowed to give your surname out. Why, is she, is, uh, is she on the run? Jessie's Grandma Gwen's watching. No surnames. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let me tell you, I got back from Ethiopia when I was filming in Ethiopia <clears throat> and I did my lottery ticket. And in those days, they used to announce the, the numbers, but then you had... So they, I was going out to the pub and I had my long hair and my shorts on and everything, and I'd got five numbers, but you couldn't ring till after eight o'clock. So I'd spent the whole evening in the pub thinking, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. I was... No, I wasn't spending that well, just in the Richmond Arms in Richmond. Anyway, um... Got home with one thousand pounds, which is nothing to be sniffed at. But I thought I was going to be a millionaire. You see, with five numbers in those days, no train strike, no train strikes in Scotland. Oh, she's worried about the Wi-Fi issues on the train. Not a train strike. Over half the stocks gone. We've got to move on. Actually, it's eleven minutes past. 
Yeah, design a block panel. We'll do it very, very quickly. You know we do this competition where <clears throat> you buy a block, 5 99 There you go, 5 99 And what you do is you need to make a block that's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Do not wad it. Do not back it. Do not bind it. Just the, just the block itself it needs to measure 12 and a half by 12 and a half so that it's, once it's in the block, it's 12 by 12. We will get hundreds and hundreds. Well, I know already there's... As hundreds of these have gone already. We only launched it this week on Monday or Tuesday of this week. Right, so the 12 winners will each receive £100 worth of credit onto their Sewing Street account. And they will, all the, the blocks will be put, put together in a quilt uh, and it'll be launched at the first day at Festival of Quilts, be on the wall on our stand on Festival of Quilts. I'll be there on the Thursday. <clears throat> and then all the other, we can't send any back to you, but all the others then get divided out and people can make quilts for charity out of all the others. So nothing goes to waste, like nothing goes to waste. So what you need to do, you make a 12 and a half inch uh, block. Now it can be anything. It can be piecing, it can be EPP, it can be FPP, it can be embroidered, it can be beaded. You need to send it by the 14th of June to untit 2 d spelling mistake, that was there last year. I can't believe it. I'm going to blame Lou. Oh, Amy! Amy from Amber Makes did this panel. Amy. I won't say your surname. We're not allowed to do surnames today. Amy from Amber Makes, right? She did this one, right? Here's last year's, right? This is last year's. Right, ooh. Here we go. So this is what, obviously, will be different because there'll be 12 different blocks chosen. But there's the other Jans there. So you've got, we've got cathedral windows, Dresden plate, piecing, applique. Uh, we've got more applique, got embroidery. We've got folded technique. We've got FPP and we've got EPP. You can be anything you want. Now, you can add, you can add, you don't just have to use the panel because obviously in that dog one, they added a little bit of black there. Um, and I'm sure there was another one that had other fabrics added to it. You can do beading, you can do embroidery. Uh, do you remember the year before somebody made the picture of me, Stuart, Vix and Rebecca Reed? That was the one of the winners. Now, somebody messaged in the other day going, I couldn't make one that beautiful, I'm not entering. Gather, go, you'll never know. Oh, hang on, Jess. Right, OK. No bribes allowed, but Jess was on the committee of picking them last year. Yeah. Oh, so which one was that then? Okay. I'm not going to say that. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. That. So you're buying the panel, uh, and you make a panel. You send it to us by June the fourteenth. Right. Menu. Today's menu. I think where we were then. We love William Morris at eight o'clock. At nine o'clock, the house of Victoria. Victoria Murness rhymes with Loch Ness. Here's a picture of a cushion. There they are. There are all the cushions. There, that's in the nine o'clock hour. Ten o'clock fabric panels with Debbie Moore featuring Bella. <coughs> I said, I'm not speaking to Debbie Moore because she didn't read out my message on her um, Facebook Live. Then we go back to Little House of Victoria. Brand new little bags. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Cute as a button they are. Then at 12 o'clock, we've got Miss It, Miss Out quilt. Now, there's only a couple in boxes. Lots of them are like Amanda Little and Delphine and things like that. So, um, so that's at 12 o'clock. There are three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. That's studio. And we promise we'll open the email. It's not been in today. Uh, at studio at sewingstreet.com. The second one is Facebook Live, which one's I've been shouting out. And then the third way is going to the website. So you go to www.sewingstreet.com. There it is, top right-hand corner. Uh, you click, click on watch the show live. Then this page will come up. You'll see me on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side there, there's a little white box where you can write your message. And they're the ones that come up on the bottom later. Scroll down the page and you will see two columns in a minute. The left-hand column. Oh, we've already got a left-hand column. Oh, because we've done two things, haven't we? That's right. So there's today's show deals. Anything you've seen so far is on the left-hand side there. On the right-hand side, coming up on today's show, it's everything that you're going to see for the next five hours now we've got brand new william morris we've got L deluxe deluxe tapestry and we've got polyester if you're going to make an outdoor cushions or uh, tablecloths and things like that now you know how much you can pay for the tablecloth fabric in a very famous high street store 
never knowingly undersold. Anyway, look, so they're all the fabrics from the first stand. We've also got some x-ray backings and a few uh, just the cotton stand. Beautiful. Oh, something just fell over then. Um, gorgeous. We're still William Morris. We won't get through all that, will we? There's loads and loads. We'll have to go very, very fast in the first hour. There we go. Little House of Victoria. Uh, cushions. Brand new one there. Brand new one there. Beautiful, aren't they? They're wool. There's some wool and some... Look at that lovely one there. The poppy and tulip. That's brand new. Lovely, aren't they? Strawberry sunflower. That's new as well. Look. Now, you know the lovely... Um, Fabric, you can make a cushion and a thing that's... Uh, uh, we can't do them again after today. Oh, once we sold out. Uh, right, then we've got Debbie Moore featuring Bella. Now, where's the new one? There's a new one in here somewhere. Will it? Fairy panels, flower panels. Uh, uh, there it is. Was it that one? That one? No, no, no. No, because now we've gone on to Victoria. Never mind, carry on. You'll find it. Um, some of those come out twice there, haven't they? Anyway. Brand new embroidery kit. Look at the little bags. Aren't they cute? We've never had those before. Beautiful. Uh, a lot of these... Now, some of these won't be actually in the show. They're just... About, so if, you, if we do the show, you think, where's that one? It'll be on the web. It'll be on the web for you. There's so much, there's so much to get through there. Then we go quilts you will love. They go quilt kits you will love. Now there's a new panel. There's a new panel somewhere. It's got a yucca tree on it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Beautiful. Oh, there's that swift quilting um, monochrome temperature quilt. Right, oh, now, entangled, you mean? Do you mean the entangled or... Yeah, right. Entangled, right? That's one that Stuart and I did last week. We had hundreds of those. There's one left. There's one left. Beautiful, look. Gorgeous. Now, you know that entangled quilt? That you don't pay 249 for it. Anyway, let's get going, right? Oh. Right, let's get going. Oh, tapestries, tapestries, tapestries. Now, I need to tell you what else we've got, right? So remember I said at the beginning, we've got these. I'm not doing them. I'll do the tapestries first. You see these? These are like uh, if you want to make a tablecloth or a summer poncho or outdoor cushions. They're polyester. They're water repellent. And how gorgeous are they going to look in your garden? They're coming up after my tapestries. So I'm going to do the tapestries first. You won't believe the price of those. You will not believe the price of those. Because it's... Uh, well, I'll show you when we come to it. Right, tapestry. Are you going to follow me or am I going to follow you? OK. Yeah, at G0412. <gasps> now, this here, this is Baffer's favourite William Morris print. In the tapestry. Now, uh, they got these in for my... Not this one. They got these tapestries... Look, 7 99 They got these tapestries in for my birthday show last year. Uh, and it all sold out. It all sold out. These are all new patterns. Look at the width, right? Look at the width. Look. Is that 60 inches wide? 150 centimetres wide? You're buying it by the half metre, remember? Isn't it lovely? I'll pop it down on the desk. I just want to see how wide it was. Oh, 140. 140 centimetres. 80, 20. 80 cent cotton, 20 cent polyester. Um, they're not 60 inches wide. They're 55 inches wide. Uh, you can wash it in the machine. Seven ninety nine, beautiful, aren't they? Look at the backs as well. Uh, right, so it's not done like a tapestry because there's not loose, there's not loose thread. So you can use both sides if you wanted to. If you prefer that side, lovely, isn't it? A lining, a bit heavy for a lining, isn't it? A bit heavy for curtain lining. <laughs> No, don't use filet. Oh, oh, and the other thing is, the other thing is, right, if you're making curtains out of it, look what they've done. They've made it so that the print, and I didn't practice this one earlier, so keep your fingers crossed. They've made it so... Oh, yeah, go, 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 go. So they've made it so the print matches up, look. Look, so you only have... You don't have to go, where's the repeat or anything. They've made it, look, so it matches up. How brilliant is that? 
Well, if you if you try to match seams, everything like that, a lot of times you have to waste fabric by moving it across and finding where the pattern is repeated. But this way they've done it. So if you are making curtains, you only, you don't waste anything. You only use your seam allowance. You're not, because a lot of the time you'd have to go, oh, there's that tree. There's that tree. So I'll put it over there like that. And then you've wasted all that fabric in there. But this one, it matches directly. Oh, question. Good morning, John. Would the tapestry fabric be suitable for... Yes, indeed, it would. Bonita. Bonita. Which... Have you got the dining room chairs with just the cushiony bit? Or are they the ones like the ones I used to have in Habitat that are completely covered? Any which way that you can use it. Also, you can use it for piano stools, um, poufets, poufets, uh, all those things. Tuffets, tuffets, a little tuffet that you sit on. A garden kneeling cushion. Right, OK, I'm not trying to be negative, but a garden kneeling cushion, I might OG coat it. Only because cause your mud might get into the weave. Now you're loving this one, and it's only the first one. Cousin Susan says good morning. Uh, uh, Jan says, the other Jan says good morning. What are you saying, Jess? Yeah, yeah, you're buying off the bolt, remember? You're buying it off the bolt, so it's by the half metre. But obviously, if you want three metres, you get a three metre piece. Beautiful. Keep checking out, keep checking out. I'll move on, because we've got so many shades. Same one now in Bordeaux. Yeah. Wine. Wine. Well, isn't Bordeaux a wine? Red wine. Yeah. Beautiful. Or oh, dead or alive. Oh, no, you should never stop. Never stop for a monk, Jack. Because they jump on your bonnet. And the amount of damage they do when they jump on your bonnet. Oh, no, they love that. Like, I've got hundreds in my village. We have proper reindeers. Never, not reindeers. What's um, doe deer? You know, the ones with the white spots on their back. Just, and then it's really funny in the summer when they're combine harvesting because the deers will chase the combine harvester. Anyway, seven ninety nine. Beautiful. And morning, did you plunge this morning? No, Angela didn't. I didn't put the ice in you. Yeah. No, I didn't, because do you know what happened last night? We got a power cut in the middle of the night, and I was convinced that the electric wouldn't come on, and I was thinking, how am I going to have a shower? How am I going to get... I've got to go to Yvonne's shop later. I don't want to arrive at work smelly or anything like that. So I was panicking. Am I doing what? When, I, when I've got to... I'm going to start tomorrow, and I'm, you do it a couple of times a day, yeah. Do it before I get ready for work, before I have your shower in the morning. And then uh, again in the evening. Right, here you go. Oh, I like this one. This is the blue version. Yeah. There you go. Look. Now, remember, I'm only showing you half of it there. It's actually 144 centimetres wide. Beautiful, isn't it? In fact, this could have been my drive into work this morning. Part of, all this had flooded and the roads were all falling apart. And there's big potholes in the floor. Good morning, John. Can I ask what is eau de coat? Shirley, eau de coat is the stuff that you gloop onto any cotton fabric and it make, turns it into um, oil cloth. So it makes it waterproof. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Morning, John. Hope you're OK. Looking forward to the show today. Lots of, oh, Trisha, how are you? Trisha's the one that Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie stayed with. And when she left Warwick, she usually says she's through Warwick on there, doesn't it? She wasn't going to take her overlock with her. And I said, you'll regret it. You'll regret it. Anyway, she took it with her. 7.99. I love, what colour have they called that? Blue. Oh, blue. <laughs> right, I'm going to get a speedy on now because it's 25 past. So now I'm moving. That's all of those with the deers on. Now I've got, oh, this is nice. Yep. There's a bit of honeysuckle. Is it honeysuckle and tulip? Oh, uh, OK. Uh, honeysuckle and navy. I'd say there was tu with tulips in there as well. Beautiful, though. Uh, let me put it in shot. Look. Uh, oh. Now, loads in baskets. Loads in baskets. The what, did you say? 
Blue is very popular today. Wait till you see the next one in green. You're going to love the next one in green. What's the matter? Oh, uh, it sounded more of a, oh, no, no. So, oh, excited. Look at the green one. Yep. Emerald. Now, you see, it's, I'd say it was um, not Colombian, but there's a bit of blue in there. So maybe a Brazilian emerald, this one. I used to work in jewelry. Me, we used to work in jewelry, didn't we, Ollie? I didn't work with Ollie in jewelry, but we both used to work in jewelry. Ollie worked here on jewellery and I worked at Rocks and Cone Jewellery. GIA trained and everything, me. Uh, Jill, uh, Jill says I love William Morris. How lovely is that? Oh, I've got this in another cup. Oh, no, 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 no. I have, take that back, take that back, take that back. The next one's not the same, but it's of the of an ilk. Very traditional, I think. Moving on. Then we look at this one. This loads to get through, yeah. Oh, it is the same. It is the same. Look, honeysuckle and tulip. Uh, if I can find a label, I tell you, ninety-one. Oh, well, hang on, is it different then? Yeah, yeah, no, it's the same fabric. It's the same fabric. They just hadn't put the rose in the last one. Or oh, is rose the colour? Rose is the colour. Yeah, there's just been a bit. Barry's a little bit. That's the back. That's the back. Beautiful, seven ninety nine. Brand new, brand new, brand new. Never been seen. That's what brand new means. Never been seen before. <laughs> right now, moving on to pomegranate. I can recap these. Don't worry, I'll recap these. But I just want to get them all out there. <gasps> oh, I want to say pomegranate and tulip. But let's have a look. Pomegranate lily. Oh, hang on, lily. Uh, where, where's the lily? Where's oh there? There's the lily. Lily, pomegranate. They've forgotten to mention whatever that is, and the tulips again. Tulips get very left out. There's no honeysuckle on there. Right, where do you think there's honeysuckle? This is pomegranate here. That green there's leaf. Just leaf. Oh, Alice and Marion. Oh, Alice and Marion, shouldn't you be getting in your car? She's going to Yvonne's shop opening today as well. It, it, I think it's open. I'm, I'm obviously going straight after here. I'm cutting the ribbon this afternoon. But it's open. There's cake and biscuits, free cake and biscuits, cups of tea. It's not far from it. It's B98, the postcode. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think it's still B98. Who's going? Bruce is going because it's in, near Bruce's village. <gasps> oh, now this, is, now this is the same pattern as that one, the pomegranate and lily. Uh, yeah. So it was upside down. It took me a while. Okay. Now, they've called it ebony. I wouldn't be so sure that it's black. Ebony's black. It's not, because it... It's, um... Black, but it's got multicoloured little flecks in it, which makes the, takes away the heaviness of the black. Morning, John. These types of facts are all so gorgeous. How on earth can you choose? Exactly, Kirsty. Exactly. There's only four, one, two, three, five more tapestries to show you. And then we've got all the polyesters. I know. How do you choose? How, do you know what I'd do? If I had dining room chairs, I'd buy half a metre of all of them and have each chair different. Because they'd all be a theme, wouldn't they? They'd all be William Morris. And then maybe make a wall hanging to go on the wall. You could do play... Oh, use the placemats from yesterday, the Bozal placemats from yesterday. <laughs> right then. Ooh. So this one ends 92. 
I think it's that way up. Uh, blackthorn. Oh, I've got loads of blackthorn at the bottom of my garden. In what? Slate. Now, I have to completely disagree with that because this is definitely blue. It's not slate. The background is not slate. It's definitely blue. Yeah, slate would be a great... Slate is a grey E blue, but that's definitely blue blue. It's nicer if you like the more traditional. Seven ninety nine. Okay, the so first tapestry I showed, almost gone. Almost gone. Okay, I will recap, don't worry. Or if there's any one that you want to see, or any two that you want to see together, just let us know. Oh, I love this one. And this is the same fabric as the last one, but look how rich the colours are in there. It's upside down there again. Forest, this one is. Forest. Oh, uh, now, uh, in Debbie's hour, uh, someone's made a dress and Cat's going to wear it. She's just saying. Cat will get... Cat can fit into one of those carrier bags that we sell. You know the zippy-up bags? Cat can fit in one of those. Oh, no, it won't fit her. Yeah. Anyway, beautiful. This is gorgeous. Yeah, very popular, this one. Very, very popular, this one. Do you want to see the other side? Oh, now, I wasn't expecting that. That's just beautiful. Isn't it funny? I wonder how they did, I wonder how the back ended up being that colour then. You see, now, I... OK, I'm going to disagree with Jess again now, right? Jess is saying she'd make a cushion with this on the front and that on the back. Uh, because they're different textures, because they're front and back, it'd look a bit odd if you do front and back doing that. You could bind with that or do your piping in that, but I wouldn't do a whole back of that one. Just a personal opinion. So obviously I don't have to live in Jess's lounge or in her head. Beige. Oh, she just moved into a new house, new furniture. Yeah, don't you need to colour it up? Over. No, you don't. In the lounge. Okay, she's got a bar in her lounge and she wants to get a disco ball. You put disco balls in bathrooms or in the hall. There we go. Now it's a different one again. Big and bold. This one, isn't it? Have you got the number? 432, yeah. Uh, the cray? No, the cra I thought the cray was like a crab, isn't it? Or a lobster. But I could be wrong. Uh, well, it won't be because there's no lobsters on here. Google it, Google it. The cray in autumn. Must be a flower, must be that flower, must it? Oh, a restaurant. Oh. Well, she's just checking now. Oh, chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums, yeah, 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 got that. Oh, OK. Beautiful. Now moving on to a different pattern again. There you go. That looks like um, marigold, I was about to say. Aqua. Summer marigold on aqua. Again, but look at the back of that one. See, now I like the back of that one. Beautiful. That one looks like you'd see that in a posh hotel or something, wouldn't it? A bolster would be lovely. Beautiful. Right, I've got one more tapestry left. And this morning, when we got these out off the tray that Cat had put, not the tray, the trolley that Cat put them out on, everybody, when I got this next one, everybody went, ooh, I think you're going to be the same. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, rose and pomegranate. So many in baskets already. Now, um, it doesn't say what colour it is. 
So all the colors. Oh! Oh, do you? I think you might have been a medi in a med had a medieval past life. Seven ninety nine, uh, Bernardo's. Uh, now, is it Bernardo's that have done the William Morris um, range? Oh, I've got that right. I think Bernardo's to raise money for their charity. Obviously, have done like a range as well. I think it was there. I know that. Um, oh no, no, I'm thinking uh, that. Yeah, but uh, and then Nespresso have done one with Liberty, haven't they? This is, this is flying out. This one absolutely flying out. They're all gorgeous. We our favourites here. Beautiful. Look at the colours in there. Now, look, we've got to move on. Check out, check out, check out. That's all the tapestries now, so you can check out on your tapestries. Now, the brand new polyesters. Now, if ever you wanted, you know, like if you have a cottage kitchen and you go to John Lewis's and you can buy this, buy, uh, not this one, but you can buy like polyesters for your kitchen table to make a tablecloth, or you need a tablecloth outside, or you want to back an outdoor quilt or you want to make cushions for all your furniture in the garden, then this is what you need here. It's, uh, look at this, right? Yep. So now, is this the only strawberry thief I've got? No, no, I've got a blue strawberry thief as well. Look, I'll show you there. Blue strawberry thief coming up in a minute. Brand new tech, look, it's only 5 99 Now, what I need to show you is, oh, hang on. Let me just get my blue roll. You can tell there's something dangerous going to happen. Okay, watch. So you've got it in the garden and it rains. Oh, oh, oh. Look, can you see that? Water repellent and what? Easy what? UV resistant. So it won't fade in the sunshine either. I'll just mop all that up. How brilliant. I want, um, just wonder if you make like city down mats for the garden. Look. Oh no, I wouldn't put a cat mat. You wouldn't put your cat to sleep on that, would you? Oh, she would put her cat to sleep. I don't think my cat would sleep on it. Oh, question, question. Can you make a bag with the waterproof lining with the weather we've just been having? Can you make a bag with the water? Oh yeah, with the waterproof fabric. Yeah, 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 of course you could. Of course you could. Yeah, I thought you meant lining. For some reason, I read lining there, but. No, don't make Haley's jacket with it. Do not make Haley's jacket. It's not made for wearing, it's not made for clothes. Beautiful. Do you mean the Dave Bradford? She's brought the Dave Bradford. Yeah, go on. Yeah, the Dave Bradford, nine o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, what were you saying, uh, Jess? Okay. Oh, I love them. Who's that from? Yeah, 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 because it's absolutely fine. No, no, they're not real boobies. Do you like the blue fatty boobies I sent you? So thought, Trisha, yes, I did. To be honest, Trisha, about 100 people have sent me that picture as well. I love them. I love them so much. They're birds. Google it. Google it. Blue footy boobies. The only reason we came about them is because remember when Alison Reed brought in her dog book, a cat book, and a bird book, and we flipped it open. I was there, and I went, blue footy boobies, and we all giggled. Everything, and they're real birds with blue feet, and they walk like Hannah and Ben. They walk like this. Yeah. Uh, well, Hannah had issues when she was a child, so we shouldn't really take the Mickey out of her. And I'm not quite sure why Ben's feet. No. Five ninety nine. Right, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Of course, you are loads of coming in for that one. Now's the blue strawberry thief one. Five ninety nine. Half a meter. Never had this before. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Make yourself a tablecloth. Please save some of that William Morris for my May show. Oh, it's Lisa Lamb. It's Lisa Lamb. William Morris uh, for the May show. It'll all have gone by then, Lisa Lamb. 
No, it'll all have sold out by then. Five ninety nine. So you've got your May dates. We haven't got our May dates yet. Oh, excuse me. It's a bit early. <laughs> <laughs> Too early. Too early. Loads. Of, this is brilliant. Yeah, no, no, no. Maybe Hayley was right after all. Righty-o. Then we've got pomegranates. Now, have I got pomegranates? Yep. Just seeing if I've got pomegranates in another colour. That's the colour, anthracite. So it's pomegranate and birds. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's the birds. Didn't even see the birds. In anthracite, that's not really the best way of describing that colour, is it? Anthracite is like poisonous grey, isn't it? Oh, Lee Slam's crying now. Tough. Buy it today. Buy it today. Lisa Lamb. Uh, it's cold. It's cold, yeah. Uh, Margaret says, morning all, Saturday tea. Good morning, says Jess. I might be going back. I'll just check with Jess. Are we going back on any tapestries, Jess? Yeah, OK. Lovely. Then we're going on to... Now, oh, I've got that one in another colour. Got that one in another colour. This is pretty, isn't it? Very, very traditional. 443. Four, it's, it's the same one, pomegranate and bird. It's like working with Ben. Uh, right, I've got no idea why that's called Kingfisher. No, 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 that's the colour. It's Kingfisher's the colour. It's birds and pomegranates, the pattern, and the colour is, is Kingfisher. Loads is going in baskets. Check out, check out. Oh, Dulcie's watching. Now, Dulcie, I was talking about Dulcie earlier. She started a new film. What's she doing on here? 5 99 Beautiful. Oh, Dulcie'd love this. She's just doing, redoing her garden. Dulcie, this is brilliant for tablecloths. You know, for in the greenhouse around there. She's got a lovely new greenhouse in her garden and she's got all these raised flower beds now. She's got a big table. I, t I tell you what, the big table at the end has got such happy memories because during lockdown, when she was, you know, she was raising all that money and having all the scrubs made and everything and all my, your lot were making the scrubs bags for us. And I used to arrive at Dulcie's garden and, and we'd sit either end of that. She's got a great big sofa like that that goes round a big table and she'd be over there and I'd be over here and, we'd, and it was because it was beautiful weather, wasn't it? Sit in the garden during all those dreadful times. Watching from bed! Bed? Ooh, that's a cushy number. And she, the producer of her film's an old friend of mine. Lovely Bernie. Anyway, moving on. Now, what have I got next? So I'll do Willow Bow next in the pale blue. I think I've got this in two colourways. There you go. Uh, 29, 429. No. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Lynn Tuit is watching. I bet she's not watching in bed. How's your new kitchen, Lynn Tuit? She's having a new kitchen. Anyway, five ninety nine. That's your willow bow in what colours they call it? Sea breeze. Oh, now that when I used to drink, that's lovely because that's cranberry. Isn't it cranberry grapefruit and vodka? Isn't that a sea breeze? Oh, they were so refreshing. Oh, it's delicious. Right, then we've got this, this one in the green. Willow bow in green. So, oh, that's not sage. Beautiful, though, isn't it? Which one are you going to get for your garden? Which one are you going to make your outside cushions with? Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, let me, I'll do that next, right? Okay, that's your willow bang green. Now, the tapestry that we showed at the end, this is about to sell out. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out now. This one here, about to sell out. About to sell out. Be quick, be quick. I'm not going to show you that one again. I'll give that one to Kat so you can put that one away. Thanks, Kat. Right, now back to the polyesters now. Now, this is fresh. Uh, 432. Golden Lily, yeah, uh, in Willow. They've called the colour Willow. 
Oh, Marina's watching now. She'll be getting ready to take the dog for a walk. What, what? I've no idea what that means, but I'm not saying it. Do you know what she was talking about? No. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Oh, you know when Charlie lived in my house and he said you can, you can watch um, Disney Plus on your telly now? Well, there's something on it. I haven't touched it at all. I went to a side in yesterday. I need an email address. Didn't leave me an email address. Left me a password. No email address. So I couldn't watch it. Anyway, 5 99 Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, only he's here if he's not going to put this email in it, is he? Greetings. Almost get the urge to make cushion covers for the outside. Marina, Marina, outside your shepherd's thingy. She's got a shepherd's hut, in, hut, shepherd's hut in the garden. Sun resistant, yeah. Well, she lives in Cornwall. There's sun 24 hours a day there. Little roads, big buses, but lots of sunshine. Uh, you, you could make a blind out if you want to. It might be a bit sweaty being 100 percent polyester. Might condense your windows a bit. Because outside, if you made cushions outside and you leave them in the sunshine all summer, you don't want them to fade. And if you leave them, if you don't have people sitting on them, they're all left like that. Where you fold, uh, uh, take one away, that one will have bleached out, wouldn't it? Can I do what? Oh, you could make an umbrella. It'd be very difficult. They're not easy to make. Parasol, a parasol, not an umbrella. No, oh yeah, you can cover your garden parasol in it. Yeah, it would be difficult though. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy. No, because you're only sewing this. And then you, you make, what you do is you make channels that the wooden spokes go through. Uh, so you'd only ever be sewing two or three layers of this. You don't need an industrial for that. Might need your walking foot. Uh, morning, John and team. Is it still raining? I love your shirt. Happy day, Laurie. And there was a gap. There was a gap. Um, no, it's not raining here. Is it raining outside now? No, it's not. it wasn't raining when I came in this morning. It what? Sunny when, uh, when Jess made a cup of tea. Right, yo, now I've got to move on. Uh, now this one's very moody. Well, that one's like an acanthus leaf there, that one, isn't it? But it's an orange tree, is it? Oh, kids. No, denim's the colour. Orchid? No, orchid's a flower, but that's not an orchid flower. No, I think Barry might have called it that upstairs. Uh, did Barry do this or did Eloise do these? It's beautiful. Yeah, orchid. Oh, might, it's from the collection. So this might have been the orange tree from the orchid collection. And the acanthus leaf. And there's uh, Michaelmas daisies in there as well, look, in the background. L you're loving blue today. Never trust a man who always wears blue. Don't know, that's what the saying, isn't it? That's what the saying, isn't it? Because I used to wear blue all the time. And there's a saying going, do not trust a man who always wears blue. Yeah. You may, I'd say you, more green, you wear more green and olive and khaki than you do blue. Five ninety nine. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, then we've got two more of these. The golden lily again. That uh, corn. It's not cornflower. Yeah, they lo the love the juxtaposition of the colours. Does Ollie? They're not the words he used, but. Reminds you of a summer's day. I'd have hay fever. If I was sitting in that field, my hay fever would have been really bad. Oh, it's Debbie Moore, everyone. What's she want now? I've told her off for ignoring me on her Facebook. She said I didn't see it. I've told her, go back and look, it's there. She's pointing, oh, be careful, cat. She's pointing at me now. Loads is going into baskets. Loads this one going into baskets. I've only got one polyester left after this. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, this is the same as the blue one, but bigger. Like a bigger version of the blue one. They've called it what? Buttercup. Well, are they meant to be buttercups? It's not buttercup colour, is it? Buttercup's yellow. For goodness sake. 5 99 It's lovely, though, isn't it? 
How do you choose? How do you choose? A half metre of each. You're going to get a half metre of each. What, make cushions? Oh, don't you? You'd make what? Oh, he'd make a dress out of it. You'd be very sweaty, Ollie. Five ninety nine. They're a very, very popular hour. Right, please check out what, what Jess is saying. Please check out any of the polyesters. They're all absolutely flying out, especially the, the blue ones. Extra wide backings next, then. Right. I'll do this one first. Golden Lily. Now remember, this is 108 inches wide, this. I haven't seen this one before. Now, the other thing I will say about this is you can make your own duvet. You don't have to make a quilt. Because it's 108 inches wide, you can make your own duvet cover out of it and put buttons or buttons on the bottom. Well, my one is 200 centimetres, right? My double bed one is 200 centimetres. This is 274 centimetres. So it could be huge, couldn't it? Have you got a king size in your new house then? Have you? Why do you need a king size bed? And is your bedroom big enough for it? Do you want Ollie? She's what? Oh, she's... 14 .99. That's beautiful. Remember, you're buying it off the bolt. Now, this is, this is cotton now. 100% cotton. We've moved off the polyesters now. 100% cotton, this one. I love the size of the print. It's a really gorgeous print size, isn't it? Oh, we've got ages yet. Yeah, but do you want to do the bundle first, then? Okay, I'll move it. I'll do the bundle first, in case we run out of time. Right, this is not extra wide. This is 44-inch wide fabric. All, obviously, our quilting weight cotton. It's an eclectic mix of all different ranges. You get one of those for free. <laughs> I wonder why. We've never seen this bundle before. <laughs> Beautiful. If you love a bit of William Morris, you don't care which range it comes from. Forty-one ninety-five. But you are saving eight pound forty-nine, so you get one of those for free. One, two, three, four, five, six, six nine, fifty-four. Yeah. No, hang on. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, I've got honeysuckle. I've got strawberry thief. I've got larkspur. I've got pomegranate, uh, and then I don't know what those two are called. Grenadine, yeah, and I'll look it up. Yeah, that's Gr Grenada, that's Grenada, yeah. That's the range and that's the, the signature fabric, yeah. Yeah, that, that's Honeysuckle. Oh, that one's Honeysuckle Sky. That's Jasmine Sky. Oh, okay, that's Larkspur, but there you go, yeah. Strawberry Thief. Oh, that's... Uh, what, that, uh, why, where's Honeysuckle, then? Oh, there you go. There's Honeysuckle. This one I've got the tea towel on in. They're all available by the half metre if you want them. We'll run them through in the break. OK, let me go now back to the... Um, I'll just do two more extra wides, then we'll go for a break. So I've got Strawberry Thief in and now. I don't know if they've called it parchment or linen. It's 100% cotton, but it's the pattern. It's the pattern. You've got a huge Strawberry Thief. Linen, there you go, linen. There's no linen in it. It's 100% cotton. There's no linen there. That's just the colour. 108 inches wide. Would you... No matter what colour the quilt was. OK, Jess said, if she was going to back a quilt, she'd use this. Beautiful. It'd go in your beige flat, lovely. And then I've also got it in the blue. Don't know if I've called it denim or not. Oh, just blue. 
There you go. Strawberry Thief in blue, 108 inches wide. So during the break, Jess will put through the other three XY backing and those single fabrics. Uh, don't go anywhere. We've got a little House of Victoria coming up straight after this four-minute break. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com, where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer.
Victoria Murness rhymes with Loch Ness. No, that's not right. Correct. There you go. This is her. Now, uh, you've been on a few times now, haven't you? Behind yes. the furniture now. Yeah. But for those people who've never seen you before, who are you and what do you do? So, I'm Victoria Murness. Yeah, rhymes with Loch Ness. It yeah. does, or Inverness. Inverness. There was, I knew yes. there was another one. It's an easier one, one. Inverness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I started embroidery 2018-ish um, when I did my master's degree in contemporary fine art. And I stopped painting because I'm normally a painter and I decided to do embroidery. So uh, I loved it so much when it had finished the course, I had to carry it on. And then I took it into my own business. Uh, worked full time uh, up until last August. And then now I'm like full this steam ahead. This is it. This is the way of life. And you've got a lovely yeah. studio as well, haven't you? Yes, it's in Mossley, which is uh, near Saddleworth. And it's in a big old cotton mill. And oh. it's on the third floor, overlooking a canal and oh, a river as well. Lovely. River and canal. Yeah. Um, and it's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. And it's just such a lovely... And how would you describe your work then? So my work I would describe as, well, not conventional. I think we've said that before. Yeah. It's folk art based in style. I use knitting wools to stitch with sometimes. Sometimes I use cotton skeins. Yeah. Sometimes it's delicate. Sometimes it's chunky. Sometimes it's not. But, yeah, cruel. When you start, whole... you're very cruel. When you, um, <laughs> cruel. When you, uh, cruel. <laughs> uh, when you start a design then, do you go, oh, this one's going to be cruel or this one's going to be embroidery or how do you start it off? Yes, usually I think I want to do, I love wool. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, knitting wool, the wool that I use, it comes from four miles away from near my studio. So it is in Saddleworth. Yeah. But it's perfect for stitching with. It's the right thickness and it always produces lovely results. But then sometimes you want to stitch more delicately with cotton skeins. But when I start the design, I usually have that in mind. Of course, yeah. But some of them I've upscaled and downscaled for different materials, oh, which okay. we'll see as we go along in this show. Now, all of your kits, they all contain everything you need, don't they? You don't they need do. to buy anything on top of it. No. Nope. Just what's in your kit will make that project. Yes, but if it's a cushion, you might need a backing. Oh, you yes, might need yes, 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 yes. But the actual, the actual, yes. we don't, you don't call it a cushion unless it's got a cushion well, back in it, sort of thing. Uh, well, absolutely, it can make a bag or a yeah, cushion. Exactly. So or a wall we hanging, a piece of art or anything. Wall hanging, definitely, definitely. Right, so should we make a start? We, like I say, you've been here a few times before, but we've got brand new kits. Now, we've got um, a sunflower, we've got it in strawberry, cellar, and autumn, right? So we're going to start with the strawberry one. Just explain to me, let me just make sure I've got it in the right place, there you go. Just explain to me what, it, what this is and what I get in here then. So in this, you get a large um, heavyweight linen panel. Yeah. So uh, we could do with seeing this. I'll get it for you now. Thank just you very much. Just opening it there. <laughs> um, and this measures 47 by 47 centimetres and it's about... Have I picked the right one up? You have. Yeah. You have. Now, the sunflower range is very, very popular, so I decided to do a different colour. Right. Uh, and a, a strawberry sunflower, this is. Right. And you get this front panel. Right. Um, so, again, so you've made a cushion, but what you're getting in the kit is just the front panel. Just the front panel. Yeah. Right. Now, the back panels are available yeah. um, if you would like to do that, but you can make a bag with it or a piece of art, so I didn't want to be too sort of dictatorial. No, you of course. You get all these beautiful walls. So this is the wall that's from Sheep, four miles from your studio. Yes. In the packet, you do get the wool. Yes. The square of linen. Take that one out of the way there. I will do. You get what's in there. That is a John James chenille size 18 needle, which is perfect for um, stitching with the wool because it's sharp, mm -hmm. John James, super quality, and um, you can thread it easily. because Lovely, and what's in the envelope? Uh, carbon film. Carbon film, because <laughs> what you're going to do is, in the instructions here, lots of pages of instructions, in the instructions here, you get all that. Now, there are video stitch tutorials you can go to, yes. aren't there? Yes, so for example, uh, there is a stitch guide as you continue through the book. Um, and you can say, I need a leaf stitch in that part. Uh, I'll go to the video and find out how to do the leaf stitch. So it's all annotated. And what's a downloadable instruction then? So if you want to receive this booklet by download, I can send it to you. Um, is that at a cost or is that? No, it's no? absolutely oh, okay. free. You just email me and it's there. The yeah. address. And it means that you can zoom in and see it better because although I do try to print it well, there's nothing like being able exactly, to do that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so then... This, this is, is my drawing. Your drawing, and it is the whole design, is yes. it, of that? Yes. 
Lovely. And it's printed two and, size. And you don't need to up that upgrade it, uh, upsize it or downsize no, it. It's you, the right size. The right size. You can if you like, but that's the right size. For this size. project, that's, that's, the, that's the right size, yeah. It is. So how do I get that from this paper onto that piece of linen? So you use the carbon paper that's in here. Yeah. So carbon film. <laughs> keep saying that. Are you allowed to open that? I am. Okay. <laughs> What's the difference between carbon <laughs> film and carbon paper, then? Well, as you can see, it's... It's sort of got a coating on it, yeah. and um, it's not cheap, I'll be honest, but it's brilliant. You can use it several times over. Yeah. So you've got it for lots of projects, and you've got the pattern for lots of projects. So what you would do is you would take the paper pattern out of there, yeah. position it in the middle, yeah. one line of tape only across the top of your pattern, and put your film underneath, black side down. Yeah, obviously, yeah. And then get a sharp pen or a tracer and, and trace over it, trace over the lines. And so it, hang on, so, so that's on the bottom. Yes. That goes, that's there. Yes. And then that's on top of there. Yes. You draw over this, so the pen line goes onto your drawing. Yes. But actually that carbon film prints it onto your fabric. Yes. Does that then disappear or is that then permanent? It's permanent. So, so you need to stitch over all your bits then? Yes. So every mark you make, you stitch over. So if you slip, it doesn't matter. You can be creative and yeah. go over the top of it. Lovely. And wool is very forgiving because it's voluminous. Of course, yeah. Of course. So, so, uh, every, so let's get back to what your paperwork here. So uh, then we've got uh, how to actually... So you've got buttonhole stitch, split stitch. All of them are all on here. Even more. Even more stitches. Even more. Even more stitches. How, and then, and then, if you want to make it into a cushion, you need to buy a piece of the linen to go on the back. But we sell that, don't we? Yeah, and sometimes it's nice to, you know, if you've got bits left over and you've got one to pattern back. Um, but it's nice with the plain coloured back. Of but course. yes, we have those. Yeah, available. they're on the website. We're not going to be yeah. holding those up today. They're on our website now. We'll show you where to go in a minute. Uh, and then, now, what's your uh, angel policy? Um, it's fine, as long as you can sell from these, as long as you credit me as being the designer. Yes, as and long you, don't as you don't pass these on to other people. Exactly. You can sell, you can sell if you've made this, yes. you can sell that at a craft fair. Yeah, but say it's my But design. say it's yours, Please. and don't pass these on, photocopy these or give these to anyone Definitely else. not, not for commercial use. No, so no, no, and also no. if you're John Lewis who's want 5,000 of them, come and see you come and see you'll me. do a deal. And yeah. I'll happily do that. Okay, lovely. <laughs> so that's £40 for all of that to create the front of that. How much are the panels on the back, if I want to buy a panel for that? 14. 14. 14, 14. For that, they say is 14 pounds. Yes. Yeah. So that, that's, if you want to make the cushion, it's that. The thing is, you don't have to put the linen on the back if you don't want to. No. You put whatever you want. You see, calico would look nice on the back of there as well, wouldn't it? It, it would like look that. lovely, yeah. And I'm sure people have got leftover fabrics that they yes. want to Yes, oh use. yeah, totally. But also, you could frame this. How lovely would that look in oh, a frame? Oh, it would. But also, if yeah. you put linen on the back, mm. you might as well do that on the or another pattern. Or just a, you could mm. do a simplified version, because you've got your pattern in there. Yeah. You could just put, like... Those two little bits on, yes. just there, couldn't you, if you wanted to? There's a lot of wool in the pack. There's not enough to do it twice, but they're nearly No, 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 no. But you would, yes. yeah, so, so I'm not saying do the whole thing twice, but if yes. you just want to do a little bit you could do on an the out back, yeah. Or you could just do one section. I've done a cushion, and I just did that section, so missed that off. Yeah. Put that on its own as a design. Well, there you go. Or, you just, or just that little centre bit there. OK, I've just got to move. Are you frightened of me? Yes. I, you're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, you're not supposed to say yes. Right, okay, so that's Strawberry Sunflower. You pack that one away, because we're now going to go on to Stella Sunflower. This is another new one. So Stella's the blue one. The cat's just going to throw me to you. Thank you. Now, what does Stella mean? Why is it called Stella? Well, it's called Stella because I've, I've done this design many times, actually. You've done what? I've done this design many... Come and stand many, next to me. I've done this design many times, and um, there is a bit of a mistake on this one, actually. Oh, I didn't like to say. <laughs> Where is it? Well, if you look at the other one next to it, it's slightly smaller, but I have rectified it. So the strawberry one that you've just seen, this is the same size. I stupidly... What did you do wrong, then? I traced it at the wrong size. I don't know how it happened. Oh, but you've got the right size in here. Yeah, right size, yeah. right size in there. So it's the same size as the strawberry one, and it's only slightly, slightly bigger, but it is slightly Have bigger. Have you got your photocopier set? Most people's photocopiers aren't set to 100, are they? They're set to 97. That's just really what you've done. I don't know what I've done. Oh, well, anyway, it doesn't matter, because yours will be the same it'll size. Be yours the will same. be a bit bigger. So and you've so got the yarn to go with, the wool to go with it and everything. It'll be more impactful. Yes. It will. So... Different walls. So if you had a Stella sunflower before, which I have done it on a different panel, 
the wool colours have been slightly tweaked. So before you might know there was a dark brown, but I spotted this wool and I thought, oh, I'm Isn't that a hedgehog, that to... one? It is, yeah, we've used that for a hedgehog yeah. before. Oh, we used the black and white for the hedgehog. Oh, black and white, sorry. Yeah. That was a different hedgehog, though. You've probably not yeah. seen oh. that one. Well, there's yeah. no hedgehog on here, is there? No. <laughs> uh, beautiful colours, though. How do, you, how do you go about picking the colours, then? Well, I basically, um, I have lots and lots of cones, as you can imagine, because I wind all these by hand. Right. So I wind them all oh. and cut them all and put them all on here. Yeah. Cut all the fabrics. Don't have much of a social life, though. No, no. It... And how much does your dad do? <laughs> he cuts fabric and he winds some of the wool. Oh, good. So he does dip yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And he's dad. the chauffeur as well. No, he's not. Did you not drive? Did he not drive this morning? No. I've got your trophy in this morning. No, I'm a control freak. He won't. I have to drive. I'm a control freak. So what's he doing then? Just sitting there, <laughs> commentating, yakking away at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, it keeps <laughs> you awake. In the <laughs> I thought it. he drove you. I thought that's why he came with no, you. No, no. You're a control freak, are you? I'm a control freak. I struggle to let anybody else drive. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm the same as well. Are you? Yeah. But I can't talk. In, uh, they filmed me in a car the other day. And they said, yeah. if you drive down this road and talk to camera no. at the same time, I was like, can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. Anyway, so you, yes. you've got all the cones on the so wall. So all the cones on my desk, like a thread explosion in my studio yeah. usually. But I start off, I'll draw the pattern and then I'll sort of have a vague idea of what. Okay, cool going back then, going back, you see, draw the pattern. How have you come to draw the pattern? Where's it come from? Have you seen something or is it all in there? It's all in here. Oh, okay. It's all in here. It really is. Um, Does it start off, start off as a doodle? Do no, I mean doodle? it's, I mean, it's I mean, weird because whatever work I do, I go straight to finish thing. Oh, That's okay. what they said when I was at uni, you know, do some experimentation, stop going straight to finished. Oh. But I just get this idea and it just Did they mark you down out. on that then? Well, yeah, they'll always find something, won't they? <laughs> oh. So what was the degree you did then? I did contemporary fine art. That was the first degree? That was the, yeah, so I did contemporary fine art degree 2007 and then I went back as a very mature student in 2018. A very mature student. I was mature to start with and yeah, I went back as a very well. mature. So you did an MA in what? At MA in contemporary fine art and then after that it was still sort of pandemic and I did um, MA level PGCE in art and creative practice. Oh PGCE that's teaching? That's teaching for art and creative practice. And you do teaching yeah, then? I do yes. In schools or grown-ups? No grown-ups yeah. <laughs> that was very definite, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, wasn't it? No, no children. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, okay, so, 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 then, so then you go straight to the finished things. You straight draw that. Finished. So draw it, get the idea and think, do you want a cool palette? Do you want a warm palette? Do you want a bright palette? Do you colour it in with crayons or do you go straight to this? Straight to that. Oh, blimey, no. Yeah, so I've got the vision. So uh, these inspire me because I'll quite often I'll wind uh, things like this and I'll start to lay them on and go, that's right, that's right, no, it's not, that's right. And it's just a process. But how do you, and then how do you decide what goes where? Do you get the it's, same amount of all of those wools? Or have you worked out that I've, you only need so much of the speckledy one and so much most, of the pale one? Most of them you get the same amount and it is over-egged. You get a lot. But for some, you know, like the hedgehog, that you'll need oh, a yeah, tiny no, sorry, bit. Oh, yeah, no, it was, in here, yes. have I got the same amount of each of those yes. colours for this pattern? So if you yes. look at your pattern for and go... For this one. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I'm looking yeah. at this and, and go, oh, Victoria's put dark blue around there or the darker blue around there, but I quite fancy the... I don't know what the colour that is. Child sick colour. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's that end? <laughs> I, was, I was trying to be polite. <laughs> what colour is it? Um, dark gold. Oh, okay, dark gold. <laughs> but you could, you could, you could quite confidently go. I'm going to put that one there, and instead of these leaves here being that colour, they could be that colour if you wanted. Yes. And do you mind people messing no, with your design? No, please do. I love to see when people have experimented oh, okay, good, and yeah. changed it. I really. I just not being a control freak. No, 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 Somebody no. no. Put a only driving. On Facebook. No. Go, You've got that leaf wrong. <laughs> that leaf should be. It's gold. only only driving. Yeah, it's control <laughs> it's only, freak, only it? driving. Okay. I, I love it when people mix the stitches up so you might get it and you might think i don't like that stitch i'm going to do a different one i love that send me a photo please because i want yeah. to see it Aww. and i love when even when people have got their own wool and they've substituted a color you can see in workshops sometimes people look a bit reticent going well i've, I've changed this color you know yeah. and a bit nervous oh, no. and i'm like no it's fab oh i love so that so again you get everything you yeah. need in that kit you get so you the get, wool the needle the pattern the template the instructions one piece of linen for one, one. side yes. one piece of linen but you can buy the linen what color is that in case people want to buy that it is 
a grey beige, but it's called natural. It's natural. called natural beige. So on our website, it's called natural beige. beige. Yeah, but natural if, beige. If you one. were to describe the colour, if you're thinking about your home and what goes in it, yeah. it's a very neutral colour. It's almost a taupe, isn't it? Taupe? Taupe? If you go to the coming up section on our website of today, don't go to the shop. Go to today's viewing. Go underneath where we are. And it coming up, it's all under there. I'll show you in a minute. Right, then we can move on to the autumn sunflower. I love yes. those colours. So this is how it started off its life, the sunflower range. Um, and it started off on these panels, thank you. Right. So this so, is different now. You haven't got yeah. the linen in this one. So it's the... Exactly. So you've got the cotton, organic cotton and bamboo panel, right. which is one whole panel. Right. OK, now we've got to say something important about this, haven't we? Yes. So I can't get these anymore. So right. when, when these are gone, they're gone. I'm so if, you like, if you've seen these before and you think, oh, I really want those, then after they've sold out, then that's it. They're not get, you're not getting any more. No, you can't, can't get any more. It's not no. you being... Difficult, yeah. is it? No, I want to get them because I've got to restitch all these. Oh yes. Great. So what's in it? What's in there then? <laughs> so it's organic cotton and bamboo. Right. Um, I think it's. A Isn't it made in Kerala or somewhere like that? It, it is. Yes. See, I do remember. Yes, I do you do really well. But <laughs> but but, but that, when they've sold out, they've sold out. So then what will have to happen is you'll have to then put this design onto linen or something like I'll, that. I'll probably put it onto. You'll probably see it on this. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so, to, so if you buy it today, yes. this is what you're getting it on, right? And it's limited. It's limited, limited, limited. Now, the whole point is, this one does have enough fabric. to You don't have to buy any other fabric to make the cushion. Because you can wrap because it Because if you just... I'll just show you, right? So it's one big piece. Yes. Right? And so I put my design where? Right so in the middle. If it's a cushion, you'd put it... This way towards you, yeah. portrait towards you, design in the middle. Right. It can also make a bag like the hedgehog bag. So in these kits, you can make a bag or a cushion. Now the bag, so there's no cutting if you're making a cushion because all you're doing is folding it, folding it together. Obviously, this is a different design. We're just showing you how it works to make a bag. So you can either make the cushion or you can make this bag. Now these handles are made from cutting two of the hems off. And you can either have a long handle that goes over your shoulder. Yeah. Or but the instructions are in the, in the bund are in there, aren't they? For both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so what you do for a cushion is you put your you stitch your pattern there, fold it over like this, and you fold it like that, fold it like that. Then you do this convoluted stitch at the end here to seal the ends, and then along there you put your stuffing and just do a blanket stitch across the back. So you do those first. Oh, you do that one first. And then you kind of squash it like that, yeah. and then you do your woven board right, stitch. Right. <laughs> Control freak. <laughs> Uh, anyway, limited, 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 £40. And I've got a lovely message for you. Let's have a look at that then. Uh, good morning, John Victoria. Wow, enjoying the kits and love hedgehogs and wild mushrooms. Jane from Bedfordshire. Aww. Aww. Right. Okay. So that, that these colours are gorgeous, aren't they? Aren't they stunning? That's lovely. The wools are just, yeah, I love them. They're just the right thickness. They're actually four-ply with the thickness of two-ply. He said, which okay. makes not much sense makes. to me, but it um, feels perfect. So are they dyed four miles down the road as well? Because obviously the sheep aren't that colour. <laughs> yes, I'm driving along. Yeah, well, that's why you don't like dri <laughs> being driven. The pink sheep you keep seeing in the field. Um, so are <laughs> yeah. they dyed nearby as well or do you not? I think some of them are and some of them aren't. Right, OK. I did meet the owners of the company at a show recently, at the Stitches show. Oh, yeah. And he did say, and I've forgotten. <laughs> You'll know. Sorry, that, Roger. I? Anyway, 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 <laughs> uh, limited, limited, limited. When they've sold out, when they've sold out, that's that gone and it won't be coming back because we cannot, or Victoria cannot get that those panels anymore. It's okay. Right, just, so I'll pop that in no, there. No, don't worry. Yours just in there as well. Hand it over. Oh, you're good. <laughs> right, you do that then because I'm going to, I'll give you that back, Kat. I'm going to have mushroom, please. So, mushroom is this one. So, staying with that panel, yeah. this, this is also on that panel, which is also a limited stock panel. Of course, because these are all limited now, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah, when it's gone, it's yeah. gone. But people love this design, so it, it might resurface on, on a different... The design might, but yeah. it won't be on one of it these. It won't be on it one of those. It won't be on this uh, actual fabric here. No, I'm sorry. So, but now, how does that one work, then? So, exactly the same. Yeah. You get the fabric, you get the pattern... To trace, you get all these lovely wools, um, and you get the carbon film, and you get the John James needle. So they all follow a similar pattern. Lovely, really. yeah, of course, yeah, Just yeah. Now, are these sent out by you? 
Yes. So they don't come from our warehouse, they come directly from you. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so on, um, what day of the week is it, say, Saturday, Saturday, Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, your post office is going to be a bit busy again, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> stitches wise? Stitches wise, so we've got um, chain stitch going on, on the cap of the mushroom, we've got uh -huh. French knots. We've got split stitch on the stems, seed stitch, one of my faves, so easy, nice to do. Uh, split stitch, leaf stitch. Gorgeous. So, achievable. Yeah. And there's a common theme running through all my kits, and that's intentional. It's so that when somebody's done one, they'll feel very confident picking another one up. Okay. They might, and they might learn a different stitch. But they're not difficult. A, a beginner could do these, couldn't yes, they? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Beginners have done them in workshops. Yeah. You know, sometimes people have picked them and I thought, wow, that's ambitious. And no, nope. no, it's it's achievable because it's wool. Um, it's just easy. Yeah, exactly. Easy. And also, if you don't say, mm. if, 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 you, if you are a beginner and you pick something up that says advanced, you'd immediately put it back down again. You don't write no, on it. No, uh, purposely don't. I mean, you put knots into yeah. children, obviously. Yeah. But it's um, because of the sharp points and everything. Yeah. But that doesn't say beginner, intermediate. So no. anyone can pick that and go, well, I like that one. I can give that one a go. Also, if you only knew one stitch and only wanted to know one stitch, split stitch, for example, you could improvise. And you don't have to do all the stitches like we've said in the places that we've put them. <laughs> Cat's moving furniture at the moment. <laughs> we'll put, go on, move it. Go on. Right, okay. <laughs> I'd rather that than I just go, uh, uh, uh. Right, okay. So that one there is your mushroom. Now we move... Black cat now, so we've earned now. This again is on the is on the tote bag or cushion. On one, the cushion, it? thank you. <laughs> so same again. It's on the organic cotton and bamboo panel. Uh, so when it's gone, it's gone. But that's very folksy. That one. I imagine is. that one would be in some exotic country somewhere. This is the tattooed cat, isn't it? Uh, right, Delia says, good morning, Victoria. Yeah. Glad you survived the journey from the north this morning. Not that far away, is it? Yeah. But to Felt it in the dark it just at the half next past four. <laughs> next time you come in, it'll be light. Think of yes, it that way. I know. Um, <laughs> at least you're not flooded. Say hi to Barry for me. Oh, yes, who's Barry? My dad. Oh, <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were saying, say hello to Barry. Like, and then I was like, oh, OK. Of course, Barry, she did. Didn't even yeah. think about that. So Delia's been to a workshop. She spotted me on here, yeah. bought the luxury box, yeah. came to my workshop We've Got the luxury the box in the next hour. And, uh, yeah. Become, become a friend. She's oh, lovely. She's that's lovely. Nice. Yeah. So you're buying yeah. another one today, then, Delia? She's bought loads. Oh, she? she has got loads to be going on with. So you might need these, though, because these might, once these have gone, they've gone. Well, this is it. So now, what kind of stitch have you got on this one, then? So we've got padded satin stitch. You can see that if you press that, it's uh, really squidgy. So that's, You've got wadding it. underneath it? Well, it's two layers of stitch. Oh, so oh, okay. If it's a circle, you outline the circle. Yeah. Put satin stitch one way and then satin stitch the other way. So you've oh. got it creates its own padding, and because it's wool, so it's padded by itself, not by, by itself. anything else. Yeah. yeah, but you can pad satin stitch. Yeah, yeah. But that seems an easy way to do it. French knot in the centre. Yeah. Uh, leaf stitch, split stitch, little French knots. How cute mm. are they? And so just this is based on your cat. <laughs> it's based on my cat from a few, quite a few years ago. That Do you have flowers adopted. on it then? <laughs> It adopted me. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so oh, I not got to yeah. the tree. How's the, how's the tree? Do you know when I got home that day, it had gone. Oh, no. And so had the birds. But they've come back. Oh, good. But they only come back to visit. So they had the nest in that tree, the yeah. doves, lovey dove. Yeah. And um, his missus. And they had little lovey doves. Oh. But they just come back to eat seed. And, then and they go, this is where we used the, to live. Yeah. Just reminisce. But I mean, at least they're surviving. They've not yes. disappeared. Disappeared. They've come no. back to let you know. Don't worry, yeah. Victoria. We're all right. We've got another nest somewhere else. I wish I knew where it was. <laughs> well, no, they want it. you coming nosy, <laughs> do they? They're just enough to come and visit in your garden. <laughs> uh, what else is on here then? So we've got split stitch for the eyes and the nose and for the whiskers and the outline. Oh, leaf stitch here. Yeah. And what's this in? This is like a lattice work. It is. It's just split stitch. Oh. Quite effective, isn't it? Yeah. And then we've got the woven border stitch, yep. which it looks complicated, but it's very, very simple. It's two lines of running stitch in the blue. Yeah. If you can see that on the camera. And then the black, you just weave, working on the surface, that is, for the black. So the black isn't stitched. The black's just, woven, just woven between the stitches. You go like this in and out, and then you come back the other way, yeah. and you go, wow, I'm fab. Lovely. <laughs> and that's, oh, this one's finished, this one. It's finished. They're mainly all finished, yeah. Hmm. 
Well, that one wasn't earlier, was No, it? well, it's to demonstrate how to do it. Oh, yeah, of course it was, yeah. <laughs> not you were lazy, not finishing. Right, that's cat, that's, that's cat. cat. So when they're gone, they're gone. Hang on. Hedgehog. Hang on, where's it gone? Where's the... Here's here. Hedgehog garden? Oh, there. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Sorry. Hedgehog garden. <laughs> Why did it go over there? Let me give that one to Kat, then I won't get killed. So this is the bag, yeah. yeah. But obviously it can make a cushion, which it would make a lovely cushion, wouldn't it? No, it would, but I like that as a bag. I do. Beautiful. Yeah. So now this is what we were talking about earlier, the speckledy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so that's the speckledy. Oh, yeah, it's definitely black and white. But it's mixed with other things. Is that, so what's this seed stitch? It's straight stitch. Oh, OK. So it's literally up at the back, down at the front. And it... You will see from the pattern in the book, it's illustrated with dashes. And all you do, <laughs> get it out of the bag. Mm -hmm. All you do is to sew the hedgehog, is to put, start off with the black, the black stripes. Yeah. And just fill each line in. And then when that's done, take the brown and just fill the gaps in in between. Oh, okay. And then just Looks more complicated now. And then just ad hoc whatever gaps are left. Yeah. Do whichever colour you want to fill it in. Lovely. And little face right. is split stitch um, in the grey. So I've just lightened that one slightly because I thought it's, it's a little bit... Oh, yeah, It's got yeah, a muddy yeah, face yeah. there. So mm -hmm. that's what I do. If I design something and it's not quite right, I'll tweak it for when it goes out to make sure it's perfect. Yeah, of course, yeah. And then this is for the nose and the eye. As you can see, you don't need that much yeah. for the nose and the eye. But... I didn't want to put one strand on. <laughs> so, so yeah, so they're the hedgehog, hedgehoggy colours at the end there. And then these are to do the rest of it with. And you've got couch stitch there. Lovely. Um, with French knots in the middle. And this is couch stitch as uh -huh. well. So, very easy to do. But well, you've couch stitched, but you've put your couch in. It, it, you, spe you specifically put it in a particular place rather than just couching whenever, yeah. And then how do I get little flowers from little circles like that? Well, they're buttonhole stitch, but they're just sort of backwards ones and stick, oh, yeah. stick a French knot in the middle. Very so nice. just work round in a circle and stick a French knot in the Beautiful. Middle. Now, again, you get the canvas, uh, not the canvas, the cotton. Um, it is can quite I make a bag? Or, it is quite canvasy, isn't it? Is it is canvasy, it's very yeah. thick. But you can make the bag or a cushion if you wanted to out of that. You don't have to make the bag. But all the instructions for both are in there, aren't they? Yeah. My friend Sandra made a cushion for a mum from Mother's Day and it looked lovely as a cushion. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Lovely, isn't it? So that one's £40 there. Uh, right. Now, we're moving on to something completely brand new now. Which we've got... Now, this is... Oh, no, it's still the world, still the world. Still the world. This is incredible. Now, what did you say about this? Is impactful? Did you say this? Yeah, I'm quite idea? excited about this one actually. Quite excited. Um, there's so it's brand new. Brand new, brand brand new. Have you felt that? Do what? Have you felt that? How thick it is? Wow. Oh, that now that feels yeah. like a really full-on tapestry fabric, yes, doesn't it? it yeah. is. It's like, like old-fashioned ta tapestry fabric. Yeah. It is. It feels like a tapestry. Yeah. It's very very dense, but it's mainly done in split stitch. Oh, okay. So it might look intricate, but it's literally like. Painting by numbers, stitching by numbers, really. But it also looks like you've uh, made it and then appliqued it on top of the linen. Do you know what because I mean? it's stood off yes, the surface. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so because, let's see what you get in the kit. Because there is so much stitching in that, although simple, you do get a lot of Wow, wool lots of yarn. And yeah. look at those colours. So now when you're sitting there drawing, or not drawing, creating, is there a colour that you think, oh, I wish I had a... So yes. say you hadn't got that one on your shelf yeah. and you go, oh, wish I had a more aubergine colour or yeah. whatever. Can you then go to the supplier and look for another colour? Yes, and there's one that they don't do, which they will be doing. I don't know if that's secret. Anyway, I asked them for it and they're doing it. Not, oh, not because I asked them, they were doing it anyway. I'd recognised it was a gap and he, he said, yeah, we're going to do that one. Yeah. So hopefully soon we'll get that new colour. And what colour, what, 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 where can't, is it? Can't really say, can I? Because it might spoil their surprise. Oh, OK. What colour range is it in? Is it a red? Is it a green? Is it a blue? Is it a yellow? It's on the warm side. Warm? OK, it's warm. She's it's not giving anything it's the, away. It's on the warm side. OK. <laughs> uh, anyway, beautiful. So you get all of that yarn, all that wool, uh, the, the... Carbon film. Film, the needle, needle. the yep. linen, all the instructions with the template in there to draw around. Now, is there any particular order? Because that's quite so heavy. Is there any order... 
that I need to go in? I would do a small section at a time. The reason being that once you've stitched this, because it's so heavy, you won't get a hoop over the top of it. Oh, and a hoop's important, is it? It is for most of it, yes. Right. I would, um, yeah. And how do I know I've got my tension right then when I'm stitching it? If it's not puckering up. Right. Basically. So it's either too loose or too, too yes. puckered up. The, the hoop to... has to be drum tight when right. you're stitching. But what size hoop do you work with? I normally do five inch, um, but six inch should be fine for this, actually. But like, I see what you mean. You, yes. you do that little bit there. Yeah. And they, if you yeah. try to then go back here, it's going to be too thick. And also, yes. you don't want to damage your stitches by pulling it through your hoop, do you, really? Exactly. It doesn't. The wool's quite... Um, Sturdy, yeah. actually. Could I, yes. could I do it if I had a big hoop like that, like a 10-inch hoop? Could I, I put the could. whole thing in? Yeah, especially the ones that you sit on, you know, those frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I We've got those, those on our website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they've got a 10-inch yeah. hoop on them, yeah. Especially, you know, if you like watching telly, yeah. and you, you know, they're brilliant. That'd be brilliant for this, actually. Do you do it watch, 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 watch telly or do you sit quietly in your studio? I sit quietly upstairs in, in my attic bedroom. Oh, OK. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> yeah. In the zone. Uh, now, what demos have you got today? So, the demos, I'm going to demo split stitch. The reason being, it's a really simple stitch. Right. And this is mainly made up of split stitch. Right. Later on, I'm going to demonstrate pistil stitch, okay. which is that one. Oh, what? Well. Pistil. Pistil. <laughs> pistil. Where's that come from? It's a, I don't know, it sounds French, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, like pastille. Yeah, it's a French knot on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be why it sounds French, then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, should we do it? Should we do a demo of a split stitch before we because when yeah, the next things we're gonna go on to are embroidery threads, aren't they? So we might as well yes, yes. we'll be coming back to wool. We've got more wool, but let's just yes. do a quick demo on the um this one. Right. So if you've not used a hoop before, separate it by undoing the clasp. Yep. The bit without the clasp goes underneath, press down firmly on top, tighten it. Hand tight bit should be drum like. Yeah. So we're good to go. So I feel like a bit of a fraud doing this actually because Why? it's so simple. But I wanted to show people how they can get going with something that's yeah, so no, no, simple. Yeah, no, no, and also some people will never ever ever have seen this before and be thinking, oh, this is too difficult for me. But actually, yes. when they show you how simple yeah. it is, yeah. Then it'll give somebody, you, you could inspire one person to take up hand stitching stuff. Like Delia. Yeah, like Delia. Who's just so. going through the whole yeah, exactly. <laughs> shebang. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So I've unthreaded that because yeah. I'm going to show you an easy way to thread wool. Okay. So I don't use metallic me metal, metallic needle, needle thread. threaders because they're a pain. So I cut a piece of paper. It's plain paper. Plain paper that the needle came in. And it's got to be of a width that will easily, I've got my glasses on. Will easily pass. Where through. are they? Okay, I feel like Be Betty Davis's mother in Now Voyager. Put your glasses on, girl. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> so it will pass through the eye of the needle. Yeah. So what you do is you fold it into a, a V shape. Yeah. Like Victoria. <laughs> And case not because of that's not why you call Victoria because a bit of paper folding a bit of paper in half. No, it's just so. Hmm? It's. A memory, isn't it? Yeah. An aid memoir. Aid memoir. So you basically caught, just caught the wool inside. Yeah. Fold it in two, so you've got a sharp edge, which will easily pass through. Like so that. simple, isn't it? Yeah. So simple. I always knot in the end. Right. I don't care what the backs look like. It, I don't think it matters okay. personally. If, if you do, you must do what you think is. Yeah, of course. Is right. So now, what stitch is this? A split so stitch. So this is a split stitch, and I'm starting to think I should have just drawn a line to demonstrate it okay, more then. easily. Okay, draw a line. So if I can find a pen, wow, that was good, wasn't it? Mm. Like you've practiced. It was lucky finding that. Uh, uh, Say if that's the line. I know. It, I know it's wobbly. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 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 So I'm going to start on this side, but I'm not going to start at the end. I'm going to start one stitch in. Okay, first of all, uh, you're right-handed. I'm right-handed. So you start, but if you were left-handed, would you start at that end? Yeah, but yeah. it doesn't really matter because a split stitch, you can split any direction. Oh, okay. That's how you get this, you know, you can move it around. Yeah. So I'm going to start one stitch from the end. Right. And the size of the stitches will depend on the surface area that you fill in. If it's a small area, obviously do small stitches. Yeah. If it's a curve, do very small stitches. So I've just passed it from the back to the front and then back down again to make that first stitch. And then 
come one stitch away. You normally would. We haven't split anything yet, then. We haven't, but watch this. Okay. On the downward. Oh, uh, okay, that's easy. I thought you were going to split it coming upwards. No, it's you can do. You can do a split stitch that way, but it's really difficult yeah. to find, yeah. especially if you're working with thread. Well, yeah, know. no, but also, but also, why make it difficult? Because you're supposed to be doing it for fun and enjoyment yeah. and mindfulness, aren't you? So. Yes. So, that's that's it. That's, oh, that is a fraud. I know, it is. And I, I thought, well, shall, it's very simple. Shall I show that? And then I thought, well, a lot of these designs that you see today. You could do them all in this. Mm. So if you could just do this, you fancy having a go, and if you but get also, also, if we've never seen it before, we go. Oh, I can't do split. I can't do stitching. I, can't, I definitely couldn't do a split stitch. But actually, it's just doing a back stitch, but stabbing the one before. Yeah, downwards. Yeah, and look how big the needle is. It's easy to. Yeah, to yeah, handle yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. and the wool, and it's so forgiving. The thing is, you also say on your pack they're not for children and thing, but actually, it's a g supervised. Supervised, it's yeah. It's a good way to get because the needle's not tiny, the thread's not tiny, yeah. and it's going to give like muscle memory to children who then might want to go on to yes. do something more ornate yeah. or anything. So, you're skill building. Muscle memory is a good thing actually because you do get your brain does get used to doing this. Yeah. Like sometimes people say, I keep stabbing myself, or you do at first, mm. but your brain gets used to it. Yeah. So for dexterity... Mind you, while I was up making wind dress, I was always stabbing myself still, at the, even when I've been doing <laughs> it for years and years. So that that's as complicated as it gets. And, it, and it's lovely because it's more than a back stitch, isn't it? It is. And a lot of embroidery patterns, I'm surprised that sometimes they use stem stitch where split stitch would do it so much better. And yeah. the reason it would do it better is because it creates very straight lines. So when you see some of the kits we've got coming up with very straight lines, this is how you achieve it. And it's brilliant for outlining. Brilliant. I mean, it really makes that pop, that yeah. black outline. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just no, a yeah, split exactly. stitch. It just brings it to Yeah, because you normally just do a normal back stitch with that, but the split stitch yeah. gives it that extra yeah. something, doesn't it? Yeah. Shall we do the pistol stitch while we're here? Shall we do it? Yeah. So the pistol stitch, just to demonstrate, it's this one, the French knot on a stick. Lovely. <laughs> French knot on a stick, right. So if we imagine... Oh, by the way, when you finish stitching as well, a lot of people ask this. I just knot off at the back like that. I just make a loop and go through like that. And I do it twice with wool so it right. doesn't open up. But a lot of people ask that in workshops. And then I just cut it off. Scissors. <laughs> but then, yeah, then you, but what, 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 other people, what do other people do then? Um, there's a variety of things that you can do. Some people hide the knots. Yeah. And some people think that the back should be as neat as the front. <laughs> But if you're not doing an exam in needlework, no, don't no. talk to Or doing you. that stitch yeah. that Henry Black worked, the Henry VIII toast have on his yeah. cuff, he's got to look the same from both sides, then it doesn't matter. Does don't it? torture yourself. No, exactly. It's the inside of a yeah. cushion. Nobody's going to look on the inside no. of a cushion. Oh, now that's a good question. Are all your wools colour fast? Can yes. I wash them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So these are knitting wools and yeah. crochet wools, so it's things that you would normally knit. Make a jumper jump out of, of yeah. course, yeah. Yeah, they are, definitely. Um, so to teach a pistol stitch, I feel like I've got to teach a French knot first. Right, okay. Now, the two stitches that people shy away from are usually satin stitch and French knot. So I'm going to show a satin stitch in, in a later. Yeah, okay. So French knots, because people go, oh, no, I can't possibly do no. that. So to do the French knot, there is one simple rule that makes a success of it. So I'm right-handed. Mm -hmm. So I hold the other thread in my hand right to the last second and that's absolutely key. Okay. Because if you let it go in midair, it will not in midair and that's the issue that most people yeah. have. Now a classic French knot is usually rotate it twice around the needle. Right. And then you insert the needle almost where it came from. Yeah. You're still holding onto this one. Can you see I'm still yeah. holding, still holding, still holding. Sometimes I even, whoops, I even put my just to make sure I'm not tempted. Yeah. Just hold it like that, but control it and do it slowly as well. Don't let it go in midair. Nice and controlled. Like that. Yeah. It's as easy as that. If I want to make it bigger. Yes. How do I make it bigger? Wrap it round the needle more times. If right. you want to make it neat, just wrap it round once, okay. um, which is very nice. And I think. I mean, there's no hard one. and fast rules, are there? It's whatever no. you fancy, really. And it's, it's how many, if you're using cotton skeins, it's how many threads you're using. So experiment. Yeah, yeah. Rather yes. than wrapping it round more times, it's yes. used more, more. More, yes. 
Yeah. What do you call them when you split it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, strands. Yes, yeah, strands. Yeah. So to do a pistol stitch, which is a which is a okay. French so knot. this is what this is our French knot That's here, and we're going to do a pistol stitch coming from there, are we? Or we're going to do a separate one? So this one. is completely separate. Oh, ignore that one. So ignore that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it will be um, a knot on a stick. Right. So basically, as you would hold this tight. Yeah. Twice around. Now yeah. instead of inserting the thread where it came from, we want it to be on a stick. So insert it wherever you want it to be and just follow the same rules. Support it. Oh, I support see. Support it. Support it. There we go. It's got... Oh, you can do your bumblebees. What sits with that? Yes. What are they called? Antennas. Eh? Antennas? They're the other ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what it comes from? Piss well, did you want to Google it? For oh, no, it's too late. The pistil is the female organ part of a flower from Wilma. Oh, makes sense, that, doesn't it? That would, it does. What song have you heard, Sin? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say some folky song, <laughs> Grease 2. I'm not even going to say the name of the song. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Do that again, do that again, because that's fantastic. OK, so up from the back. Yeah. Do your French I've knot done it twice, twice. And then wherever you want it to land. So instead of going back through where you'd normally go, you go to where you want it to finish up. Yes. Where keep you hold of this one. Keep, keep hold, keep hold, keep hold, keep hold, keep yep. hold. Eventually control it, just let it go. If you keep, if you weren't listening. If you don't, if you don't keep hold, the knot will just knot in midair somewhere. And, and you have to cut it yeah. off and it's disastrous. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to get rid of that one now. Or oh, you put that one back in there. That one goes in there. <clears throat> Of course they do. Do you not do biology at school? She didn't know that um, flowers had male and female boots. How do they make baby flowers? <laughs> right, <laughs> come on, let's do this. There's a big favourite, this one. Oh, you've got it on your side already, I think. Oh. Bumblebee in a hoop. There we go. So now, we're now not with wolves anymore. We're now with embroidery. I say skeins, she says skeins. Right? I started saying skeins now. What? I've, I've changed my ways. <laughs> oh, no, Kerry said skeins upstairs, but she's, a, she's from a car mechanic background. She's nothing to do with sewing. <laughs> anyway, so look, we get the hoop. We get the skein, skeins. How many of those? Six of them. Yes. We get the needle. Now, on this one, your bumblebee is already printed onto your canvas. It is. And it's organic half Panama cotton, and it's 309 GSM. So. Thank you. Does this have to stay? Yeah. Yeah, but once you put your hoop on it, you'll lose that, won't you? Yeah. 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 So you can display these in the hoops. I've yeah. not just to show you. Yeah. Um, or you could frame it or... Or stitch it to something. Cushion. Cushion, Cushion bag. Yeah. bag. Bag. Okay, so what stitches have we got in here, then? Because so, this is obviously... Even though this is skeins, we split the skeins, don't we? We do. To strands. We do. So we use just one strand. One? One. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what most people do, yeah. Yeah. So that's when I display this at fairs, people will quite often come up and start to and to go. Don't go touch. Like, I've, I've got over it now, so I let. I let oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I say it's just one strand, and that's how you get this very, very fact. This piece there, isn't yeah. it? Don't know how that's happened in transit, but um, that's how you get this very shimmery effect, and the fact that if show my hands like that, yeah. the stitches are into. A, into oh, okay. But one, there, so using one, it's not going to build as quickly as your woolen one, is it? It's going to no, be a longer... it's delicate. I don't mean longer, but more considered stitching yes. time. But this is just straight stitch. So we've got straight stitch up at the back, down at the front, yeah. and then a split stitch on the wing. So it's a very easy technique. And again, Okay, so this is all one strand. It is, is this all one strand and this all this one strand? This is two strands. So, so the actual... Because it's difficult to split one strand. I was you gonna can say, do. Yeah, no, I was going to no, say you I can just split do. one strand. Yeah. Some people do, but... Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. And then that, is that like a satin stitch down there? It is. So satin stitch or straight stitch, call it. It's oh, yeah, but it's straight stitch, but going... Yeah. This is straight stitch going random. It, yeah. This is straight stitch going a little bit more formal, isn't yeah. it? Creating a shape. And the more sort of scruffy you can be with your stitching, yeah. the more textured the bee looks. So there's no... You know, sometimes I do workshops and people will be very, very tight sewing, which is lovely if that's what you want mm. to do. You could do this in long and short stitch and do it very considered. Um, or you can make it really textural, which is 
what puzzles people. This, yes. this is why we get it. Ooh, you know. Gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> 30 pounds. Now remember, you don't need anything else whatsoever. <clears throat> Everything you need is in the kit. So you've got the, the canvas with the B drawn on it. You've got all the thread, the needle, and look at this, all of your instructions with your photos and everything like that. So I've done a work in progress, how, yep. you, how you actually build it up, the design. So and it doesn't have to be done like that, but it's perfect for beginners. And that's why I put the hoop in. Should I start? Where should I start? OK, so you could start in a number of places. I usually start on the head, actually. Uh -huh. um, we did I, do a demonstration. Was it last time you We did, and on? I brought it in case you wanted me to demo it again. Oh, OK. Um, but I started on the head last you time. You go very far, didn't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not destroying another one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll bring the same one back. Okay, then. <laughs> but um, literally, I mean, at first when you start, you might think it's patchy because you're stitching with one thread. Yeah. But after two needles worth of thread, thread yeah. you can see it building up and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess it. So stick with it at least two or three needles mm -hmm. worth. You know, don't, don't Is give it up. important the uh, order in which we do the colours? Um, it's not really. You could improvise, um, you know, these bands, as long as you do them in bands. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but bees, there are so many different types of bees. Oh, what, over th oh no, it's parrots, that's over 300, isn't it? I don't know how many bees there are. But I call them all bumblebees and apparently get into trouble because they're not all bumblebees. No, this is a bumblebee. Oh, is it? Yeah. What makes it a bumblebee? I think because it's fat, isn't it? A fat. <laughs> so I'd be a bumblebee then. <laughs> so would I. Anyway, £30, you get everything you need in there, absolutely everything you need. Uh, moving on, we, if we get time, we'll do a, we'll do a stitch detail, but if we, if we get time, yeah. we can do that. Yeah, okay. it's a very simple one. And there's videos at the website. Oh, and there's, uh, there's what? Videos. 20,000 different types of bees, I'm being told. 300, I thought 300 parrots was a lot. Right, so let's talk about this, because this is slightly different again, isn't it? It is, so on a similar theme, straight stitch and split stitch, with just an addition of French knots, which yep. we've just seen, um, and a little bit of split stitch as well. Um, so, yeah, it's the same thing. You so, get... now, do you do the colouring in and then the brown lines on top, or do you do the brown lines then colour in? No, so you, you, the first one. So, yep. you fill all the colour in, and again, it's all interchangeable. So, if you put the pink there and the blue there, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Well, if you think but... about their wings as they fly, yes. they, the colours move yeah. anyway, don't they? It's as if they're not really coloured. They give that shimmer, yes, don't yeah. they? I tell you what, there's some in my. I've got a lake in the field behind my house, right? And in summer, they're quite beautiful, but they're quite terrifying. So, a whole family yeah. of them will come down into my garden, and their bodies yeah. are like translucent metallic. Yeah. And then the wings are like the, the big ones, the mummy and daddy ones. Are they like, blue? Are they, yeah, the but blue. when they move, they're like, they're completely see-through sort of thing, but yeah. they move so fast, don't they? And I'm yeah. like, so they go, oh, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. Do they bite? Do they sting? I don't know. And I don't know whether to move running doors or not. I don't think they do, do they? Oh, well, I'll well, find out this summer, won't we? I'll catch one and see what it does to me. It's funny because, you know, I do things like bees and dragonflies, but if one landed on me... Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so I... I do show the work in progress. Oh, so yeah, brilliant, colouring in, yeah. But you can change the colours. A bite then... is possible, just so you know, so you'll be catching them. Oh, they do bite? They're not aggressive, but oh. if they think you're a control freak, they might go for you. <laughs> right, so you colour it all in, and yeah. then you and put then the brown, brown lines, lines on top. And it's kind of random. You can see the brown lines are not put on the pattern. Yes. But they're random. And so, so the lines that are on the pattern, do you, do you colour those in? Like, so you put pink well, there, blue there, yes. uh, or one so, of the other blues there. So you can see where to put the major lines. Yes. Because you've, you've banded the colours. And then within those colours, just... And have I done this the same as I have the bee's body? Is uh, that the same stitch as the bee's body? When yes. Random... Straight just, stitch. Straight stitch. Yeah, yeah. Random, in, interleaved, um, crisscrossed over, um, yeah. Nothing, yeah. nothing much to it, really. Um, so, yeah, so the book... Fabulous. What did you say, Jess? Dragonflies eat bees. Ooh. Oh. Maybe that's why they come in the garden aggressive. It's got bumblebees there, sir. So oh. been, been, the last few days, there have been loads of great big bumblebees in my house. And I catch them and, in the house. That, and I put them outside again and I make sure they don't need the sugar and water yeah. before they go. So they're in the house? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if they... Do they hibernate? I don't know if they hibernate. Because I know that um, um, uh, if you put your heating on in winter, suddenly yeah. all these butterflies start flying around the house. They've all gone to hibernate. Oh. So you put them in a plant pot and put them in the garage. Yeah. And then in the new year, in the summer, they then fly out the garage and go and... I've had wasps 
come out at Christmas. What? I think they sit in light fittings. Oh, hang on a second. What's she saying there? <laughs> She's weird. Oh, bees don't... Ma ma mammals don't hibernate. We don't hibernate. Yeah, go on. A well, tortoise isn't, isn't a mammal, is it? They conserve energy in the winter. Learning everything here today, how to do split stitch and all about bees and everything. Right, look, we've got to get on because it's 50 and I've still got two more piles to get through. So now we're going to auricula, which yes. we have seen before, haven't we? We have. Oh, I love that one. Right, the okay, message with, so The message with this is the auricula design is in many different guises. Do you remember at the beginning of the hour and Kat said, don't worry, I'll be there to pass you all the cushions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gone, disappeared. Thank you. There you go. So there's the pink one. So there's the oh, pink we got, one. Sorry, we called it pink. So it's called vintage. Vintage, vintage. Because right? it's a really vintage palette, that, isn't it? Lovely. So, so now, so we've gone back to the wool now, haven't we? We have. So we've got it in three wool and linen options. So we've got the pink linen and, again, you get the cushion front. So you get yes. one panel. Yeah. Have I got pink for sale on its own on the website? No, it's just the natural on its own that's for sale this time. Oh, OK. Yeah. So we've also got the black linen Where, version. There's the black. I'm looking for that one. Oh, the grey. It's in a bag. Sorry, it's here. Oh, that's right. That's Sorry. OK. I'm going to so, work on it. So right, OK. Can... So let's do the pink one first. So this okay. is your pink one. So in the pink one, you get that gorgeous pink linen at the back. It's vintage, vintage. Called. Well, it's pink linen, but I just called it vintage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With your beautiful soft tones in there, and that gives you that one. And you get the carbon film and the. You get needle, everything you need. And you in get there. the Absolutely. And also, if somebody gets stuck, yes. uh, have you got somewhere where they can come and go, yes. I can't do this bit? Yes. Then you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. But yeah, so I don't get many of those emails. So people can email me. My email's in there. Yeah. But I think that's good, really, because I think people are getting the kits and they're just doing them. Have you checked your junk mail? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, 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 it's brilliant. I'm only joking yeah, with you, but it is but, good. That yes. people, but p please don't feel that you can't. Oh, because some people I would like... message because they'd be frightened going, yeah, oh, it's a silly do. question. Because no yeah. question's a silly question. No silly. No, no, no questions. silly. No silly. <laughs> doesn't want any sillies messaging in. So that's your vintage. <laughs> I'm only rushing now because I've only got two minutes left. Then we've got the black. I love this one. The black one. Yep. So that's um, still a heavyweight linen but slightly yeah. lighter. Look, to, imagine if you went into, like, Liberties and bought something like that already done. You would be paying so much more. I mean, you could add an aught to that, basically, couldn't you? Um, that's beautiful. It's very expensive, the black one, with those bold colours on it there. Beautiful. And then, now, this one here, you don't have to make a cushion with it. And you don't need to make a cushion with any of no? these. You... So, now, have you added an extra piece, or is that the actual piece of linen that that's comes That's the piece in of linen. So, all I've done is folded, folded it inwards. Folded it round. And the hem, I was going to fold it inwards, and I thought, oh, no, let's make a little feature of that. And I folded the hem that way. Yeah. The drawstring doesn't come with it. No. Um, no, but I've seen some drawstrings we, in bags. We, we've they, got some oh, on the... Yeah. Spo spoiled the surprise now. There's no surprise. <laughs> They're blooming hanging behind you. Oh, yeah. Not surprised. <laughs> um, so, so this one, you can make a cushion or you can make a bag. If you make a cushion, you need whatever you're going to put on the back of the cushion. If you're making the bag, apart from everything's there apart from the drawstring. Beautiful, right? That's that one. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Slap you in the hand then. <laughs> now, this one's slightly different again, isn't it? Because so this it's, one... It's still the auricular design, but yes. I liked it so much I couldn't stop. Right. So I did a painting of it, and then I printed so it. So now, uh, this small one, is this peach? Yeah, is it what is, just for the so graphics, this is this the peach or the apricot? Can remember? Oh, hang on, well, you'll know peach. by the price, because this one's bigger. Peach. So, so this, this is, is a smaller one, it's the peach. Right. Yep, yep. Auricula, and it's £35, and you get the printed heavyweight panel. Yeah, so and that's, that's going to make this one here. It is. But again, you're just getting the, but the, you're getting the panel, but this time it's your original painting. My I mean, original obviously that's painting. a print of your painting, isn't it? It is a print, yeah. You haven't sat and painted all of these at home. <laughs> no. So this is different again, because you don't have to mark it out, but it's already done in colour as well. So wherever you put stitches... See, that one hasn't got any stitches behind there. So that uh, peach or apricot behind there is part of the actual painting. And then she's done it splodgy on purpose. It's not like she hasn't finished it properly or anything. No, it's for texture. Thirty-four <laughs> ninety-nine. So you get the panel. The panel. You get the wool. The wool's. And you everything get... else, like all the others, you get. The... Yes. But this time you won't. Now, there's, is there a template in there? You won't need a template in this one. The template is in there. Let me just check. So if you want to recreate it, oh. as in the other kits. 
You're saying that. Oh, yeah, look. You, you own that and you can recreate it. Also, there isn't carbon paper in, but the method is there so that you well, can... Well, yeah, because you don't need carbon yeah, paper. For this but you, you've got yeah. the design and yeah. you can recreate it. Brilliant. And it's a stitch guide as well. So that's the small one. Yes. Then we also have the bigger, sorry, the sorry. bigger... Ver oh, it's lovely, yeah, isn't it? So the bigger version there. I thought, I can't leave this alone, this design. Let's do it bigger. Um, and but isn't this one got a special? Yeah, it's got a special, special exclusive with it. to Sewing Street. It is. So those are the walls that created this finished sample. Yeah. And I thought, well, what happens if we either play up or play down the warmth of these colours? So in other words, you might not want it that bright, and you might want to colour the whole, cover the whole. But thing. also, yeah, like you're saying here, these yeah. aren't these aren't coloured in. You've just uh, edged them, haven't you? Yeah. But so you're what you're saying is you put more yarn in. So this is a bonus pack. So this is yarn. bonus here. Yeah. Uh, to make, if you want, you don't have to. You can just take all those away and take, do a completely yeah. different project. Or you can mix the. Or mix the two. But if you want to say colour that bit in with yes. another stitch or something, then you can do. I think that is gorgeous on there, do you? Even though you say so yourself. I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, blow your own trumpet, girl, that's what you should do. <laughs> Lovely big panel in that one. So you get the panel, nice you get the wool, you get the, the thread, uh, the, sorry, the needle and the instructions and the template and the bonus amount of yarn in there so as well. So when you think that's, that's generous for stitching that finished yeah. sample, so you can imagine how much you can do with that. Plus it has the template in there, so you could actually use these on your fabric stash exactly. and do it again. Beautiful, beautiful. Lots, lots and then we one. have the one with the dark background. Now, again, this is different again because this isn't wool. This is embroidery thread, isn't it? Yeah, so I thought, well, what happens when I paint it in a different colour? <laughs> Get a bit obsessed. Yes. Um, and stitch it in skeins. Skeins, that's correct, isn't it? So you get 15 skeins to be yeah. very creative. So it's a mixed pack. You might not get the exact shade, well, no, but you no, will no, get no. representations. Yeah. And these, I'm going to take them out because... Now, these are a different... Are these a different make to what you used last time? They are. They're Luca S. So Luca S. Being a buyer by nature, because that's what I used to be, yeah. I love sourcing materials, and I'm always looking for great materials to bring to people. Yeah. Um, and it's what I love doing, you know, I mean... And do I split it down? Do I do it like regular embroidery thread? There's eight, there's uh, there's six strands. And you there's six strands. And you Some of these use the whole six strands. Yeah. Um, so, for example, that's the whole six strands. Some of them are varied, uh, wherever I varied it, here. So these are three strands. Right. But you can mix and match, and, and you know, these are six strands. So we've got split stitch, buttonhole stitch, and... How I stitch this is in the booklet. So, um, uh, but you can be creative within that. I mean, look at those. Gorgeous. Colors. So it's the same thing, but done in embroidery threads rather than the wool. Right, I've got to go because look, it's 58. She's back in an hour. Brand new. She, Victoria's back in an hour. Brand new projects in an hour. Look at the. Oh, I've done that because cats not here. Br fabulous, aren't they? Coming up in an hour's time. Uh, don't. Right, next. It's Bella next. Bella's with us next. Uh, yeah, Bella, we'll see you in four minutes from now. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. 
Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. We're so busy doing selfies and everything. Don't you come near me, He's Daisy. He's not talking to me, everybody. Yeah, give us a hug. Give us a hug. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I'm, I, the <laughs> thing is, also, I know... So I'll just explain why. Deb was doing a Facebook Live from her chateau the other night. Yeah. And everyone was messaging. There were lots and lots of messages, I've got to there admit, was. right? And the, so I sent a message in, thinking she read my... She read all the messages out to mine. And then thought, oh, me next, me next. And she went like that, carried on reading. And I'm like, oh, she'll come back to mine. She's saving mine. But I also know, because I do a Facebook Live every Sunday, All right. and people say to me, oh, you didn't read out my message. I said, I didn't see it. And no. lots, and on here, we get on here. And people... you've just been winding me up all, all day, more, all, all day. day. And all I won't day. do it anymore. But I've just... So no, from, no, he from, will. From he the arrived them all, she arrived this one, I went, not speaking to you. Hello, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, so what are you doing here today? Why are you here? What do you want? <laughs> Should I go? Um... We're back with fairies because we've had such an amazing response um, and we brought you a new one. I mean, who doesn't love a fairy? Oh, no, I'll hold it up to start with and then I'll show it to the upstairs camera. So now, have we got a different colourway here then? Yes. Pink and blue. 
The reason being is oh, the one of the panels that sold out has the blue one, and so we got asked for blue, so we put that up. Oh, right, brilliant. I'm just going to move that there so we can put it here so Ollie can get it on the upstairs camera. Again, you've got all the detailing, you've got the flowers, you've got the, the fairies looking all demure and everything like that. Uh, really beautiful gerbera flowers in the background, daisies. A very beautiful, well, any time of year, really. I was going to say spring and summer, but you could have these in your house anytime. Yeah, I mean, these, I've actually, I designed these specifically for this fabric. So this is not as it normally is in papercraft. Oh, okay. So, so we've got something was... that Hobby Maker haven't got then. Yes. Mm. So I designed this. When I was designing it, I was like, I need to bring in some blue so we can bring in blue. So this is a specific panel for the blue and pink range. And these are exclusive sewing streets as well, aren't yes, they? Yes, yeah. So you can't get these anywhere else, even on our Facebook Live, when she ignores <laughs> you. I'll say I wasn't going to say anything more. I won't say anything more, I promise. <laughs> I won't say anything <laughs> I am, Can I just say, can I just say, I am only joking. Is, you know what I mean? I'm not being horrible, I promise. Yes, for anybody who's in my favourite craft, he's, he's not horrible, really. There you go. Are they all thinking I'm picking on you now? Right, <laughs> OK, then. OK, so I got once told off by somebody for leering at the female guests. <laughs> I wish that presenter would stop leering at the female guests. I wow. Was like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Anyway, buy this, buy this, buy this. It's only nine ninety nine. You get four now. Four of these. They're thirty five by thirty five centimeters. Good size. Pink and blue cushions. Oh, you can do all sorts with it. Oh my goodness! Uh, uh, we have a new lady, Jenny. Are you watching? Hi, Hello, Jenny. Jenny. Well done for what you've done, and she has opened her eyes to the possibilities of what you can create. Oh, endless, endless. endless. Um, so uh, you didn't send her this one. We no, this is brand new. This, one. Yes. this is brand new. Brand new today. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Gorgeous. Keep going through for that. The blues and the pinks are lovely. These aren't anywhere else. These aren't a paper crafter. This was done exclusively for yes. this show today. It was. And the reason being, when we saw that the 30 fairies, they've got blue in, so we thought we'd tie it all in. Exactly. Now, are the 30 fairies, is that the one that sold out within yes. minutes last yes. time you were in? Let's because do that one next, then. We showed that. We showed. What number is it? What number did it finish? That one there. There we go. So I'll go and get the samples. Yeah, I'll open it out and you get the samples. Already? Already? Oh, she's on talkback, I forgot. Already? <laughs> Look, oh, my goodness. Limited already. Let me go in front of you. I'm not being rude. I'm not being rude. Just want you to see the whole panel. There you go. Last time this sold out in minutes. I'll put it down and you show us what Bella's made out of it. Bella. Isn't it gorgeous? Well, she was going to make a match in one of these, but hopefully uh, showing you how to do. We love the quick quilting technique. Right, OK. okay. But then, so, so the reason you did those panels is because these have got, is this the ones that got blue in and we yes, didn't have exactly. a blue. So you could use this panel with the new to one. enhance or go with the new panel. Because we have, if we've got any left, we've got the, obviously the, the 40 squares in the pinks and also the greens coming up but this is just so beautiful yeah you do have to be quick if you want this because it's going to sell out again we're going to have another sell out but you need to check out put them in your basket doesn't mean it's yours so we have used the 40 squares and the back have we got that coming up today we should yeah okay so this is what you're buying now this one here with the uh, uh rectangles be careful be careful because half have already gone and the other half almost are in baskets so you need to check out yeah, even Ollie's looking at the screen saying it's very, very busy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's throw right, that to Bella. You. Catch Bella. Oh, <laughs> oh, careful. She's only a little lightweight. You're not she is not. Uh, right, so then what's next then? Okay, what number? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. So now this is a feature, a feature panel, panel with the four on. Now, all of these are going to go. If you think, if you bought the first fairies, these are going to go. If you bought that panel that we just had there, they're all going to go as well. So you can create all sorts of things with this. Oh, I've need not. Do you know what? How rude of me, right? <laughs> uh, we've been chattering. Bella's here, everybody. <laughs> Poor old Bella. Did you give her a wave earlier? I didn't mention her. Hi, Sorry, Bella. Hi. <laughs> uh, what are you making today, Bella? I'm going to do a pair for the cushion so i'm going to do a quick quilt on the front and then put the 40 squares on the back so it'll be showing you how to make that Lovely. if you do want that 30 squares, you to be very very quick very very quick now uh, so this this is uh, the green and yellow feature very spring, panel isn't it? very spring the thing is we all say it oh, will spring some but actually if these were in your house or in your bedroom or in your conservatory they're going to look lovely all because they're going to they be are. uplifting in winter and it's just very, very lovely for spring. Mind you, people like um, 
Mandy Shaw, she changes her cushions and her home decor as the seasons go around. So it's, it's a, she does um, uh, Easter things at Easter. She does summery things in summer. She has curtains, cushions that keep... I can't wait to do that. Oh. I'm in the cleaning area at the moment. But you'll have so many rooms. I you have can have a summer room, a winter room, an I autumn room. I have 36 room, rooms. <laughs> yeah, 35 of them are toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. What number next, please? 26. It's the 20 squares. Oh, we love that. This is the other one you're going to use for the back of your it cushion, is, isn't yeah. it? It is gorgeous. So these are your 45 inch squares here. Now, I know these are your fairy designs. How do you then go about doing these to go with it? So, in the collection of the paper craft, so this range I developed about five years ago okay so these designs these are what were originally backing papers for the card making industry so what i then did we decided bell and i talked about the designs what we we're going to use then choose the colors because i can have this in different colors and then the papers that i chose turned them into fabric and right. then if i needed to tweak it i would to fit in with it so these ones exactly you get 20 in total and yeah. twice yeah so you get 40 in total yes. but you get Two designs of every single one. So yes. Is, yeah, yes. 20 designs, two of each. And then the ombre is beautiful. And it works when we show you the samples. I mean, you can do it for everything from quilts to dresses now. Exactly, which we'll tell you. Not time, not time yet, not time yet. We've got to show you the pink one. Okay, so hang on. Was, what wow. was that? This one here. There's only three of these left. Three of those left. Right. Great alternative, though, the 40 squares, which is this one here, because that one's going to sell out. So I've just thrown that one over there to you, Kat, there. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, we, the thing is, you, when we do... Five, yesterday, I did five-inch charm packs, didn't I? They, they, um, and they, they fly out. The Ruby Star Society, they fly out. Look, people love five-inch squares. I mean, you can do so much with it, OK? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, from putting it on a quilt to also using it with different... Um, the cushion bag that Bella used also, and then we're going to be showing you how you can use it in a dress. Also, if you love doing cathedral windows, these five-inch squares are brilliant for the insides of the cathedral windows as well. Beautiful, at $14.99. Oh, hi, John. Pauline says these are lovely panels. That's for you, not me. Which number? 47. 47. Oh, we do have a cushion. Cushion panel. And it's the green one. I think it's over here. We ran out of cushions. Oh, OK. So this is, now this is, I'll hold it up for you, because what you get is you get the front of your cushion, then you get the choice up to make an envelope back, right? But you get three, so one of those is spare. One of those is left over, look. Oh, Kat's just doing a pan, there you go. And this is called per, pearling, no, what did you call this? The is pearls. that what thing? When faux pearls. That's your idea. Faux pearls. Faux pearls, yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, I'm not I wasn't saying it to take what to, but I just tried to be uh, impressive by saying what they were called. Faux pearls on but there. But we're learning. You know, Bella and I have only started sewing. Well, I've yet July. to see. Uh, excuse me. I've yet to see you sew anything. You cheeky thing. I sew. <laughs> Maybe not as much. Yes, other people have witnessed it. Jess, what have you seen? Jess has seen it. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. Is it? I'll go and look. <laughs> I'm not going so to look. look Facebook Live there you go. Right. Oh, there's the faux pearls. So As your envelope back there. I have to own up. I've only managed to do um, cushions and bags so far. The thing is, all joking aside, you do run a massive... How many millions of drawings have you got now? Um, we have something about 1.2 million. Exactly. So here's me going, why haven't you made a cushion? Why haven't you done this? It, you run a conglomerate and you're doing up your house, your, your semi-detached house in France, aren't you, and everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's got quite a big garden. And she's found all these things in the cupboards, haven't you? Yes, and fabric. Oh, my goodness. And you've towels on your hair this month as well, this week as well, haven't you? <laughs> she flew over yesterday. You were in France yesterday, weren't you? I was. So I flew over at half five yesterday. Bella picked me up, we came Good. here, stopped over, and now we're here. Oh. And then after the show, I'm on Hobbymaker TV, we go back, then I fly back to France. Oh, you're on Hobbymaker this afternoon? Yes. I thought it was odd that you were only on here for an hour, and then flying back, didn't realise you were next door. Yeah. So you don't fly that, you don't live over No, there. no, I live in Cambridge. But she has a suite. 
I do. I have my own suite. That you I will have when it's done up, you mean? No, no, oh, no, she I'll has to do it. it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. I gave her a suite and she has to do it off. What yeah. happens if she does it up in fabric? In like, You get in there and it's all like punky or something. It won't. It she won't. Has to, I has to pass my test. Oh, OK. <laughs> so it's not free range suite. Within reason. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, anyway, fourteen ninety nine Cushion panel front, back, back, spare. Right, Jo. Then moving on to a tote bag next. And I think that is Bella's got the sample. Of the tote bag, yellow Glory. one. Yellow. I mean, this is so beautiful. I'll hold it up actually because it's quite big, isn't it? There you go. Look at this, 19.99. So you get all the instructions at this side here. Belle, come on in. Oh, they bring it in. There we are. And it's a beginner's panel. You it's a be it. beginner's yeah. panel. Show, just show it to them, Belle. Oh, sorry, which That's way? Right. There we are. Yeah. To move. So and then it's lined and yeah. it's got another pattern on it's got another pattern on the back. So you could yes. actually make two bags if you use your stash of fabric, you make two different bags. Yeah, and if you turn yes. it inside out, we've turned it, we made it into a uh, what's it called? A reversible bag. Reversible. Yes. So you turn the other bit inside out and then you've got two bags. So actually you can make four bags. Yes. If you wanted to. Because that's the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. In your own time, Pell. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> take my time. <laughs> All the time in the world. Thank, Thank you. Yes. So on the panel, you've got the front and the back, yep. the lining, the lining, yes. the straps, the and pocket, the pocket, and then all the instructions. So, and in spare. fairness, you could do one, two, three, four, because you can put those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously, we put plain one in there because we didn't want to put two fairies yeah, exactly. inside. Yeah, exactly. So, you're getting an awful lot for your money there on 19 99 Also, if you're adventurous, it doesn't have to be a tote bag, does it? You could use, any, use it for anything. If you've got ideas of what other things you want to make out of it there you go there you go next purple 48 purple 48 oh the only there you last go. one there you go lovely lots Beautiful. of these got into baskets now we do have this cushion is it here oh, that oh, no it's over there Oh, well, that's to come. That's to come in a minute. Right, so there's your cushion, there's your fairy front, and then there's your three sections there. Beautiful. This is flying out. This is really, really popular. Flying out, is it? It's the fairy flying out. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> it's moving very fast, this one. There you go. Beautiful. And then we have... And then we've got it in pink. 63. There we go. Right, now, nah, wrong way. There you go. So, this could be a cushion panel, it could be whatever you want it to be. So, again, you've got your fairy front cushion there, three choices of backs for your envelope back, but you can do it however you want to do it. $14.99. Got and your faux pearls. You've got the folding over bit as well. I always, we give extra. I know you, then yep. you get choices. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. For fourteen ninety nine, good quality cotton as well, right? And oh, and here's the cushion. Run out of cushions, so there you go. It's all done. So you can see that we've actually. I love the blossom. It's yes, so that's beautiful. Lovely. So you've got the option on there, and it's you know a gift for anybody. It's very spring. You can add embroidery. Look at me. Beads. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Applique. You can do what you on like you on there. You want. Yeah. And are you happy for people to take your artwork and do what they want to do? Yes, with it? of course. Enjoy it. I mean, it's such a beautiful design. And you can, uh, you know, I'm, Bella and I just, joking aside, we're so excited about being in this new hobby that we're doing. It is a yeah. hobby for us as well because I want to do curtains in the chateau. I want to, do, I want to learn how to do different techniques. And although my time is limited, we are doing it together, and I've learned so much already. So I'm going to ask a question now, which maybe I shouldn't ask. Go for it. Why, uh, why stop now? No, why stop now? <laughs> are you, if you've got 36 rooms, are you planning on doing retreats there in the future? Yes. That's not a cheeky, that's Everybody oh. knows that. That's the whole plan. I've lost everybody. Hang on. That's the whole plan of doing it. We want to do art and craft retreats, sewing retreats, all kinds of things. I mean, the barn, we have a barn that's bigger than the chateau, and that's why we want to do all the workshops. Oh, wow. So, yes, very exciting. Oh, and I haven't spoiled, I haven't spoiled a surprise there, have I? No, no, no. Oh, no. That, that everybody knows that's one of the reasons. Oh, OK, to OK, that's fine then. Right. <laughs> right, you oh, go. Oh, beautiful. So, like the other panels, we have got this in pink and the purple. I love the fact, because these give them, this the, out of all of them, this one gives it, for some reason, the most 
you suddenly realise how little the fairies are. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Because there's your flower and there's your little... And how big the bark and the, or the whatever behind the it is. Yes. Yeah. So At 9 99 I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, you can do so much with it. And I think we have... Um, oh, should I should say, we... Jenny has done, like, a table runner in front using this. Oh, look. I'll hold that one up. So using this, she's sewn... She, she, she's sewn two together and two together... You can make placemats if you want to, but she's done a, a like a, um, what's it, corner? I can't remember what the corner's called there. Diagonal. Huh? <laughs> Diagonal. Yeah, it's got a proper <laughs> name, though. Is it? Uh, anyway, so that's lovely, Jenny. Thank you very much indeed. Nice little table runner. Right, lovely. 91, pink oh, tote bag next. Now, this is what we need to show you. This is what she's used. Right, OK, I'll hold this while you get ready to show what to do. So, basically, you sent Jenny this panel. That panel and, actually, yes, that one and, obviously, the other feature panels for what yep. you've just done. Yep. But, obviously, we thought she might make a bag out of it. Yeah. But she's made a dress out of it, along with the 20 squares, that, 40 squares that are coming up. Brilliant. Right, so do you want to bring the dress in now so we can see what she's done? There we go. How beautiful is this? Just to give Jenny, you an idea. It's of, no, you have to make a tote bag if you don't want to. <laughs> so she's got... Are you right there, Kat? There you go. So I won't move it. So you've got a little body, little girl's dress. So look, so that's the front of the bag. These are the... The blossom is the side of the bag. Or she said... Oh, hang on, I'll just show you the side of the bag. There you go. It's the inside. There you go. The inside and, uh, of the bag. It's amazing, Jenny. And then the top is made from the fi five-inch squares, which we're going to show in a yes. second. I'll bring it down. Oh, sorry, just cat. There you go. And then, obviously, if you want to do a tote bag, there is a tote bag. So there is the lining. This is the inside of the tote bag. This is why you can actually do it more. I mean, I would... I mean, I've used this bag. And then you can have the reversible option. If you want to make it, you you know, it is true that you should expand it to make three or four no, bags. No, 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 no. If you want a gorgeous bag that you've got fairies everywhere, but if you're making... Now, what's your angel policy? Go ahead. Right, OK. <laughs> so if, you're got, if you've got a craft stall, right, yeah, make one for, like this for yourself because it could be your best shopping bag. Yes. You've got a craft stall for 19 99 You'll need uh, uh, some calico or some other fab yeah. poplin fabric. You could make... A bag with that as the front, lined in something yep. else. A bag with that as the front, lined in something else. A bag with those two inside, lined with something. So you can make four bags out of that. And you've got the lovely pockets as the details yes, there. Exactly. So I'm thinking of like if you're doing craft shows for charities or for yourself or anything like that, that's where you make your money. Definitely. It's all very, I mean, make a beautiful bag for yourself by all means. But if you're going to try and make money, then do, you can make more money by doing that. She's used the pocket on that. Oh, that, I, I was just asking what I was saying, if that was the pan. So the pocket from it is on the front of this. But look, this is one of those um, Bozal boxes, look, storage boxes. And she's boxes. used the handles for the inside of the tote bag. And then what she's done is she's quilted it. And also the sides are the pockets. Yeah. And then this part is the 40 squares coming up. Yeah. So it's to show you that... You yeah, do the 40 squares next then. So... It ends in three six. Uh, tote bag over the half stock's gone. Isn't that gorgeous, the colourway? Beautiful, isn't it? So this one, we actually changed some of the uh, fabric. I Let's designed some down, fabric please. designs. I mean, to be able to make a dress, it is just amazing. And then these are, these are extra designs that we put in it. Remember, we talked about the ferns and different yeah. colours as well. Gorgeous. Fourteen ninety nine. Loads of buses. Remember, you get 20 different designs twice. Yes. And it works beautifully. I mean, with the colourways that you've got, it'll go with your feature panels that we showed earlier. Yeah. Uh, and I need to show you something else. One oh, yes, example. yes, yes, yes. While you'll check out, you're going to be three quick, Jess is saying, because they're... I'm not going to say flying out again. They're absolutely going really quickly. Right, so what's this then? <laughs> this is the feature panels that Jenny made. Look at this. This is amazing. So <coughs> it is using the actual extra... So what she used here, this is the feature panel, Feature it? panel. Yeah. And then this is the leftover on the 
tote bag, there was spare fabric. Right. So she's made a little section to put your needles, needles in. Then she's made a pin cushion. Brilliant. <laughs> Thing to put pens, for put a notebook. Then she's even put clips. And then she's even got a section that she's made to put a pair of scissors in. Ah. Oh. Also, the other thing it could be good for, if you want a block keeper, do you want to put all this in, just have that put um, pages of wadding yes. inside as a block keeper as well. So I think that's just amazing. And a tape measure. That looks like a snail because it's a fairy. Yeah. I think it's amazing. How brilliant. Uh, Jenny, well done doing all this. Yes, Jenny, you're a keeper. Well done. Yeah, a block keeper. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just showing you that you can create, you can be very creative with these designs and do so much. Fabulous. Uh, right, OK. That's obviously not, that's, we're not selling that. That's by using the panel. The that's the panels, panel, yes. Beautiful. Be quick, be quick, be quick. We've got two more. Oh, this one. This is Bella designed this bag. Who did? Bella. Oh, you should be holding this then, Bella. Not Come me. here, Bella. No, 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 you should say no. <laughs> I meant I'd go. Uh, so Bella designed this one. Lovely, Bella. Now, have I seen this one before? Yes, you have. Yes. Oh, no, I love it. I love it, I love it. I did. That's the one she quilted in the Last time she didn't give you credit, she didn't tell me you don't. Oh! <laughs> I love a bag that shape. Really? I do, yes. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not criticising yours, but I do. And I also love, right, look how this one's been quilted. Do you remember but, when you yes, said how straight line, it was? I said, look how brilliant these lines are, right? It's already, you might not see it on the camera, they're already there <laughs> on the fabric for you to follow the crop, well, not, well, they are cross hatching, but in a diamond shaped line. So, so don't worry if you think, oh, I couldn't quilt like that. Bella couldn't quilt like that, like the week before last. No. But now what she's done is she's followed the lines on the panel and you get perfect, perfect yeah. quilting. But I do love a bag that shape. It is a really it's great. A lovely, so we, lovely we decided shape. we now need to make another bag just a little bit higher because we fill it with so much stuff. Okay. <laughs> but when we did, this is the beauty, because we design all the fabrics, when we were designing the inside of this fabric, or we wanted, we actually deliberately put no, the lines in. No, she's gone from Bella to we now. But there you go, it's all right. <laughs> we do talk about what we're yeah. doing. So <laughs> what we decided on here is that we wanted the option to have the faux quilting that you can do the lines. And that's how the lines are on, because we put them on specifically. Brilliant. I'm going to carry on with all of the panels and then we'll go to Bella for a sewing at the end because I just want you to start checking because there's still lots to go. I haven't forgotten about you, Bella, That's but right. it's just <laughs> if they've got them all going, then we can then we can um, then we can get the sewing done at the end. What do you want? Sorry. And what colour is it? Oh, we're going to sunflower side. Yeah. So I got, seem to have one. We've still got left. something left on that side. K O U U eighty six. No, that no, no, is. Oh, a yellow fairy. Oh, I love it. And we have got a pillow. I, I love this. It's just... Every, every, every space of the set on this side is filled with a cushion, a bag, a dress. But I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I, green and yellow are not normally my favourite colour. Oh, really? It's just... Are you being sarcastic? No, 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 no. No, and I know you love pink. <laughs> but I just thought with green and yellow, like kind of spring, but bursting yes, out, new I know, ideas. But the yellow, the yellow that we've gone is very fresh. And I love this. And this is the one, you know, we, when we were choosing the colour palette, because we didn't know whether to go for more of an orange, yellow, and then oh, we no, you've gone the right way. this. Yeah. And it's just come out beautiful. And yeah, it's printed look. so gorgeous. Because yeah. there's also, when you design on your paper... There's no guarantee when you put it on fabric, no. it's going to come. Because I always remember the very first time we met, it was, and you were yeah. very worried, because I think it was Christmassy or something like that, yes. that the, the, the colour palette that yes. you've chosen, and it, that must be, as a designer, that must be really difficult. You're sitting at home going, yes. we're going to have this green, this red, this white, and then it comes on the fabric, you go, oh, that's... That's exactly right. We were really worried about yeah. it, especially the ombre, because obviously yes. it's got a I'm really sorry. lovely... <clears throat> very light ombre and we're worried will it actually show but it shows beautifully yeah and it comes out lovely and so you're right so we're just working on the next lot of collection that's coming at the end of this month and we're like is that too light is that too dark so so yeah oh fun. beautiful right 14 19 right that's everything for, is that everything that's for everything side? for this side okay right now we'll go to sunflowers then so well, no which is 14 thank you right so 
Look at oh, this. Now, these have got lovely. sentiments on them as well, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, so right. we've got some heartfelt ones. We have got beautiful. They're all different as well. So when I was designing this, I wanted to make sure that you have the option that you can use it. So I've given you a wide section. Oh, okay. So, so these, they're bigger. Yeah. yeah, so what I wanted to give you that option on there, because I've learned that you need to make sure you have enough room to turn it over. Yeah, because card, a card, I, you cut it where you want to cut it. There's no finishing it, yeah. I suppose. Is there? Whereas this, obviously, you need to finish yeah. it. Yeah, so like. we now are... We've learned from when we first started. So we've learned that now we bring in design further in. So, yep. you so you've got your quarter inch seam allowance. Yes. So you're not going to lose the flower. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's brilliant. Uh, so this one here is your sunflower. Four feature panel in blue and green. They're I mean, lovely. They're lovely. They? I mean, you get so much on it. I mean, the, I don't know if we've got any of the 40 squares left. It goes beautifully with that. Oh, yeah, totally. But also, they're all uplifting, aren't they? Yes. So, I mean, I, I know that's got a religious feel to it, but, it, you know, kind of, it's kind of, it can go anywhere. It you can, know you know, like that one. I hope your day is as bright as a sunflower. Yeah. You've got beautiful ones, and this is one of my favourite quotes. Let dan let's dance in the sun wearing sunflowers in our hair. Now, I've got a vision now in the garden at the chateau. I don't have any sunflowers yet. No, no, but I'm thinking where they'll go when you have got them. That's what, in your hair, in your hair, in your hair. And nothing else. <laughs> right, it's a big garden. No one can see over the fence. Uh, 14. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? That's true. Yeah. She'll be dancing down to that barn in her sunflowers. <laughs> we can see it all. Really? Somebody will film it. It'll appear on Chateau. Do you, what is it called? DIY Chateau or whatever. <laughs> yeah, end up on YouTube with all the others. Oh, do what one? 34. 34, 34, yep. Oh, it's big, this one. Oh, that's the quilt that Bella's done over there. Oh, OK. So this is behind Bella, is it? Right, right, look at this, right? So what you get on here is you get your scent... You can use it however you want to use it, but what Bella's done is she's done a quilt using the uh, big panel there as the centre. Can we just see it behind... Oh, Bella, just step backwards a little bit for me. So we just say, There you go, perfect. So, we'll be careful. So she's used the little squares on there. She's used the borders on there. She's used the yellow and gold uh, rectangles to cut up in there. She's just added a little bit of cloud blue, I think. That's right, yep. Just well a bit of cloud blue round the outside and everything. Um, so you can make your own little quilt out of this, or you could do whatever you want. Do you know what? You can make a waistcoat. If you love waistcoats, you can make a waistcoat out of this bit, put the sunflowers oh, on the back of the waistcoat and everything. That'd be lovely. Again, if you wanted to make, now we're going into clothing, make a skirt <laughs> with that in the front panel and then the, the, the pleats, are, you know, not the pleats, the folds going down. Down, here and everything, yeah. yeah. You can do, you can be as creative as you like with this, but it's $17.99. <clears throat> Brilliant. I mean, that should be, it should, yeah, it's really, really good value for that size. Brilliant. Loads going into baskets. Oh, no, I'm going to pass that to you. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Oh, 96 the apron. apron. Nicola did the apron. Did she, Nicola? Did I think so, yes. Yes. She did, yes. Right. Do you want me to, hang on, I'll show you the panel first, because you've got your apron, and you've got your uh, instructions, and your pocket, and your straps, and your necktie. Oh, it's really lovely. The colours come out beautifully. And what we try to do is, yet again, you've got the two pockets. Um, we always like to give you more, don't we? Yep. Beautiful. And also, that here, this bit here, that's a, a pocket yes. and a lining for a pocket. Honestly, I ask you. So we have it Do you want here. to bring it in? There you go. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> it's a bit drunk. <laughs> So line. now this one is just one layer thick. If you wanted to, you could line it, get some fabric, and you could bag it all out. Then you haven't got any seams to worry about, because uh, any uh, hems to worry about, because they're all in your seams. And then, you see, there's the inside of the pocket. Oh, oh, pfft, do you? You're getting that critique, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, so, you yes, know, but, that's, the, but that's the beauty. You've got two choices. Yeah. You can have Hello Sunshine, or use something else. And what would you use that for, then, Jess? For a rainy day. Well, we but can you use that to brighten up your beige living room? Right, next. Oh, yeah, next. Boss says next. Oh, but covering yeah. 40. So now we did a demo on this last time you were in, didn't we? we did. Now, this is such incredible value because you can make two book covers and two pencil cases. For $19.99. You've used, uh, well, one of them's got a little bit of wadding in and the other one hasn't got the wadding yes. in. Yes. But look, these are flying out, absolutely flying out these because look, am I upside down? No. 
So you've got your instructions, even with diagrams in the middle section there. Then this is your book cover in sunflowers and your pencil case in sunflowers. Yeah. That one over there is your pink. 19 99 Well done. Over half the stock of that's gone. That, you can make all of that. Or, imagine that on a craft fair. I was going to say, you're going to charge more than a fiver for each of those, aren't oh, you? Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, stay on that shot, Ollie, and I'll just show inside here. Because, look, the inside of the book folds over there. And then you've got your little flap here, which also folds over into there. And you've got your pen holder on the front. Yeah, right, OK. This one's made on its own, like I just said. You need a zip. And you need, do you need to get lining? Or have you got lining? Oh, yeah, no, no. It's got right? lining. Lining's already there. And then this one. Have you got H640? You've got wadding in here. It is wadding, yeah. Wadding. Some wadding in that one. There's your lining. You just need to supply a zip for that one. And then, obviously, that one's got wadding in it. That one hasn't. You can and then whichever way around you like as well. You can have whichever one on the front. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then what we've done uh, when we designed it, we wanted to make sure. So, however wide the book is, you can actually bring it in. Oh, yes. So, so you, if it's not as thick as that one. Yes, yeah. So you yeah, can do that's it. Yeah, that's a thick one, yeah. Yeah. You can do it as the diary. Oh, not while we're live on air. OK, now, Ollie, director Ollie, stay. His little girl, she's 10, is she? Uh, she's just discovered sewing. Right? Oh, wow. And at home, he's bought your sewing machine this week. He's had a week off. And at home, she's making needle cases, pouches and everything. Oh. He's going to buy this panel for her. Oh, definitely. They're perfect for her. Perfect for her. Blue uh, cushion. Look at that. There you go. Lovely. Well, let, just push, can I just put that down? There you go. So, yeah, so the faux pearls, you've got faux sunflowers on that one. And you've got your hexes, which could either be your bee honeycomb, who've been over to the sunflowers, to have yes. you, or just your hexes. Use that as a, a completely different project for your hexes in there. I think... Oh, hang on, she's off. One. We've got the green one coming up. OK, there you go. OK, so you take that one, I'll do the green one. So now, is that one there the same? Is that one there the same as the one that was on the four squares with the sentiments? You know the four green. The, the squares feature we had? squares. Well, I'm just thinking it will tie in with that. It one. It does, you? yes. So you had your four. Those four. There you go. There you go. So that one, if you got that and that, you can have a cushion, then make like coat. A, you know, a coaster or whatever you want out of that, a mug rug or anything you want out of that as well. Anyway, the green one is here. There you go. Beautiful. And again, those colours are kind of beautiful. They've come out haven't beautifully, they? haven't they? Fourteen ninety nine. Limited, limited, limited. Looks like we're going to have to you have to redesign or reprint. I think after today. <laughs> Peony twenty. I promise we'll do some sewing. You have to be ready to get, be ready to go, Belle. Ready to go. Right. right. This is, I think, a bag on the other side, Bella. Beautiful. Love peonies. So what? Um, did you do this one? I did. Bella made a quilted bag. Right. So the front has got this on it. Yeah. And then the back up. Is, it's got yeah squares coming up. Beautiful. She keeps you busy, doesn't she? <laughs> Peering these four, four oh, squares. These That's what you use for the other side of that bag, isn't it? Look at the lovely the, colours in there. The purple ones. So then we decided to create a cushion using those. Oh, wow. So you used it for the back of something else and then the whole of this cushion here. So you didn't cut, you didn't cut them up, you just no. cut them out. Yeah. But people think you've quilted it. Do a bit of quilting on there. People think you've patchworked that. Especially that one there. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. So that's this panel here, your 40 squares. Remember, there's 20 designs. You get two of each one. Oh, nine. This is pink peonies, 40 squares. So they're the pink ones to go with those, uh, the feature panel. Yep. And Beautiful. again, you're going to get 20 of different designs, two of each. Yep. So it's great for whatever you want to do. And now you know that you can make a lovely quilt and a dress, also a dress. Dress, yeah. The thing is, right, um, 
it's fabric. You can do whatever you do with fabrics. We, yeah. These are only suggestions that you've made. Um, but you, you know out there, you can all be totally creative with whatever you want and use Definitely. it as fabric that you want to use. Right, yep. Yeah. Two then. more and then it'll be Bella. 97. So that creates the bag behind you. We've got a question, have we? So, so that's, that's is this the same as that purple? But this the bag behind that. Oh, here, 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 here. Okay. Hi, Debbie, Bella and John. Loving the show. Can you show which panel has been used for the bag hanging on your monitor? This, this one. one. <laughs> well remembered, Jess. Well remembered. It's gorgeous, isn't it? 90. And your quilting lines are already there for you. Uh, three left. Once you've all checked out, there's only three of those left. I'm going to let go. Right, Joe. And then the last panel, 56. Is the purple option. On those bags. Lovely. There you go. Look at the size of that panel. That's a 24.99 panel if ever I saw one. And the instructions in there as well. And then we're giving you some extra fabric. And we, when we were designing it, didn't we? We wanted to put dark at the bottom because yeah. we know what we're like by putting it on the floor. So then that way... But also, there's nothing to stop you buying the little studs off yes. the feet off our website and just putting those on the bottom. Well, that's what we were talking about, different yes. additions that we don't know about. So yeah, that yeah, was no, things exactly. that we learned. That's what I'm telling you. Put your four feet from the bottom on the website. Right, put that down, Bella, because they're coming over to you now. Right. Right. right I'll tidy up. You tidy up on this side. Right, so what are we making? Oh, so, the knee's gone all funny now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is the uh, cushion, which is uh, behind us there. Right, OK, this is sold out. This is sold oh, out, okay. right? So we've got the four, we'll put the four squares. This is not the 40 squares. But That's the 40, the 40 squares, squares there, the just so you know. Right. So I've used a spray. Your iron's uh, not on. Did you want your iron on? Um, no, because I've done that bit. Oh, OK. I just thought I'd be ready okay. this time. Um, so I have put the spray adhesive on, I've even tacked it, and I've put uh, quilt pins on to keep it all in position. Okay, this is just polyester wadding? You've yes, this is from here, the wadding is yep. from here, and um, yeah, I've just pinned and tacked it on. And then um, what I really like, as you say, is it looks like you've quilted it properly. Yes, yeah. You know what no, I mean? you have done it properly. Yeah. you just cheated. Just cheated a bit. Um, so, yeah, watch that, knock the glasses off. yeah, I've put my other glasses on now. So one of the things I also learned about quilting is that it works if you go across ways and that way it doesn't bunch. Somebody said to me that if you quilt one way and then the other way... OK, doesn't... I'm going to give you another tip now. OK. You should always start in the middle and work outwards. So you uh, should okay. go this one oh, and this one. Uh, no, 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 that's no, fine. Just a, just a tip that when you come to quilting and then you, you work do. out, then you don't oh, get ripples. Because yes. what you could do, if you start it here, if there's any movement, by the time you get to that end there, it's scrunched up. Whereas if you start in the middle, the movement uh, okay. works out with you as you work out. Okay, okay. Well, this is, I suppose it's because it's got yeah, two Yeah, yeah, so you are in the middle going that yeah, way. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, and the other thing that I've also learned is, oh gosh, um, is using the reverse on this. It has to be actually sewing for you to be able to. And I'm going to go for a 3.5 stitch. Okay. <laughs> and then um, just go straight through. And actually, that works really well. I'm not very fast. I hope that's doing all right. That looks tiny for a 3.5 stitch. Yeah, it does. That Debbie sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, never. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> but it's not going to be very quick, is it? Well, and also, no, exactly. The same. Yeah. Um, but this is just such a lovely technique um, for making it look like you've actually spent a lot of time doing it. Yeah. Um, not that one wants to cheat, but you know what I mean. No, but sometimes you need to make something quickly. If you're suddenly going somewhere yes. and you think, I've got my present, yes. I can make my quick cushion cover or something. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I do like quick projects. I'm not... Um, I can't sit and... That's... Yes, I can't sit and... I want to sit down, do something and get up with it finished. You know, impatient, I'm, you mean, impatient? Probably, yes. <laughs> but sometimes, well, the thing is, sometimes you have a project that you want to get done straight away, but other ones yes. you want to last. It's like when you get a good book, isn't it? You don't want the good book. So I'll just read one chapter tonight, not sit yes. and read the whole book in one sitting. Yes. My mum goes to a quilt group, and she said there's a lady there who said, well, I'm quilting, 
but I enjoyed doing this quilt so much. I've unpicked it and I'm going to remake it. <laughs> Why don't you just make another one? I know, I know. Well, that's but, frightening. Yes, but if you it's enjoy the process... It's whatever you love, isn't Yeah. It? But, um, yeah, I think people do love quilting. And I think, like you say, sometimes doing the long project is more satisfying. Yeah. Um, than actually doing a short project. But I suppose it's, it's whatever time you've got for it, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Um, and if you're doing it for, for your own pleasure or whether you're doing it to make it, to sell something, if you've got a, if you've got a Saturday stall and you need it finished, then... Yes, yes. And funny enough, when I did the other one of these, I did it with a green thread and I wished I'd changed it to a different thread but I want these two to match. Uh -huh. So I'm going with the green thread. Right. This green thread. Right? Yes, but it doesn't show when it's all together. Why, what did you want to do different? What, what would you have done different? Um, I think I would have gone with a, a slightly different colour green. Oh, I, I quite I like that, because it's quite a stand out. It stands out. Yeah. But again, as you say, it's all personal choice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh, totally. Um, uh, Jess is saying metallic threads. Oh, yes. They would look like that. Yeah. Oh, no, you've got two people agreeing with you there, Jess. <laughs> Not saying which two. <laughs> <laughs> but do metallic threads go through the machine differently? Yes, and also you have to have the right needle for a metallic thread. And oh. don't put metallic thread in your bobbin, you only have it on the top. Oh, OK. Why is that? Because it, it, because it, the friction of the needle. First of all, it's too thick to go through the bobbin. You don't need it in the bobbin. But also, um, when the, a, 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 a metallic thread goes through a needle, it's friction might go through the hole, so it yes. snaps a lot more. Oh, so you okay. need one that's got a, a bigger hole uh, and a sturdier needle. Right, OK. I mean, it's nothing to stop using it at all. A variegated thread would be nice. Yes. Well, I'm... Um, Oh, hang on, stock update. <laughs> stock update on the green 40 squares, half the stock's gone. I was really surprised at how, how many different things that you can do with the 40 squares. Yeah. Because they're a good size. Mm. And they're not, they're one of those sizes, it's not too small and it's not too big. So there's a lot that you can do with it. Yeah. Um, and I'm Also, like, like uh, uh, I forgot the lady's name. Jenny. Jenny, Jenny. Jenny. Uh, Jenny's done. Just use it as fabric. You can just yes. use it as fabric as well. Yes. And also, it's the positioning of the square. She's managed to, you know, it's yeah. the thought of putting it in the right place. Yes. Um, but you see, depending on what your skills are, it, as a dressmaker, you automatically see that. Right. When you sit down, to, like quilters can see half square triangles and all sorts of things like that. As a dressmaker, you see where the panel has to sit on the pe yes. where the pattern has to sit on the on the panel to get it in the right place. Yes. And I'm sure it's the sort of thing that comes with experience. And we've learned so much yeah. since we've been doing oh, it. Oh, yeah, I've been doing it for like 40 years. So it's kind of yes. like, you know, kind of a bit different. Yes. You must get um, fed up with people who come okay, on with a bit question. new. Uh, hi, Debbie and John. The fabrics are gorgeous. Can we make to sell, please, Beverly? Yeah, we've all said, but I'll just get it. I'll repeat it. Can they make to sell? Yes, enjoy them. Thank you. And don't forget, if you get a panel that you can get more out of it, like the tote bag, yep. you'll be able to get a really good return on it, wouldn't you? Exactly, exactly. Ooh, there's the businesswoman kicking in there. <laughs> you get a return on it then. <laughs> so I'm Loads just going to out, mind your microphone. Out. No, not you. Somebody in, okay. there. Somebody in there. Okay. One of you must just take your microphone. So it's um, a case of just taking out the, the tacking. tacking. I used to find that when we, I first trained at Wimbledon, we had to tack everything, and it was very satisfying taking all the tacking yes. out afterwards. Yes, yes. It's nice with the quilting that you, I mean, I can remember doing quilting, and it was just so, um, so much, whereas actually with quilt, with quilt tacking, I kind of feel like actually as long as it's kind of holding in the yeah. shape, that's the most Do important thing. Do you want to tack thing. another tip? Yes. Don't put knots in your tacking thread. Oh. Because that way you can pull it from either end then, because you're having to, where your knot is, you're having to yes. chop it off. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in condescending. Or no. We want to, no, 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 no. We only come for the lesson, John. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> not the abuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to know all these things because I think a lot of, we're not the only ones. You kind of find your way. 
Oh, yeah, um, no, 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 totally, um, totally. And I've learned a lot of things. I've sat and watched Sewing Street and sort of thought, ah, oh, OK, that's how you do that, yeah. you know? So and that's the thing we've learned, because beforehand we were all about paper crafting. Yeah, of course. And then when we were asked to bring to fabric, we thought, right, we, we did our research and we're like, OK, we, there's lots to learn, but we'll start... With a cushion. Well, yeah, that's exactly what you've yeah. done. Is the first the first thing a show I did it was the cushion, and there was one other thing. I yes, think, I did. That was it. It was I did a nativity cushion. My husband didn't believe that I actually did it. Yeah, we didn't have you then, did we? <laughs> well, obviously you've worked there for years, but you, you weren't on, didn't come on air then, did you? No, you? no. What are you doing now then? Uh, so just cutting the um, wadding to fit, um, mostly because I need to line up the back panels uh, of the cushion. Uh huh. So. Let's move those out of the way, sorry. Um, I just kind of... Um, I learned the hard way not to try and cut this with a rotary cutter yeah. on a board because all the fluff got stuck in the groove. Of what? Of oh, no, Jess board. just had a good idea. If you've got this, you make little pou uh, glasses pouches. Oh, Look. perfect. Just say this is the right size. You can just make a really sweet little... I did wonder what you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, um, so, sorry, when you used a rotary cutter, what, what got in the groove where? Uh, when I used a rotary cutter to cut something with wadding, all the fluff from the wadding got stuck in the groove. Of That's the easy. Board. Just you literally just get a sponge and you just rub like that and it'll all oh, come out. Okay. That's if you've got a self-healing cutting mat. Yes. You've got a June Taylor cutting mat. They don't cut into the mat at all. See what happens. Oh, issue. OK. Right. Again, stuff I didn't know. Yeah, no, but I didn't know that before I came to work at Sewing Quarter. So it's kind of all... Because I'd never done quilting before I was only dressmaking. When oh, we first started okay. Sewing Quarter, and I thought I was only going to be doing the dressmaking -y fabric side. Right. Uh, the first day I'm there with rotary cutters and all sorts of things. Brilliant. So I had to learn as well. Yes. So I pre Got a message. These. Good morning all. Got more panels today. Thank you for gorgeous design, Debbie. Such good value. And one PP all day. Dark and windy here in Cumbria, says Jacqueline. Uh, right. I, I'm very aware of the time. While we're pinning, is there anything yes. you want to recap, Jess? Go on, then. You do the recapping while we're pinning. Do you want the 40? The 40? Oh, she's done decided. 40 green squares. It's about to sell out, that one. Right, about to sell out. Lots in baskets, please check out. <laughs> Are you all right on your own? I'm there? okay. I'll stay here with Bella. <laughs> Look at that. This is that beautiful cushion that I don't know where it is. I think, oh, it's behind me. Oh, oh, where is it? It's one of the flat ones oh, okay. over that I didn't have. And you've got the three extra sections on there, and it's 14 99 and there's the pack, there it is, without a cushion. Brilliant. 86. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is the yellow one. Beautiful. So you could buy them both. And Jess said you could put them both on the sofa because they look so gorgeous. And that's the one behind John. There you go. This one. Thank you. And look, with the faux... Stitch it, faux pearls on the back, and it gives you the details. So when we were designing it, and this is John's idea. Thank you, Jess, perfect. <laughs> See, I, I do recognise John, even though he says I don't. <laughs> it's when I put my bill in uh, for being an ambassador for... Um, <laughs> Yes. Or consultant. I'll Tutor be a consultant. And tutorage fees. And tutorage. What oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tutorage fees. It's 50. Oh. So this is the yellow tote bag. Look at that. Beautiful. And it's over just the tote bag that, with the lining. is just over by the cushion there. And you can see how you can turn it into just one bag or you can even turn it into four. That's the inside, everybody. And then all you need to do, so you can just turn it round. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Next, what we have next? No, uh, uh, you're gone, gone, keep going, keep going. Okay. 48. There we go. So once everybody's Good checked out, up. there's only five left, everybody. Go for it before it flies away. Oh, sorry. Come on, John. <laughs> 
that. I've got the sample. There you go. Three left. It's going. Once everyone's it's checked going. out. It's gone. Next. Oh. oh, pink one. You know I'm going to love pink. Beautiful, everybody. Who doesn't love a pink fairy? We have seven left once everybody's checked out. And please be very quick if you want one. And here's one. <laughs> You're after my job. So, look at that. Beautiful. Right, what's next? 20 beach panel. There we go. So this is what Jenny used to create her amazing table runner and also, I don't know what you call it, sewing well, this, sewing pocket. That, that's a, 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 well, it's a quilt keeper, block keeper. So, yes, yeah, so this was quilt, quilt keeper, you said? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a, a sewing manual, isn't it? Or yeah, quilt, so yeah. You, she's actually quilted, well, it's got wooden in between, and then look at that. Beautiful. I am nearly finished. We are nearly winning out, everybody. We have got about 10 left, so once it's gone, it's going to fly And we away. had an awful lot of those when we started. Had an awful lot of those. Right. Oh, Bella, you're going to make it. Yeah. She's doing all right, but I don't, don't forget to leave a gap. Oh, no, you don't have to leave a gap, do you? What's next? Well, quick, 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 <laughs> Bella, because we've got to go. Start we packing away that table. Know. Start What's packing next? away the table. There we are. Good one. 91. Oh, now this is what Jenny used to make the dress, everybody. And I need your help, John, because I haven't... Oh, I've got long arms than I thought. There you go. So, the well, dress... Jess, you should be able to, if anyone can. Jess is a trained dressmaker. Oh, Jess. She a costume at university. She could have had my life. So, look at this, everybody. Not too late. So, yes, you can do... Oh, there it is. And oh. The, you all right? Yep. And then, look, you can make this gorgeous bag. Well done. <laughs> Remember, you can make four bags out of one panel. And there we go. And there we go. There's okay. a cushion cover. Right, you're on hobby making. Are you both on hobby making this afternoon? No. Oh, she's just dropping you. <laughs> she Last time it was you on your own, wasn't it? it on was, hobby maker. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I was in hospital. Yeah. Oh, that's another story. We that was last done. week. Yeah. Last week? Yeah, it was because I'm after having a show with you. <laughs> anyway, when are you back on here? Um, the 20th. Oh, I'm off that day. What? <laughs> <laughs> what day? The 20th. 20th of this month? Yes. Yep. Oh, I am off this that day. <laughs> <laughs> you got Vicky that day. You got lovely Aww. Vicky that day. Right, I am uh, going to be back in four minutes, but thank you, ladies. Thank you. Uh, and thank we you. are having a laugh, by the way. It's all, uh, we're all friends, aren't yes, we? Absolutely. We're all friends. Absolutely. Uh, we will see you. Oh, I'll see you with Victoria. Oh, we've got some gorgeous little bag. Really beautiful, brand new little bags coming up straight after this break. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Right, I think Tori's back. Oh, I forgot. oh, it's that. I couldn't figure out what was in front of them. Right, I need to tell you, we're going to get straight on. We've got brand, brand new. Look, they're here, here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bags, right? First one we're going to do is Hedgehog Forest. Half the stock's, in, half the stock's gone already. Half the stock of this one's gone already. And I just need to check my over, overhead for this one. There you go, perfect. So, I'll get it. The white one. It's the white one. This one here. Yes. These should come with a warning, actually, because they are addictive. Once you've done one, they're so, yeah. they're so useful. I have loads of these shh, in the handbag. Shh, shh, quiet to the gallery, please. Sorry. Go on. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's just being a bit noisy. I couldn't hear you. 
<laughs> oh, Steph, oh, no wonder. Right, go on, go on, go on. I have loads of these in my handbags. When I'm going away, I'll put them in my suitcase with things inside them. I use them for all sorts of things. Oh, so you, are you like Hannah? Hannah, when she packs her suitcase, she, oh, no, it's a bit personal now, but she can't have her knickers next to her shoes. Yeah, you wouldn't... You see, I just pack a suitcase, didn't even think about it until she said that. My partner that. does that. He puts his shoes in with everything else. Oh, they? well, it's a oh. man after my own heart, you see. I do that as well. <laughs> anyway, they're gorgeous. But the thing is, you have to use them. They, they remind me of kind of... Elizabethan sweetie bags, you know, like yes. when uh, ladies in Elizabethan times, they didn't wash or anything. So yeah. what you'd have, you'd have a little sweetie bag with oh, loads lavender of in. lavender and fragrances and spices like. and things like that in. And they'd walk around with them like that, you know, trying to cover up their smelly smells, you know what I mean? <laughs> not the smell, not the smell. <laughs> but they've kind of got that feel to them. They're oh, really yes. kind of like um, handmade, but kind of useful and beautiful and gorgeous and lined. They're self-lined. Self-lined, so, right. So let's talk about what you get in it, because half the stock of yes. this one's gone already. So tell me what I get in here, then. Well, you get the drawstring. Oh, yeah, but most it's about important. Just over a metre, about a metre and a half. OK. Um, cotton webbing. So um, you don't have to make it into a drawstring bag, although it's, it'd be difficult not to, because yeah. it's so nice. But you get a 50 by 50 centimetre oh, pure that's linen. Gorgeous. Yeah, this that's Yeah. That's good. The thing about, your, about yeah. your kits is you don't go... Sh What's, and you don't take shortcuts. No. Like all that you're saying, the wool's all from four miles away from yes. your thing. Yes. Um, your linen is beautiful. Then you had also, which are going to sell out, the um, bamboo and cotton from yes. the ladies in Carrara thing. This is really, really, really beautiful, high quality linen. This, this is uh, pure linen and it's brand new. It's, it's from a new supplier and I'm so pleased with it. And it's called soft linen. And it's pure linen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and because it's doubled over, it's got a luxurious feel. To yeah, it. totally. So you get 50 by 50. So you, that, that, that piece there is big enough to make that, is it? It is. And what you do is, I mean, there's lots of ways to make bags. Yeah. But I just thought, what's the this simplest? This is Victoria's way. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> simple way. So you cut it in half, basically. Oh, okay. oh, so it's not like the other things where you fold, fold, right? No. So if you imagine, if that's cut in half and yeah. that's the half, yeah. on that bottom quarter, so if you think... That's the bottom quarter. Yeah. That's where you do your design. Okay, right. So that. Yeah. So you've got one half of it just put to one side. Yes. The other half here, and you do your design at the bottom of that. You one. do. Yeah. So that is actually a fold. It's it's not oh, a cut. Oh, I see. So it keeps it nice and neat. Yeah. So all the instructions are in here. Right. Basically, but yes. Yeah, so that full panel will make that. But also, because it's fifty by fifty, you could either make a cushion with design in the middle. Or you could even make a bolster style cushion. Yeah, yeah, you've well, got, uh, yes, exactly. You've got enough for to, to do that. And then with, that, and then that would definitely it. fit in there, wouldn't it? Look, it'd be beautiful. That design, yeah. So we've got the linen. Yes. We've got the cotton tape for the drawstring. Got we've got the wool. The wool, yeah. Right. Oh, there's that. Oh, because yeah, it's hedgehog, isn't it? It's Black hedgehog. and white, yeah. Yeah. Uh, needle. Needle. Big needle. Big eye. John James. Yeah. And the carbon film. Right. So that you can trace it. So you can decide whether you're doing a cushion or whether you're doing that. Yeah. Um, and in here, you've got the instructions for everything. So you've basically got the um, where to place the design. Oh, yes, yeah. How to trace it and whether if you're making a cushion, how to do that. And then you've got the drawing. Lovely. And then you've got the stitch guide. Uh-huh. And how to stitch the hedgehog and what stitches to use where more of the same then you've got how to make the bag but you've also got the how to make the sush oh brilliant <laughs> yeah so you do whatever you want with it really uh, it's just beautiful imagine that give it gifting that somebody would be lovely wouldn't it wouldn't it be nice absolutely so beautiful linen beautiful wool needle template instructions what's this called again it's carbon film. carbon fat film yeah also, the way I do it is I don't even need a bodkin to pass that through because it's a joined piece as such. Say if that was half of it. I mean, there's lots of ways to make yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You might prefer to do, you know, different ways. Oh, so you so, base, so basically, you first of all, say if that was just one piece, yeah. you'd put your running stitch there. And then, you just because it's quite stiff, this, it's pure cotton. Mm -hmm. And then you just do another stitch underneath. Just make, oh, sure, wow. just make sure before you join it together, just pull it to make sure you've not Yeah, caught it. it, yeah, exactly. But it's easy to do. Mm. And, you know. 
Oh, it's easy enough. Just put it on the end of a safety pin if you need to, isn't it, as well? Yes. Okay, so that one there is your uh, Hedgehog Forest. I'll just show you to it again. I'll give you that, 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 that. It's got my favourite reds and lilacs with yeah. it. Yeah. I just love that colour. So palette. now, when you design, do you design for things that you like? Mainly, yes. Oh, no, no, I think it's the best yes. way. I think it's the yeah, best way to do it. Yeah, it's difficult not to. Yeah. Because you might do, yeah. like, a, a, an orange mushroom. You don't like orange. No, no, I'm just saying, you <laughs> didn't like orange. And then, but you're thinking, oh, I have to design for someone else. But your heart's not in it then, is yeah. it? Because you've it's, designed it thinking of someone else. Anyway, yeah. that's your hedgehog forest, that one. So I'll put hedgehog forest back up there. Uh, yeah, lilac chrysanthemum uh, uh, on the, the grey. That one. over there. Gorgeous grey linen for this What's song? in this bag? We've put, we've filled them with props. Oh, fat quarters. So <laughs> now, look how gorgeous this one is, because this is something different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so this is woven wheel. I should have demonstrated this, shouldn't I? I've not put that down to demonstrate. But it's very easy to do. Um, there is um, a fact sheet on the website, and actually I have put notes in, haven't I, on how to do woven wheel. Just make sure you start it off with spokes. Just make sure your spokes are. Oh, uh, I know, I even, know, know how you've done that. Yes, odd. I couldn't figure yeah. it out. So yeah, so there is actually. No. Oh yeah, so I've done full. Yeah, so you start off by stitching with big stitches like a star shape. Then what you do? Oh, you've, you've gone over the top of them, and then you weave through yes. up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, yes. going round and round and round and round. Oh, you've done it because you didn't want your. You wanted it all to be blue. You didn't want to see that the veins on it. Yes. You see, you go through it, and then look. So you go, keep going round, up, down, round, up, down, round, up, down. Eventually, you end up with that. You do, and because it's wool. Third, the sock of these have gone. Because it's wool, and if you can, I don't think you can see side on. What are you if trying you to could show? See the, the, how much it stands. Oh on yeah, the fabric. yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll do it that way. Look. Yeah, so it's a real, and it builds up really easily because it's wool. Yeah. It's much easier to do than doing it with with cotton thread. Okay. Now, if you're going to use it as a bag, can I wash it? You can wash it, yeah. So the linen is washable, mm -hmm. the wool is washable. What we don't, we don't want to do. There is a slight bit of maybe perhaps shrinkage on depending how you wash it. So wash it in cool hand wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't um, throw it in the washing machine with my, no, my coloured, you know, that, that with would... my pants and my socks and all that. Yeah. So uh, what I might be tempted to do is put it inside the pillowcase. Yes. And like you do with sequin things, yes. everything like that. Then. If any abrasion does happen, it'll happen to the, it'll happen. Or yes. turn it inside out. Yes. Or turn it inside out. But I would, if I did it or on both. the washing machine, I'd do it on cool, gentle. Yes. That's why I do it on cool, yes. gentle. But the, the thing is, how dirty are you going to get it, Jess? Well, it's grey. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's Oh, Jess is going to put makeup in it, you see? Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's nice. You need about four of those then, Jess. <laughs> anyway, so here's your colour. The gorgeous grey, that lovely colour there. Uh, and it's chrysanthemum, lilac chrysanthemum, that one's called. Stitches-wise, apart from this yes. one. So we've got Lazy Daisy, yeah. are the yellow ones, and I've placed just a single stitch in lilac inside them, and it just makes them oh, pop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gives yeah. them a bit of texture, makes yeah. them pop. And the um, peachy colour is split stitch, which yeah. I demonstrated yeah. in the last show. French knots, which I demonstrated. Yeah. So there's not a lot of stitches there, actually. These are split stitch. Uh, running stitch for the mm -hmm. thing, for the thread. Is that a wasp? A wasp. <laughs> but not a wasp, that one, though. <laughs> it looks more like a dragonfly. A dragonfly, strange, yeah. A strange coloured one. All, to me, they're all, they're all called... The, oh, there's a wasp in the house. No, John, it's a dragonfly. There's a wasp in the house. No, it's a jump bumblebee, John. Wasp. <laughs> like my WhatsApp, isn't it? Anyway, £40. Very, very popular. That one goes in there, doesn't it? Very, very popular. Four to the stock of those have gone already. Righty-ho. So now I'm going to move on to... So say that again. Oh, you're jumping, are you? Okay, butterfly flutter bike. No, it's fine. Well, the blue the rose. The blue rose is next. Yeah. It's also wool, so. Yeah. Oh yes, because yeah. you don't want to go to flutter bike yet, because it's different. Now this. So this is wool again. It is, but have a feel of that fabric. What colour? Oh, oh. It's the oh. Pretty one. Now this, these are all. Oh, linen. right. Shh, shh, shh. There's only four of these left. Only four of these left. Oh. Now that feels like old-fashioned flax. It does, of. yeah. But what it, is it? It's 100% linen, but it's described as um, severe linen. I think it's... Um, it's the way it's treated. Severe. 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 Like, as in severe? Uh, yeah. Like, oh. yeah. So... How funny. Because it's a completely it, different feel to it, isn't it? I is think... it the same size? No, it's bigger. Oh, OK. But I do it, it the same... So it's my original square. So you, you get... I, I have put 50 by 50, but you'll actually get 55 by 50. Oh, OK. 
Yeah, because these come in a very unusual state, this fabric. Why? <laughs> it's quite unusual fabric. comes in 110 by 110 squares. Oh, so you've had to cut it. Cut it, yeah. So I always make sure... Yeah, oh, yes, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's lovely. But there are only the limited, limited, limited. I think if a period drama company rang me and said, we want a bag, we want you to make a bag that looks like it's been around in Saxon times. Yeah. <laughs> I think this would be it, wouldn't they're it? They're not called smell bags, they're called sweetie bags. <laughs> um, but no, no, this could be a villager. This could be a villager going to a wedding in the par on uh, Lark Rise to Candleford, where yes. it's called. Yes. And Julia Sawala's going to a wedding in the village, in yes. this village With church. A hand through and it. it's her best Sunday bag. That's what that would be. It's got a lot of it's, bant to it, hasn't it, it? It has. It feels so... I love it. I love it. But it's kind of not... It's not fine refined, is it? It's no. more rustic. rustic. It's more rustic, this one. And I've put a woven border stitch at the top, which yeah. you can do with any of these. Yeah. Again, you're going to is do... That, is stitch. the instruction for that in the instructions? Um, yes, I think it is. Okay. Yes. But it's not. People can always contact you going, what was that yes. stitch put around the top? Yeah. Do you know, I've done all these in the last few weeks. <laughs> My brain's a bit scrambled. I can, do you know, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I can remember a song from 45. Like, do you know, it's Bucks Fit. You won't remember, you're too young. Bucks Fit won the Eurovision Song Contest 43. Was it 43? How old do you think I am? 43 years ago yesterday. I remember it. Making 40, your mind up. 43 years. Yeah. Oh, I, she's, on my, she's on my Threads of Life. The interview with us on Threads of Life. I, um, you, I was doing my teaching practice at the time and I wouldn't get off the bus. The bus used to pick us up at college and I was the last one to get off the bus and I wouldn't get off the bus until Terry Wogan played Making Your Mind <laughs> Up. Then I couldn't get on with my day then. It was great, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, he'd stay on the bus. Stay on the bus until he did. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, um, so what stitch is that called, sorry? Woven border stitch. So what? Woven border. Woven border. So woven you do it. You do it a running stitch anyway in the blue. Yeah. So all I've done is again worked on the surface. Yeah, we did. We did a. We did a thing of that last time you were in, didn't we, Demo? That was amazing. So um, stitches. Leaf stitch. Yeah. Satin stitch, which I'm going to show you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Herringbone stitch. Lovely. Um, herringbone stitch again. French knots, which I demonstrated earlier. Split stitch. And a bit of split stitch there makes a little bit of a difference. Lovely, aren't they? Now, has that come out of your mind, or did you look at the historical novel or historical book and see that picture? It came out my mind. Oh, did it? Ooh, what, I know. Past life? I know. Mm. I know, it's strange, isn't it? Maybe you're in Lark Rise and is that the real thing? <laughs> Maybe you're in the posh one, Judy Dench. You know, there was another one before Lark Rise, wasn't there? With all, had every classical actress in it. I think it was only a one-off or a two-off, I can't remember what it was called. And, um, but it was like Clark Rise to Candlefield. I'd love it? to do something like that, would you? Well, yeah. I've done it. Have you done it? Well, no, well, no not in this <laughs> life. I've done costumes for things like that. Ah, yet. but you've not acted in the costumes. Oh, no, I don't do acting. No, I'm not no. an actor. No. Oh, you yeah. want to be an actress in it? Yeah, I'd love to do that, would you? Oh. Yeah. Do you watch say? Hmm. Yes, have you not read my book? Oh. I have. She has. But it is on the shelf, it is on the shelf. I've dipped in and out of it, yeah. I've been so busy, but my dad's read it. Oh, I see, he no one's just pulling funny faces at me in the green room. <laughs> and he went, oh, not another hour of you, we just said. Just like ran it through there. <laughs> Did oh, not another hour of you, yeah? Did he? <laughs> Barry, I've got your number. <laughs> anyway, so you get the... How many? Two left, two left, two left. Two, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. Last two, last two, last two. Right, put that one away. Now we're changing, aren't we? Because we're now going on to um, butterfly, butterfly, but it's not wool. <laughs> this is embroidery thread, this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, it's embroidery thread. Because I thought... Sort of, this I, is gorgeous. Look at that. I got quite obsessed. Oh, now there's but... only six of these left. You've had a very popular hour, may, matey, I was going to say then. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> right. This is gorgeous. <laughs> I love this, right? So, is this the same linen? It is. So, again, it's um, 50 by 50. <gasps> it's, uh, this is the soft linen, isn't it's it? It's the soft linen. And it's, um, obviously, it's, it's lined with, you know, with so it's doubled it, over yeah. rather than lined, isn't it? Um, right. And it, and it just feels nice. But this it? time, you, I'll, you, I'll go through this. So, you get your drawstring, you get your needle. Oh, two oh, needles. Get two needles. The reason being is because... It's useful when you're doing the couching to have the two needles. So I thought... Yeah, brilliant. Uh, your film, your whatever. And then in the instructions here... You get white carbon paper with this one. White... Oh, so you white carbon paper. Yeah. Your carbon paper's white I, in this I one. I stitched it with the black one. And you can do it, but it, it, was, it was just a little bit difficult. And as I said before, if anything's difficult, I change it to make right, sure okay. it's not for when you yeah. get it out. 
So satin stitch, herringbone stitch, split stitch. Uh, that's it. French knots and couching. So it's all in there. Everything's there. OK, now this, I, I just want me to ask you a very difficult question now. How long does it take? That didn't take very long at all, actually. For you as an advanced sewer? I was going some because I wanted to get it in the show. <laughs> <Going> <laughs> What's going but some? But then the thing is, when but you buy something like this, you don't buy it thinking, oh, I'll get that made no. by next Wednesday. You get, you buy it because you want to have the joy of yes. stitching it, don't this you? This is nice because it's a very close project. Yeah. You, as in, you can keep it close to yourself while you're doing yeah. it. Um, so it's very portable and it is finer than, than some of the other stitching with the wool. Yeah. Um, but it is achievable. It's not massive. No, Jess is of that generation where if it's not done now, which she doesn't want it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like disposable income and all that. Um, so you draw it on and then you follow it, because I can see couching there. Couching, yes. Um, a few French knots. Yeah. There's a couching outline and then this satin stitch, which I'm going to do a demonstration yeah. of, I believe, with split stitch in between. And then we've got satin stitch with a split stitch outline. Uh -huh. And is this called kiss stitch? Herringbone stitch. Oh. <laughs> Which kiss stitch is nicer, isn't it? Is that a herringbone? It is. Three left, once you're all checked out now. Three left. It's beautiful. Um, and there's your colours. And they're the colours we'll get, aren't they? Oh, hang on, there we go. It might be a slight shade either side. Right. They come in boxes of 12s, these threads. Oh, so okay. the first 12 will be this. Yeah. The first and 11. And the others might be a shade just a No, no, that's way. right. Because when you buy fabric... Yes. You go to a go to a fabric shop like, like this blue one, for instance. You buy this this week, and it's this blue. Yeah. You go in next week. You ask for the same number, the same everything, the same, and it'll be a different blue because it's just the way it's dyed, isn't yeah. it? Sort of thing. So the way it, way it happens, isn't it? Anyway, that's gorgeous. Forty pounds. Very very popular. We will do some stitching in a minute. Just want to get the next one out the way, and then we can do that. So that goes there. I think that's, that's like couture stitching. It's like. Fashion embroidery, isn't it? Oh, look at you. I th yeah. Right, now this one's different again, and we love, love, love this one. The black one. Yeah, here you go. Right, so look. So this... Oh, sorry, go on. No, no, you're talking. Is the Art Deco alphabet. Art Deco alphabet. And I've called it Art Deco because, you know, the typical sunburst uh, design with Art Deco. Clarice Cliff. Yes. Yeah. Is it Clarice Cliff? Clarice Cliff and Pottery. Probably, but there is like a typical sunburst oh, design that goes mean, through a, a, yeah, 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 maybe yeah. she has done yeah, it as yeah. well. Um, and it reminded me of that, and I just thought with the colours as well, it's, it just screams. Okay, so let me tell you what you get in this one. So you, you get, get your black linen, you do, 50 you get your beautiful threads, yeah. you get your drawstring, you get your needle and your needle, and you get your um, white. Yeah, white film. Right, but this one. Uh, still the same amount, but right, in here you get so, cause you're thinking, don't want an M. <laughs> Why should I have an M? Actually, you don't need to. So all the instructions are here again. Look, you get the whole alphabet with even with the divider of where to put the different colours and everything. The whole alphabet, you get the anthosan, like in my company's called Etiquette and Outrage. It's got an anthosan in it. Then you've also got little letters. The proper name for those. Lowercase. Lowercase. So you get lowercase as well. Then you get numbers, slash, forward slash. Then you get love, home, and a heart, a star, and a square. Yes, in case you don't want to do letters. Yeah, because, yeah. of course, this could make a cushion. So you might want to put a word on it, um, you know, not just a letter. It could be anything. It could be a date. That's why I've put that in as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. significant Okay, date. so in my kit... Have I got enough thread to do more than one letter? Yes. I used very little thread, actually, out of the six um, skeins. Say that again, sorry. I used very little thread out of the six okay, skeins. OK, so because you've written home and love, could yes. I get those out of this yes. thread? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. there you go. Yeah. So I could get um, John out of it, then? Yes, definitely. And there are six skeins. I've not used one of the colours. Why not? Uh, because it, it just didn't fit in, but I thought it looked nice. You designed nice. it. You could have pulled that one out. Made a bit more money for yourself. Well, I thought six is better than five. Okay. If you're getting a kit, and yeah. if you're doing a word, yeah, you, do you might want to use Also, somebody all the might like that colour more than that colour or whatever. Yeah, right? or and it might colour. be that if you don't think you've got enough thread for what you're doing, it's an extra skein. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it? I'm only teasing. <laughs> uh, it's gorgeous, though, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Comes on the black linen. 
with all the lovely threads. Uh, capitals, lowercase, love, home, and Kazan, numbers, forward slash, star, heart, and square. Yes. Got a message. Oh, I ain't got something in my mind, so. This uh, those, these, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, those beautiful bags look like good glove box projects to work on whilst waiting yes. for grandchildren to finish classes or clubs. Yes. Elizabeth in the side. <laughs> near to me. Near to Yeah, it's near you. Uh, thank you, that was lovely. Yes, exactly, because you can just port, it's portable, isn't it? It is. How we're meant to concentrate, right? You know Kat was carrying a chest of drawers. <laughs> now she's putting a trot. Hey, Kat, look, look, look. This is what we have to deal with. While we're talking to you, like those... Anyway, wait till Hobby Maker come in. It'll be even worse. She's, right, she's that's gorgeous. Efficient. I love that. I think that's fantastic. Thank you. I think you can put this onto clothing as well. So you've got the template. Oh, there. yes. You know how to transfer it. You could put it onto clothing so you could put, you know, your initial or somebody's initial on Yeah, it, you no, know, no, it could be. On other things. So you've got, you know, the actual templates there to do lots of other and things. And whatever with. you want to do, yeah. How yeah. lovely. Yeah. Uh, that is gorgeous. £40. Pounds. For your initial, what have we called it? Uh, art Deco, alphabet numbers and characters. What's the matter, Jess? Loads going into baskets. Right, before we move on to the, this, shall we do a bit of a demo? Because what time? We're 25 plus, yeah, let's do a bit of a demo. What are you going to show us then? Okay, so the stitches that people shy away from is what I've focused on today. Right. So satin stitch. Right, which so which in... ones are, so you're using wool? So I'm using wool. Because... Which of the kits would that be in any of these? So there'll be a hedgehog, there's a flower um, in the hedgehog one with satin stitch. There's satin stitch on the, um, in here. So on it's the same garbage. even if I'm using wool or? The technique is the same. Okay, lovely. It is, yeah. Um, glasses on. Right. Okay, so... Again, if you Red, didn't see yeah. last time, you can cut a strip of paper that will fit through the eye of a needle. This is to thread. You can use this if you're using six strands of cotton as well. Uh -huh. um, you just encase it in there so you've got a hard edge yeah. on the fold for it to go through. Lovely. Uh, somebody's snitching on Cat now. Who's this? Sue. I'm going to snitch on Cat. They knocked the camera with the trolley and made it wobble when you weren't looking. <laughs> she said yes. She, no, no, she said she did. Uh, Lark Rice, oh, Lark Rice to Candleford. Cranford was the one Cranford. with Judy Dench in. Was that one? Was that brilliant, wasn't it? That was set in Nutsford, wasn't it? In where? Nutsford in Cheshire. Was it? I think so. I'm from, che I'm from Chester. Oh, are you I from grew Chester? up in Chester. Actually, uh, in Chester itself, yeah. Oh, it's lovely Chester, isn't it? I haven't been back for years, but yeah, when yeah. I was growing up, being down by the river and everything. Anyway. Oh, nice. Right, so, satin stitch. If you... Could we perhaps, could you pass me the hedgehog bag and I'll just show you. What colour is it? It's the white, white one. one there, yeah. So if you look at the, um, the petals on yeah. this, um, for example, you will see that there are stitches that are laid very close to each other for the whole of that shape. Right. So if most people, when they start satin stitch, what could happen is they could feel the pressure to start there and work like this. Right. By the time they get to here, it's like, whoops, stitch direction's gone a bit strange. So to stop that, what I do is I place guide marker stitches. So I split, first of all, split mm -hmm. it in half. Right. And then I split that half. Oh, okay. In half. And then I split that half in half. And I know the back's going to be a bit messy, but Doesn't do we matter. mind? Because you're going to fold it over and make it into a bag or yeah. put a cushion back in on it. And then you just fill the gaps in and there's less pressure. What you've got is, and you can even mark those with a pen mm -hmm. if you felt, you know, you needed to mark them with a pen because we're covering everything anyway. And it just removes the pressure and it's just more enjoyable and you get a better result. So there's no need to dread satin stitch no. because it's the stitch direction that people struggle with. And with wool, just keep going. So you oh, yes, and you've got plenty of the wool as well, haven't you? Yes. Yes, plenty. And you can see it builds up quite quickly. It builds up nicely. Um, if you think you've finished, you don't know if you've placed enough, just push your finger up from the back and you'll see the gaps and fill them in. Could I do... Padded satin stitch on these. 
if it's the right shape, so with that one in the middle, you could, because what you'd do is you do an outline of straight stitch or running stitch, but yeah. straight stitch, and then you'd do a line of satin stitch, like we've just shown. Yeah. A, a layer, rather. Yeah. And then you go the opposite direction. But I couldn't do it at the petals, then, is that what you're saying? Um, it's a difficult shape, isn't it? If you look at this, it would be difficult. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, to fill in. in. Yeah, it's difficult yeah, so to I see fill what in. You mean, yeah. So make sure it's kind of a shape that you can fill in if you're doing padded satin stitch. Don't look at Kat. Oh, dear. She's <laughs> breaking every uh, health and safety rule possibly going. Looks nice, though. <laughs> yeah, no, no, don't cut to her. Don't cut to her. She'll get into trouble. Yeah, no, don't. <laughs> um, so, so that's it, and it just builds up really easily. So that's a satin stitch. That's a satin stitch. So now, if I f didn't think it was thick enough, would you just go round again, or would you just go yeah. to where the, you thought it was a bit bald? Or to like where it was bald. Yeah. You see, and I just I push my finger up just to make sure, just to see. Yeah. Take your finger away when you push that needle back through. <laughs> I nearly didn't. Mm. So can you see there? There's a bit of a ball bit there. Yeah. So, um, were you going to grab that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's it, really. Lovely. That is as complicated as it needs okay. to be. And what was the other one you were going to show us in this one? Was that on, on the on the? Next? I was going to do a French knot on the on the cat one. Okay, next. we'll come come to the cat one in a second. Okay, so that's forty pounds. Uh, which one have you got in there? Sorry, the uh, hedgehog and forest wall. I'll come back and I'll recap those. So I'll just nick that blue one from you there. So it's back on the stand. Now, this next, I need to explain this next one to you. I'm going to do the cat first. Right. So we've got the cat. Now, we've got the cat in four different versions. Before you put any graphics in, I want to explain what the four different versions are because we've got all the patterns. We've got the cat, the kingfisher and the rabbit in all four, uh, or four versions. So before you, we do any graphics, before we do anything, I want to explain what the different versions are so there's no confusion. So we start off with the little cat. So this is called... Uh, yeah, this is Little Cat, isn't it? Yes. So you get a painted panel, small. 24 centimetres. 24 square. centimetres. You get your embroidery skeins, you get your needles, you get your felt, and you get instructions. Yes. Right? Then, don't put any graphics in yet, then we go to Large Cat, which is exactly the same painting, but a bigger one. Yes. How many centimetres? It's uh, 48 Forty. I'll get them all out when we, when we do yep. it. Sorry, I'm, I'm, no, 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 don't, I'm not slapping <laughs> your hand. Felt, needles, everything like that, right? So it's the same design, but bigger. Then we go on to the luxury box, right? So in the luxury box, you get the same panel here, the big panel in here. So you get the small panel oh, in the luxury sorry, box. Sorry, small panel, but you get wool. Uh, all of this comes with it. So you get wool, you get... Why do I need both wool and embroidery thread, then? Because we're getting a panel of linen. And you can do either or. So you're getting 20 skeins of Luca S threads. Right. And you're getting the wool as well. So, so this one's painted. Yes. But it's not painted on the linen. No. You have got a template to draw it from the linen, have you? It's so, yes. Yeah, so in the booklet, there's a choice of three embroidery Okay, we'll so go through that when we yeah. sell them. So yeah. that's yeah. your luxury one. Yes. Yeah. Then we have a super luxury version, right? Which, again, you've got the wool... You've got the hoop, you've got the scissors, you've got everything, the linen, this, but it's big this time. It's a large fabric yes. panel in this one. And a large... And the, the same size Same linen. size linen. So you get the larger fabric panel in that one. So I just want... Because they're all obviously going to be different prices. As you go up to the luxury... And 25 skeins. And 25 skeins in that one. So that I just wanted to explain them to you before we started. And then you didn't go, oh, I wish I'd waited for that one. I wish I'd waited for that one. So let's go back to the beginning now then. And we'll do the small cat. I haven't got a small one out, right? Yes, so it, this one is... There oh, it yes, is. there it is. So this is the size of your panel, right? So on here, you've done all your couching, uh, French knots. Yes. Yes, so basically... Seed stitch. Yeah, sorry, I left you on your own then. <laughs> yes, that's fine, just leave <laughs> That's good, hanging. it's a nice test to see what you do. <laughs> yeah. Leaf stitch. Yeah, leaf stitch. French knots, did you say that? Yeah, I've done that. Satin stitch, you said that. Split stitch. Yeah. Split stitch. Um, satin stitch, quite rustic, this one. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So this is £30, so you get the panel, the small panel, 
How many ske ten skeins, needles, what's the felt for? Oh, the I felt. know, behind there. Yeah, so you work those independently uh, and that away and then you attach it with the French knot. So you couch it off the panel oh, I and see. then you cut it out. Okay, also oh, in the instructions. It's, it's applique um, and it's my sort of lazy, textural, effective way of applying it. Yep. And it's easy. Beautiful. So that one's £30. That's the small panel with the embroidery skeins, right? Then we move up to the big cat, which is this one here. Now, with this one, I've actually stitched the cat and some of the flowers. You won't get black and white um, or grey in there, but I've stitched a lot of the flowers here. Yeah. You can see. I don't know if you can see that. So I've got 15 skeins in here. You don't get the black, white and grey for the cat, but you get enough to do all yes. of this and everything. Yeah. Um, plus your felt, plus your instructions. That one's £45. Can we get that panel out? Well, same as that, isn't it? Well, it is, isn't it, really? But when you see it in its painted state, it, it does look quite bright. Yeah, I have upped up. since then. You've, I've you've upped. U u uber charged the colours. Of yes, the... I have. I've uber charged the Also, this one's bigger than that And one. it is bigger, yeah. <laughs> so it's nothing like that. I forgot it was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Completely <laughs> forgot. Right, so we're getting more then. So you're getting the bigger one. You're getting the bigger, brighter version. How big is this? How big is this It's measure? 48 by 48. It says 45 on the panel, but you get 48. You do get 48. This is 48. Yeah, twice as big as the I'll, small. I'll amend that, those notes as yes, well. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Anyway, and the colours have been supercharged as well. They've been supercharged. So you get the big panel, you get way too much felt, you get 15 skeins, you get your needles, you get your instructions. You get two needles with this Two one. needles. And, again, a full-on instruction kit as well. Yeah, so it explains how I've done the small one and how, I've, Look at my thing there. Uh, how I've done the big one. Yeah. as well and the couch stitch for the applique beautiful so that's the big one then we go on to the luxury one which we go to the back to the small cat so we'll get rid of that and we'll yes. get rid of that. that that one's yours this one goes in my i just don't want to make too much of a mess so you take that one away and in this one you get the small cat uh, but you get loads and loads of goodies in there, don't you? So yeah, you get... so basically, it's like buying the the cat, the small cat kit and, yep. and a wool kit, but you've got a choice of three embroidery designs to put on your panel. OK. Um, so there's a £10 saving as, um, if you bought those kits separately. So but... if you bought all this separately, it would be £70. Yes. And we're doing it for £60. Plus, you get extra... An extra 10 skeins, because you've got 20 skeins. Yeah. You get a hoop extra, and you get the scissors, the stalk scissors extra, and you get a choice of three. Right. Um, so what you can do is, once you've done templates. your cat on there, yeah. you get your linen, and then you use the templates from the linen. Am I going which To choose, going? yeah. So you kind of got like a, a beginner, a slightly more... Um, here you go, here you go, here you go. Up from there. beginner, and then you've got the Tree of Hope, which is um, a more intricate design. So it and I've got enough wool to do that then, have I? Yes, yeah, definitely. So basically, you get yes. two, you get two complete projects in there. You yes. get the Tree of Hope or whatever you want to do on the linen, yes. and you get the cat on the canvas. Yes. You get the wool for the Tree of Hope, and you get the embroidery skeins for the cat. Yes, and you could, if you cut this up, you could do more than two if you wanted to make full use of that panel. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because you've got you. lots of wool there. You could get two out of it, but you've yep. got 20 skeins. Does it matter that this one's got a picture of the rabbit on it? No, because it's just a generic oh, okay, luxury right, one. But right. you get you get the booklet for the actual hand embroidery and applique. Oh, of course you do. Yeah. So it's as if you bought yeah, that and it's course. in the box. So it's like you bought yeah. two completely two different kits. sets. So for, yes. for £60, you get two kits. And with the linen, you can make two or three projects with that. Yes. That's brilliant, right? Then we've got the super luxury. So this one is the big cat, right? It is. With your uh, 25 skeins, you've got your felt, your needles, the big panel, the embroidered maternity scissors, you've got the uh, hoop. Now you've also got wool in that one and, again, templates and everything. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's still a £10 saving, but you're getting extra yes. skeins and you're getting a bigger. Lovely. So that's your super luxury £75. But again, there's two kits in there. What you could do is you get this home, take the bits out that you want to do, put the box back together and give it something as a gift. Well, this is it because I thought that's a good idea to do those. Rather than, I used to do them, they're all bundled together. Yeah. I thought, well, that's, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> More work for you, though. I know. Beautiful. So that's super luxury cat, right? So that's the four cat versions. Right, now let's move on to Kingfisher. So exactly the same, we've got Kingfisher Small. Yeah, Kingfisher Small, which is... Brilliant. Yeah, there's your Kingfisher Small there. Beautiful, isn't it? So this one again, you've done a bit... So this one you get your embroidery thread, lovely colours. Felt, needles, panel and instructions there. £30. Lovely, isn't it? This is gouache paint. I painted it's what? This. I painted it with gouache paint. The original painting? The original So one. where are the original paintings now, then? At home. On your wall or in a folder? Fold in a folder. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? When you start doing <laughs> oh, this a job, how many things... Because in the old so days, much. you'd have painted that put on your dad's wall, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I've got so much stuff that I've yeah. made. Exactly. Yeah. And you've only been doing it since 2018. I know. Yeah. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, ten years. Uh, anyway, so that's your small one for £30. Then we've got the large one. I'm not going to get all these. I'll get the panel out. Oh, no, we've got it there. Now, is there enough to do all of this in here? Remember you, the cat? We couldn't do the cat. No, you, you wouldn't. You would only get some of these colours to do the kingfisher. Right, so okay. it's mainly around the, the flowers that we saw on this one. Yeah. So it's a sort of hybrid, if you like. Um, but that, again, is bigger. The um, you don't even need to put any stitching on if you don't want to. It's I beautiful, know, isn't it? It's, I think it, yeah. But you could just do like yeah, kind of little just, uh, bits, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you could. You don't need to follow what I've done. No. You could just do a few stitches there. Yeah. And you've bought a piece of uh, oh, different linen again. We've only got the plate, the, the natural, the natural linen on our yeah, website. Yeah, natural yeah. beige um, linen. Yeah. yeah. So the back Lovely. Things, which so, would also go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's the large one. That's yeah. the large one. Now we move on to the luxury one. I'm not going to... Oh, I will open this. Will open so this one, you get the small kingfisher, but you also get more skeins. You get the hoop, you get the scissors, you get the felt, you get the instructions, but you also get the templates. This is the large box. Oh, sorry, have sorry. I done the wrong one? I thought I'd put the wrong sorry, one. Sorry, my bad. I thought it was me. <laughs> no, 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 I picked the wrong no, one. No, there's, well, there's a lot of options. Sorry, it? sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> so that's the small one there, with the scissors, with that, with your... Um, 20 skeins, uh, with your linen, with your instructions. Has that got Tree of Hope in it as well? Yes. So, yep. so, so it's got the, of Hope the same there. three choices of embroidery pattern, yeah. Beautiful. Across the boxes, yeah. So again, you've got two completely separate projects in there with all your thread and your yarn and everything for £60. And beauty packaged as well. There, <coughs> excuse me, then we have the super luxury, which is one I tried to sell you earlier, is the big one. Mm -hmm. Big, oh, you see it now. Big panel. Uh, 25 skeins in this one, thread, uh, not thread, felt, linen, and all your wool uh, that you need, £75. That's the super luxury one. Beautiful. And uh, again, in the pattern, you've got the instructions how to do the Kingfisher, but you've also got the Tree of Hope, three different designs, templates in there. Yes. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Do I get... Yes, I do. Two needles? No, I was going to say And this. the carbon fill. Yeah. You must get through an awful lot of those envelopes. Yeah, I do. You can recycle them. Right, yeah. but it's best to keep you it in You can use them to cut for your needles, Fred. Oh, yes, of course you can. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So that's all of your those. Now I'm going to do the rabbit. Rabbit small. That one. This, Is that right? People love the rabbit. Rabbit small. Rabbit, oh, sorry. Yep, rabbit small. Um done really well, the rabbit. Everybody seems to like a bunny. Do they? Yeah. I don't know which one's my favourite. I think mine's the cat. Oh, is it? It's cat is the cat favourite, the cat, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They're all beautiful. They're all, in fact, I'd won all three. I'd have this one, this one, and the cat one in the same size, frame them, put them on the wall. Yeah. That's what I'd do. Good as a trio. Keep the cat away from... Oh, no, keep the cat away from both of them. <laughs> Having said that, when I, was, I got home the other day, and I was working up... I literally got in, left the back door open, ran upstairs... There was this really weird noise downstairs. I was like, oh, what's happened? So I ran downstairs. There's a duck and ten ducklings, ducklings, in my kitchen. <laughs> wow, and the duck, there isn't a noise. The mum was going, bark, 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 bark. So first of all, I thought, I could see they come in through the back door, but, like, where did they come <laughs> from? And then I had the issue of getting them back to the pond, which is miles away. So I was 
doing this. Now, my two cats, right, I've got the b bulliest big black cats like this. Ghost just came down and like looked at them and went, oh, and then wandered <laughs> off. Luther <laughs> ran upstairs. You know, you know, you think in Mother Nature, they'd be like, yes. oh, dinner. Yeah. None of that. And then, oh. then when I was when uh, uh, I was like this, Oliver from next door, but one with two of us were doing this, trying to get them through to the pond oh. and everything. And Ghost just came out and just watched us doing it. Didn't. And I was thinking, oh no, Ghost now going to chase them. Anyway, I, I did wonder whether to do a duck next because I was thinking I need to do another. Oh, one. I've taken a picture. I'll send it Ooh, to you. Oh, please. Apparently, mallard <laughs> mums are the worst duck mums there are. Somebody put the message on my Facebook page. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So this is your thirty pound rabbit. Small. Then we've got Rabbit Big. Here you go. There's Rabbit Big. Now, if you supercharge this one, or shall I show that one? Show the one in the packet. Yeah. I didn't... I forgot that I'd supercharged it. It was a while ago. There you go. Oh, there that you beautiful, go. isn't it? This is, and this is your artwork, isn't it? It is. Yeah. My painting, yeah. 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 Uh, so, for £45, you get the big panel... You get the felt, you get the skeins, you get the needles, you get everything in there that you need to make this one. 15 skeins is a lot, so you've got a lot of Oh, yeah, you'll have loads left over your stash, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. They're, lo they're lovely threads. Yeah. And what do you say, what make are they, say? Luca S. Luca S. Good, good quality. Good quality. They're very smooth and soft, and the colours are beautiful. And in the instructions, did it tell me whether I need single strand, double strand... Um, I, think I think I've put exactly how I've done the smaller one with the applique on. And oh, more. I put notes on what, how I've populated the bigger one as well. Okay, lovely. And yeah. so that's that one. Then we now pick up the right one, John. Then we've got luxury, which is where you get the small rabbit, the small bunny, you get the hoop, the scissors, you get 20 skeins, you get a big piece of your linen, you get the instructions for the... Um, this one, and you get a tree of hope, uh, templates and instructions for that, and you get your wool. Is the wool the same colour in all of them to the tree of hope? They do vary, um, because... But just, they're much of a muchness. They're much of a muchness, and I always try to... So, like with the Kingfisher one, I try to put the blues and the greens oh, and, and make sure you've got those colours. Yes, yeah. And the other ones might vary, but I do like putting colours together. Yeah. Like, you know, these... I'd never have guessed. I love it. <laughs> I'm putting these together. I'd get all the thread boxes out and I actually... Oh, I you know, a oh. the You don't do it at home, do you? <laughs> yes. Are they all over the dining room table? They're upstairs in the attic. Oh, this so attic they, room must be... It's tiny. Oh. It's about that wide <laughs> by about six foot. Oh, it's, so there wouldn't be room for anyone else then, just you, your yarns yeah, and your threads. Yeah, it's a nightmare. But that's not where you've got all your, your cones of yarn, is it? Yeah. I thought they were in your studio. Some are in the studio. OK, fine. <laughs> I filled that End as of well. conversation. Right, then I've got super luxury. Yeah, it's a very cottage industry, but it's a very small cottage. I love it, though, but I think if we can support cottage industries... It's like my, my friend Claire. She makes things using Harris Tweed, and she goes up to uh, yeah. Scotland, oh. and everything she makes has to have a label on it saying which croft it came from and oh. who wove it. Yeah. Wove? Is that the right word? Yeah. You wove it. But you know, we've... But anyway, <laughs> it's, it's, to, it's to make sure the sustain the cottage industries up there. So everybody, yes. so you can't just go out and buy it and do whatever you want with it. It's got to be I, registered. I things like, like things to have a story. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I do. Uh, anyway, so, um, in fact, if you've got Threads of Life, the TV show, you'll see an interview with us soon. Right, so this one here, you get the big rabbit, the big bunny, the hoop the scissors, 25 skeins in this one, your linen, your tree of hope uh, instructional, three uh, different templates, plus your threads, £75. What's the matter? And the needles. Oh, and the needles. And the, and the, and the um, carbon paper. Film. 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 <laughs> we'll get there one day. Uh, £75 that one, but remember, I know you think it was £75, but you're getting two, well, one huge project. This one here could be two or three projects. You get all of this, which you're not going to use all of this, are you, on that? You've got the scissors forever, you've got the hoop forever, and then the, the yarn. Uh, you're not going to use all of that, are you? £75 for that lovely box up there. Brilliant. Now, you're going to do... So you say you're going to do some, uh, something else, some other demo, because that's it for the show, isn't it? And then I'll come... Uh, well, I'm it running was... out of breath. I'll come back to the little <laughs> bags in a bit. What? Fine, I just couldn't... I forgot to breathe. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Over excited. It, it was just a French knot, but I showed a French knot in the last one. Right, but, but there was oh. a French knot in this is from any of these. So you can put the cat, the dog. No, no, no dog. There's no dog. The cat, the <laughs> not yet. The chicken. No. <laughs> rabbit, kingfisher, or cat. Do we want to see a French knot again? Or Why, what else have you got to show us then? Do a French knot. <laughs> They're all laughing at me now. <laughs> That's put me on the spot. A, not in these. No. Do <laughs> a French knot. If you plan to do a French knot, you do a French knot. Okay. And also, oh no, there's nowhere to do one of those um, pistols. <laughs> no, there isn't. Oh, there might be. Do you want me? Yeah, we could, oh, do, a, we could do one of those. You'd you end see, up with see? We got there. We got there. We did. piece of paper so, piece of paper do you do that every single time now more or less yes if i'm being lazy and i can't find that and i try to thread it it just goes wrong yeah it was, also it splits sometimes you can split the yarn or the thread and everything can't you yes yeah it gets annoying yeah so you might as well just do it the right way yeah the easiest way so yeah so so hang doing... on if you're in your tiny attic where did your dad cut the linen then downstairs oh okay in the kitchen <laughs> I'm going to buy him a bigger table. Oh, I think he's going to buy him a bigger house. <laughs> I need a big, I need an extension. <laughs> That's why it's called Little House of Victoria. <laughs> oh, I see. No, it's not. It's because I called it that because I intended it to be like an art department store. So there'll be embroidery. I do wet felting courses. Yeah. You know, so it's not just restricted to one thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. So. But no mention of Barry then. No mention <laughs> Little House of Victorian Barry. And well, Barry. he's got his own house, you see. <laughs> uh, has his house got any of your stuff in it, though? Well, only a tiny bit. Okay. Because he keeps saying, do you want me to keep that? Do you want me to keep that? Oh. I'm like, it's not fair. I've stopped. No. And also, you'll nick it and sell it to his mates and things if you put it in his <laughs> house. Anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> so we're doing a French knot. Just a French, plain French knot. Plain French knot. Yeah, not so, a pistol. Oh, we're doing a pistol. No, no, do we're both. Doing a pistol. Do both. No, do we're both. doing a pistol, aren't oh, we? we're doing a pistol. We're doing right, a pistol. Right, right okay. I did a French knot first, though, last time, didn't I? Should we do a French yeah, knot? Yeah, do a French knot, and then we'll do a pistol, because I might not have been watching earlier. Have we got time? Knot it to start. We've got three minutes. I've got six strands. Um, I am going to... So the, the knack with French knots, I am right-handed. So I keep tight hold of this in my left hand yeah. at all times, till the very last second, and that is the key to success. Now, with a French knot, you can wrap it round the needle once. Does it have to go that way round, or could it go the other way round? I tend to do it this way. It always goes wrong if I do it the okay, other way. Okay, okay. But other people do, so whatever you find yeah. easiest, you put the needle back almost where it came out of. Yeah. Now, can you see I've still got hold of this in my left hand? And that's the key, really, to control it. Even put your finger through it to control it slowly, slowly. Don't rush it. Just let it go at the last second. And it's nice and neat. Beautiful. Now, a pistol stitch is a French knot on a stick. So if we wanted to do a stick with a French knot there, even though this is yellow, which is a bit strange, but never mind. She's busy saying <laughs> what a pistol is. It's the female organ of a plant. So again, I start it like a French knot. I'll do it twice around the needle, rotate yeah. it. and. So instead of going through where you've come from, you go where you want the knot to be. Where you want it to yeah. be. So it could be any length, yeah. really, but I want it to be on the end of there. But I'm keeping tight hold of this again with my other hand. And you just control it, let it go slowly. See, that looks lovely on there. You hadn't thought of that? No. See, uh, we want the instructions rewritten. Yeah. For a pistol stitch on your parsley, your cow parsley. Because you know what, you could do that in green and then put a row of yellow ones as well. Oh. Because so some of them look like yeah, that, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's, it, it, this kind of craft is brilliant, isn't it? Because yeah. nothing's fixed. Nothing's like, you have to do this and you have yes. to do that. You can make it your own any which way, can't you? Yes, definitely. Brilliant. Right, recap any of the new bags, Jess, before we go. Uh, okay. Je uh, cat. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You just passed me over the kit. Oh, these. I could have oh, passed those. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. She gets paid the extra for you, see. <laughs> that was cruel, wasn't it? Right, OK. <laughs> so we'll start with the Hedgehog Forest, which is this one. I just need to move you over a bit. There you go. Right, over half stock of those have gone. Hedgehog, and that started off in the lead, you see that one. 
Hedgehog first starts off on the lead. Beautiful. Then we had... The lilac, that's the one. Lilac chrysanthemum was next. That was the grey one. Oh! Luckily, it landed on something. <laughs> no, no, I think it's got fabric inside, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, anyway, look at that one. That's your, that's your lilac chrysanthemum. So we've got the woven meal stitch and yeah. the wool, which makes it nice and squidgy. Yeah, what say, <laughs> Jess, sorry? Third of the stock of that one's gone. £40, lovely. Then we had the blue rose on that fantastic, I don't know, hemp jute, but it's not, it's severe. Pure linen. Yeah. Two left, once you're checked out, two of those left now. Check out, check out, check out. Beautiful. Then we went from the wool to the uh, embroidery thread and we went to Flutterby Butterfly, which we love. Oh, we could do a herringbone stitch, I think, won't we? Too late. £40. Do it next time. I dread demonstrating that one. <laughs> oh, well, you know, you've got enough time to practice it. Next I can time. hear people that have been to my workshops laughing now. Oh, no. They're laughing in the gallery again. She'll never come back, John, the way you're talking to her. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm no, only joking. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 it's fine. But uh, people, yeah, they laugh at me because I'm like, oh, no. Because there's some stitches that you instinctively get. Yeah. And there are others you have to think about before you do yeah. them. But well, you've got a month to think about it. Well, I watch my own video. There's a video on my website of me doing it. Well, we'll bring the video and we'll just play your video. Bring it with you next time. We'll just go, this is how you do this. And we'll wear the same outfit that you're wearing yeah. in the video. We'll just click, no one will yeah. know. No one will know. <laughs> and then this one, gorgeous one, this one, the Art Deco. Alphabet numbers and catch you get so much in there for your 40 pounds. Uh, isn't it just beautiful? Uh, now, just if you weren't watching earlier, you get all the alphabet in capital, all the alphabet in little letters. You get a forward slash, you get the numbers, you get an anthesan, you get love and a slash. I said that. Did you say slash? Forward slash. <laughs> slash. <laughs> beautiful. I thought more of those would go. Of course, the stock's gone, but I thought more of those would go because I love that one. And there's enough in there to do four letters. You do four letters with the thread that's in there. You could probably do more. Actually. Oh, and more, and more but I we're, say, so. we're saying four. We're just, not... Yeah, we're being, yeah, because you've got six. And you didn't even use that one, no? There. No, I didn't. And I had loads left. There was hardly any gone with that. Brilliant. Mm. When are you next, then? I don't know. Oh, no. And what classes have you got coming up, then? I've got a class at my studio next yeah. weekend, which is textured embroidery, similar to yeah. this, but where you paint first and splotch. Oh, wow, OK. And then I'm a... a Rugged Centre in Penrith. And how do people get hold um, of you? They want to know where you're teaching. So things. at the website, which is it, littlehouseofvictoria.com, and there's a workshop tab. And, and do you do social book. media as well? I do Instagram. Oh, do you? Oh, do I follow yeah. you on Instagram? I think you do. Yeah, yeah. You don't put very much on it though, do you? I post most days. Do you? I try to. You sure? It's broken on my phone at the moment. Oh, so that'd I'm be not, why. So I'm they're saying poor, normally. Poor, poor Victoria, they're saying now. I'm only teasing. Because <laughs> uh, I'm coming to visit you soon, aren't I? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not doing a class because I'll be too, what's it? No, not good. I'd be like, <laughs> they'd get fed up of me bickering at the back and things like that. Anyway, it's lovely to see you. Oh, lovely to see you. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, your dad will be in a minute. I was going to send our love to your dad, but he'll be shunnering in in a minute. Don't go anywhere. I've got quilts, kits, you will... Oh, miss it, miss out, quilt kits. I'll see you in four. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. 
Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Right, this is Quilt Kits. Quilt Kits, uh, miss it, miss out. So I'm starting with a brand new panel that's not a quilt kit, which won't... Yeah, but it's not Miss It Miss Axe, it's brand new, it's a launch. Here you go. It's gorgeous, look. Yucca. Yucca. My yucca doesn't look anything like that. I have, but it's left over from the 70s, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to put it down the, the colours in here. This is Modar, isn't it, this one? Modar Enchanted Dream Skates. So I'm just waving. Take care, see you soon. I'll be in touch. What? What's the matter? Oh, go on then, sneeze. That means you're not, um, you're not adrenaline up if you can sneeze. Beautiful. How much is it? £14.99. Se oh, it's 74 centimetres. That's very precise, isn't it? 
That there, that's a yucca flower. It only happens every once in a blue moon, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't happen all the time. They're made of peas, those, look. No, it's like 74 centimetres. Yeah, it's like dotter. Like, what's that? Is it called crystal art they do? They've got what? Scott's got diamond art above his desk. I don't even know where Scott sits anymore. I thought he... Oh, yeah, because every time I see him, he's just sitting on the table where Munch is. Whereabouts? In the old... That's not going to be there for much longer, though, is it? Getting a bigger TikTok studio. They're not asking me to do anything, TikTok. I don't think I'm TikTok friendly. But they're going to make some really, really exciting films. I don't think I should tell you this. For here, for here, right? And um, I said, oh, who's going to film those? Because I was talking to Emily May about them yesterday. And they went, oh, we've got this influencer. Da, da, da. And I said, who's she? I've never heard of her. I said, you need Rebecca Harrison. She'd be so much better. I know Rebecca Harrison's doing it. Oh, dear, did you? Have I changed everything from the meeting? But uh, just think, right, a young influencer. I want somebody who knows about sewing, not somebody who knows about influencing. My personal choice. To what? Oh, good, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful, fourteen ninety nine. Loads going into my... Now, what are you going to use it for? What would you use this for? A picnic blanket centre. How big's your picnic? I might make it into garden art. So, you know, sometimes you have really ugly garden fences. You could quit, sort of quilt it, odor coat it, and hang it from your fence. Do you know what I mean? I think that'd be quite nice. I've got mirrors. I've got a lot of mirrors in mine. Yeah. You have to be careful because I've got a south-facing garden, you see. And if you've got a south-facing garden and mirrors, they, you know, a bit dangerous. Yeah. Especially if I've got a forest behind me, like a wood behind me. All the neighbours like, I wonder how this started. Oh, it could be John's mirrors. All my lights are LED. Oh, no, I haven't got lights in the garden anymore. But apart from the people who are trying to sell number four, number, is it number four? They've got so many lights in their garden and they're all on solar panels. In the winter, it lights up. Like, like my, in my village, there's no street lights. It's like, what do they call it? Like kind of no light pollution whatsoever, apart from number four, who have like a landing strip going down the whole of their garden. Loads going into baskets. What are you trying to say, Jess? Oh, we're finished with that one. Oh, OK, we're finished with that one. I didn't think we'd finish with that one. Right, we've also got Dreamscapes, this one. This one's even more like bead art, this one. Yeah, you've seen this one. In fact, we all thought this one was a Delphine one for ages, didn't we? And there you are. Oh, you, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was one of her... Um, ow, confetti, who keeps hitting their microphone? Confetti quilting. What on earth is your leg doing on top of the counter? Do it again, do it again. No, that's not it. It's somebody like... <coughs> you know, like they go... <coughs> Can you hear me at the back? Like that, that's what it's like. Hannah does it when she does her breathing. <coughs> <coughs> No, it's only happened twice today. It's just like, like has your um, cardigan brushed against the microphone? Oh, OK. Don't know what it is, then. 40 centimetres. <laughs> anyway, how much is this? 14 99 This goes the other way. This goes landscape, not portrait, this one. Love all the colours in the hedgerow. What, in your garden art? Wall hanging. You could, I tell you what would be lovely, you know, like an attic quilt, attic window quilt. It'd be nice as an attic window quilt. Yeah, yeah, because once you've cut it up, it would have to be a quilt that went sideways on this one, wouldn't it? Oh, it wouldn't, no, your attic quilt wouldn't work with the yucca, because it means the yucca would end up being that wide, wouldn't it? Whereas this way you could just slip this one up. Lovely. And moving on. Right, I've got to go over here now. 
because I'm doing William. Now, there, were, there was another William Morris, but it sold out. I'm here now. Ooh. That one sold out. Sold out. Whoever got that, well done. They have crashed the price for you. Right, stars over the lake. We love this. Now, can't be many of these left now. Right. Uh, just wait to see what we do with the price. They're getting very, um, I thought we'd all been told not to go in there anymore. And I, even I go round the outside now. Okay. 159.99. How much are you just taking off there? How much are you just taking off there? That's you, Jess, producer. You're, no, you're not, I don't know where she is. She's, she's obviously flirting with somebody. Maybe that's it. No one to flirt with. 90 pounds off. Look at the split pay. Three-way split pay. You, you, that, Jess, I bet to hear you at home. That's so loud. <laughs> I've, got, I've got an earpiece that fits right in my ear. When the other people are on, they, uh, they don't wear one that fits into their ear. So when I sit at home watching the show, you can hear... When Hannah's producer, you can hear... and Because I know the way Hannah speaks. I know exactly what she's saying. Anyway. Yep. Three-way split, pay 53.33, is that? Now, we do not charge you any interest, and we do not, more importantly, we do not charge you a fee for using the split pay, whereas other people do. Anyway, shall I open it? Because this is good. Oh, look, have a look at it first behind me. Isn't it lovely? I love these splashes of bright here. Uh, yeah, the pop, that was what to point out, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you looking then? Right, stars over there. Oh, they sent me another new one. Look. Here we go. Now, oh, this one's packed the same. Right, they're all packed like this, right? All of it's in tissue paper apart from those two pieces, and we don't know why. No, no, but it's in every single box. It's in every single box, right? Beautiful, beautiful fabric. Now, we started with I Love William Morris this morning, didn't we? And we're carrying on doing it now. So you've got your beautiful indigo. You've got your um, acanthus there. You've got your Michaelmas daisy. That gorgeous green. Just splashes of the colour in there, isn't it? Then you've got your um, golden lily. You've got your strawberry thief, big strawberry thief there. Then you've got your marigold. Then you've got your country flowers. Now, I always forget the name of this one. Oh, I bet it's not cut. And, um, oh, oh, Daisy. Daisy, it's called. I should remember that one. Beautiful, aren't they? Then you've got that other one there that, that, that goes in your flying geese. And you've got your beige background. And you've got more um, strawberry thief. £90 just come off that price. £90. There's no backing in it. There's no backing in it. Oh, there's no binding. Uh, i tell you what else. No, these normally include binding, these. Yeah, it says here, includes binding, Jess. You just need your backing. Oh, actually, have we still got the William Morris wide extra wide backing from earlier? Oh, it's on the web. It's on the web. You can't look at it. It's on the web. No, I haven't, no. But Kat might have packed it away already. She's packed it away already. She's not getting out. No, it's fine. Anyway, 159.99. Split pay 53. Look at the size of it, 168 by 210. Only, only cause that, that if you look at the website, we had some uh, extra backing that we didn't get time to do earlier, which would be perfect, perfect for this one. The linen colourway would be gorgeous, yeah. Oh, Christine's not, not got a nice garden. I don't know how long though, this message came in. She said she's got a six-foot high fed, fence hedge and 10 foot square full of weeds well christine you need some of those yucca plants and you could make tree art or wall art oh mirrors mirrors would be good that your gary would be able to stop looking at himself would he that's the problem 159.99 okay over half so it's gone even more in baskets it's always popular it's beautiful. It's huge. It's on sideways at the moment, by the way. She'd have to lie in the bed that way. But it's actually really easy. Um, it's really easy. It says advanced beginner, but I think that's only because you're making half square and quarter square triangles. 
Four left. Four left once you've all checked out. I'll come back to it. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll move on and I'll come back to that one. Sanderson quilt kit next. I think that's on this side. I'll come back to that in a minute, so don't be taking that away. Is this Sanderson? Is it called... Um, oh, I can't even... OK, was it this one? Garden Path sold out. Sold out. Just as well, because... Oh, yes, it is. Garden Path sold out. Well done. OK. Uh, Moda. This is on last Friday, Good Friday, with me and Catherine Wright. 68 by 84. It's very, very... Oh, right, now. Now, now, now. I've got to tell you something about this. Make sure you read and follow the instructions properly. Because Catherine didn't. She'll be watching. She won't mind me saying. She won't mind me saying. What you get... Oh, it's all, it's all been sealed up. You get a... I'm going to open it. You get a 10-inch layer cake, of which... You will use all of them except two. So you can make two mistakes, that's all. You can make two mistakes. So you get beautiful willow, the willow 10-inch square. By, now, we can remember this is if this was one canoe two or I canoe two. So the designer, right? Then you've got border and binding and background. And then this is your design. Now, Jess, can you go to YouTube last Friday? Because we had it just hanging up behind... She made, Catherine made half of it, just so you can see what half of it would look like made up. Is that all right? It's very easy, but, but, but... Th then when you cut your fabric out, it's like four by four and a half. It's not four and a half by four and a half, or four by four. And you have to make sure you get the squares the right way around. Otherwise, your uh, blocks won't fit together. So we're just, uh, we're just, it was Good Friday at about, was she 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, something like that? Oh. Yeah, you can. It's, it's, it's not one that says more detail or something. Anyway, we're getting to it now. I'm not wearing the same shirt, am I? Oh, no. No. There, there, stop, freeze. Oh, missed. Stop, freeze. Freeze. There you go. That's what it looks like behind Catherine. She'll hate you for that picture, but don't worry. Um, that's what it looks like. It's lovely. It's very, very simple looking. Very, very simple. Looking. But you have got to make sure... Oh, oh, just did a little legal move there. Oh. Anyway, that's it. That's it. I just wanted you to see what it looked like hanging up, because you can see it from a box. Oh, I don't think you'll see it. Oh, and that's not the price we stayed at. I don't remember this. Oh, 70 pounds coming off. 70 pounds coming off. 129.99. No, because we didn't take a, a still of it because it was just half of a, a patch. You know, she just patchworked it together. So it was just hanging on the wall behind. But lovely fabrics, lovely fresh fabrics. Oh. That's it finished there. Obviously not with the blue line round it. It finishes on the one in the middle. We had a quilt the other day. And we all thought it had a blue frame, a blue border, I mean. And it was just the frame of the picture. Anyway, 129.99. Well done. Ooh. Butterflies and blooms. Now, we might need Kat to uh, direct the camera up to that one because it's on the wall next to the William Morris. Here she comes. Oh, I'm not going to open it then. There's only one left. Right, six people have got it in their basket. Sorry, I'll move everything out of the way. There you go. Six people have got it in their baskets. And we're going to crash the price. First come, first served. 119.99, two-way split pay. Alison Marion made this one, I think, didn't she? On what date? 11th of January. 11th of January to 11 o'clock. Oh, so what do you think she did at some other time? 
How many sold that day? Oh, there you go. Well, it been that day then. So it's a panel in the middle with like borders around. It's very, very easy to do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open it because this is the one you're gonna get. Well done, whoever got it. Well done. Right, I've got to go back over to the other table now. Don't, oh, don't put either of those away, Kat. Oh, what, what, what? What has? Oh, I'm still going over there. No! Hayley, now one thing we're not allowed to do, or producers aren't allowed to do, is stop, steal stock from the next day. Hayley's producing tomorrow and she's stolen things from our show to put into her show for tomorrow. Just play it, just play it. Oh. Okay, I'll just put that there for now then, right? Grandma's quilt, listen, Irene, mean, this is one that Stuart um, demoed. He go, it was a new range of your, yeah. So it's a Sally Ablett, 46 by 46. The block, you make two blocks, that block and that block, using this fabric. Bumbleberry there. She's not been in all week. Maybe she's taking it for her early bird. Beautiful, look. Two fat quarters and your half meterage there. 59.99. Beautiful. Lovely blue. If you like red, white and blue, perfect that one. What's the matter? Beautiful. So what date would we do this one on so we can see Stuart's demo? 30th of January we did this when we launched the Fabrico. Beautiful. Now, this next one, we had the sample of this and Hayley nicked it. Hayley's getting a lot of the blame today, isn't she? Then we nicked it back, and then Delphine nicked it. Delphine made it, admittedly. Yep. <laughs> there it is. So you get eight fat quarters. Sorting them out for you there. Eight fat quarters plus half a metre of your... Is that midnight, that one? Um, plus your instructions with all your templates in, look. What date did she originally do it? It's about 20 years ago, this one, isn't it? No. It was done before then. No, it was definitely done before then. 12th July 2023. That's only a few months ago. That must have been when we redid it. July? That was only eight months ago. We had a different one in different colours. Oh, don't know then. I'm definitely uh, anyway. Beautiful. Yeah, don't believe it. Okay, next. Blueberries, now, this was a block of the month. This was a block of the month, right, that Yvonne did. You're going to Yvonne's shop opening today. I'm going there in about 37 minutes. I'll be on my way there. This was, have we got a picture of the finished quilt, please? Oh, that's it there. Okay. Uh, so it's 238 pounds and 93 pence. Are very limited. We've got very limited on stock. Now, all the bumps are here. So what it was, was if you look, that was the finished quilt there. I won't show you that one. And then each month we did... Now, some blocks were really easy, very little to do. And th like that one was very easy. That one was... Th that one's a plique and piecing. Then we went to number three. Well, it, it was... It's, um, a year, well, how many months are there? Seven, 
It's only seven months, so it must have been. But she's done two. She's done a... Right. But she's done two since this. She's on to Japan now, and she's done another... What was the other one, Kat, she did before Japan? Oh, I know, the beautiful green gardeny one. So that was a block of the month, the green gardeny one. Yeah, yeah, and the birds and everything. And then we're on the Jap Japanese one now. So this is the one before that. This is the one before that. Um, anyway, so uh, there's uh, four. There's month four with more applique and your piecing. Month five, piecing and applique. Month six, piecing and applique. Month seven... Must, oh, I know. Month seven is your border, your binding, your border and your border. So all the fabrics look all lovely. Beautiful fabrics in here. So we did do it in a purple and white or a mulberry and white and a blue and white. So this was the blue and white. Then you get the embroidery thread, you get the sewing thread and you get all the finishing so you can finish the whole thing off. So it's 238.93. Uh, Oh, so a three-way split pay, seventy-nine sixty-four a month. Okay, that, there's three left and four people in baskets. Three left, four people in baskets. Now check out, check out, check out. I'll wait with you. So as you can see, what you do is you make all the blocks. You don't start putting it together until the very end. So you make your blocks, then you put it all together. Then you do your, bind, uh, your border, border. Then you do your piece border, another border, and your binding. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's, she's got to prove something now. You see, it's Cora you were thinking of that was a while ago. Oh, OK. I still think it was before that. So Chester was only eight months ago. That's fine. I don't believe it still. And then Chester we did before that. That time has gone very, very slowly then, if that was only eight months ago that we did. Because it was on Haley's desk for about six months, wasn't it? Anyway, check out, check out, check out. Okay, and that's that one. Okay, so which one is it we're doing next then? Oh, I've not seen this one. Flying formation. What colour is it? There it is. Flying in formation. So it must be um, flying geese units then. See? Wall art for your garden. Boring fence. 38 inches by 38 inches. Lap or picnic quilt combining flying geese, simple squares and borders. Where did it say that? Oh, yeah, beginner friendly. Now, isn't it funny? Because normally when we do flying geese, it's advanced beginner. Isn't it? How does she do a flying geese? Let's have a look. Oh, it's just in the old-fashioned method, look. Beautiful. So, oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, you see, now, I need a lap quilt to be a bit bigger than that, because I'm sitting watching the telly in winter. I just need to be a tiny bit bigger, because that wouldn't do my feet and my knees at the same time. 25th of March this year. I'm not going to question it, don't worry. 25th of March this year. Um, go and watch it on the YouTube. Let me see. <laughs> oh, 25th of March was last week. Uh, uh, where are we now? April the 5th. Yeah, it was only on like 10 days ago or something. That was it. I love that Wiltshire shadow in that green there. That's lovely. Oh, I know what this was. This for the intermediate. Did she do the intermediate? launches in between yeah beautiful Th it's only 39.99 it's liberty yeah yeah so what does liberty do a big collection then they do an heirloom collection every now and then. this is the heirloom collection she launched about 10 days ago Is that a sarcastic comment? When you're ready, John. You can tell me, try to tell me what to do, I just won't listen. Yeah. What? Uh, living in love, which one, sorry? 
Summer Breeze quilt in purple. Here we go. It's how much? $59.99. Oh, sorry, it's not a pin there. Where did it go? Oh, pfft. It's all going horribly wrong. Sorry, Kat. Uh, anyway, look. Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. Not Liberty, not Liberty. Look, there you go. So you get like a... That's a fat eight. Uh, not a fat eight, long quarter. Long quarter. Another... No, that, do you know what, Tracy? That's exactly what Kat's just said to me. You're thinking of Cora the cat, not Chester the dog. Was Chester a dog? Cat. Oh! Oh, I'm very confused now. Cora's a cat. Oh, no, don't you... I, I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I'll admit it. I know I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Right, so long... Do you get this hassle from your producers in... Uh... <laughs> anyway, so you've got that and that and this... That feels like a cotton poplin, that one. And then you've got your plain white there, plus your instructions. What date was this done on then? What's what? This. Oh, the top one now. There you go. Eighth of March, 2022. It's literally just squares, look. Just squares. Why is it on split pay? Split pay starts at 99.99 normally. Anyway, look, what you do is you make blocks and you twist them round to create the different... Um, 59.99. Oh, it's a bit of... What date was it, you say? Eighth of March, twenty twenty-two. Were we doing anything? Cat knows. You could cut to cat. She'll tell you why. Don't cut to cat. <laughs> Beautiful. Don't put that one away yet, because she hasn't. I won't take it to part. But fifty-nine ninety. No idea where it's on two. Where was it on two weeks split pay from the beginning? Or can you not see that from there? Oh, so it's not funny, huh? Beautiful. Right, moving on. Yeah. Crowned with love, the other uh, living in loveliness. Now, if this is the one I'm thinking it is, Oh, I've not seen this colourway before. Crowned with love. So you've got a heart block in the middle, surrounded by uh, your uh, friendship star there. Now, this is Liberty again. Hundred forty nine ninety nine. Oh, oh, okay. So that's the price it launched at. Okay, Jess is being, Jess is being a bit rebellious now. $119.99. Three-way split pay. About £40, isn't it? £39.99, isn't it? Seventeenth of August, twenty twenty-two. Now it was done for. No, it was after the Queen's, because we did one for the Queen's Jubilee, didn't we? And then this one followed on. Is this when... I can't remember now. My history is not very good like that. Oh, Festival of Quilts. 119.99. Three-way split pay, 39.99. Do what, sorry? Sorry. 
Beautiful. You got your beautiful florals there. You got your Liberty Bell. You got your plain white there and more Liberty Bell. Uh, now, this one's, I think this one's snowballed corners and things like that. There you go, look. So you'll sew 36 of these. Beautiful. So let's just have a look. So, um, so you've got biased edges and you've got points to match. So it's an advanced beginner, I'd say, this one. Or a confident beginner. And there's your heart. That's how you do your heart. So you've got your um, snowballed edges there. Lovely for summer. There you go. There's each block. There's each block. Now, I don't know where, because she obviously did it in the purple and the silver to start with. I'm not sure where each colour would go, but you need to check uh, your measurements against your pieces of fabric. Because she's called it platinum. Uh, oh, just platinum. Uh, yeah. So you've got to make sure that you check before you start that you're using the right fabric because it's it it a whole thing depends on getting the right fabric in the right place. So obviously if you run out of that fabric, so you must, must, must check the fabric before you start. 109 still, 119.99. Uh, third the stock's gone. Beautiful. Very spring-like, isn't it? Keep going through. Lots of you there. Lots of you. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. There's no rush. Oh, now there's a full pre-recorded tutorial. Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. Well, it says here, full print. It's a, but then that's if you join her subscription. Sorry. Well, it depends how old it is. You see, so more recent ones have a video content, but it normally has a QR code at the front. Then I saw that at the back, but that's if you're um, signed up to a subscription channel. Sorry. Finish Quilt is 70 by 70. There you go. Look at the back here. It tells you, right, fabric one, which is silver in the diagram, you get two metres of that one, so that must be that one there. Then the lighter lilac in the back in there is half a metre. Then you get one and three quarter meters of that one, and then you get one meter of that one, half a meter, and then uh, backing fabric. Oh, hang on. It says fabric six is backing fabric. Do you think she means background? Hang on, I'm going to read it because if you've got your backing fabric for 119 pounds, hang on a sec, then let's read it. Cutting squares, borders. I wonder why. You see, it doesn't mean... Oh, hang on. If so you've got any questions, get a hold of Kerry at livinginloveliness.com. Night weekends and bank holidays, no. Um, right, hang on, let me just see, let me just see. Check out, check out, check out. Yeah, I'm just checking to see. Okay, huh? cut your backing fabric. So you get your back, now, okay, this is serious now. If you get your backing fabric for a quilt this size for 119.99, Well, let's work it out. Let's work it out on here, then. Right, OK, so fabric one is the silver in the diagram. There's two metres of that one. So that's not two metres, that's not two metres. That must be... No. Right, hang on. So that's... Right, so that one there is fabric one. Obviously, there's two, there's two, let's just check, there's two metres of that one. One, 
two. Yeah, that's sorry, cat and pack memory. So that's fabric one. Fabric two, there's half a meter of that one, so that's that one there. Fabric three, one and three quarter meters. So that must be this one. So no, there's no backing fabric in here. Let's just check. One. Yeah, that's one and three quarter. One and three quarter. Uh, white, one meter. That's that one. Dark purple, half a meter. That's that one. Yeah. Oh. Right. Hang on. No, no. Oh, I don't know. I, I, can, I don't think there's backing in here. I don't think there's backing in here. Even though it says here. But then it says fabric six. Can you have you got it on there? No, you won't have it, will it? Uh -huh. that, well, it's fantastic value. Fantastic value. If you doubt, just message Kerry. Just message, because it definitely says fabric six, backing fabric, or you can join fabric for the back. So, anyway. It has, I'm going to say it hasn't got backing in it. Loads you got it in your baskets, so loads you got it in your baskets. Oh, sorry, I'll just put this because I've got to get on. There you go, cat. <laughs> Man's a little, which one? Picnic, blanket, yeah. Got this one. I love this one. I was on, this is easy to do this one. What you do is you make blocks like this, so it looks like a hashtag. And then you put them in and you just twist them around. Gorgeous colours. Uh, 44.99 plus your instructions. No, 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 no. I'm just working out your reasoning, that's all. Beautiful, gorgeous rainbow quilt, isn't it? 9th of July, 2023. Oh, that was me. With me, I was on that day. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, you will have done. Pick me blanket. Uh, rip stop is what uh, Jess put in. The now, what do we have earlier that I said would be good for the back of a outdoor quilt? Oh, the polyester. The poly. I mean, it was William Morris, but it would look lovely on the other side, wouldn't it? Oh, one of the William Morris's look gorgeous there, the polyester William Morris's. That was only 5 99 half a metre, and it was wide, wasn't it? Oh, ripstock on the website. Uh, yeah, the ripstock's fantastic. Fantastic, because it won't let the water come through or anything like that for the back of a picnic quilt. And it's good value for it. It's about 2 99 or something, isn't it? <laughs> I can't say that. 44 I love this, love this colourway in the rainbow colourway. It looked like a gorgeous tartan, won't it? Beautiful. All 100% cotton, all 44 inches wide, all machine washable. You get more of the black one than you do of the others. Beautiful. Emma Bradford's temperature quilt, but in monochrome. So this is the one where, she even puts a chart in here, where you mark the temperature every day what you do, first of all, is you take your fabrics, right? Uh, so you see how much yardage you've got here and you put them into the different sections. Then what you do, decide um, when the temperature here, this is your chart. So like on the, say when you start in January, say the temperature is one degree, you put in a, a, a swatch of the one, whatever you've chosen and colour it in here. And what happens is, as you can see here, whatever year this was, it started off cool, then it got warmer, then we went a bit cool again. Then we got very, very, very hot and then we got cooler again. But what she's done, it doesn't have to go from January to December. She started one of them in April before. So it just depends on where you want your colour and everything. So on this one, your background's white and then... All your different temperatures, there's a metre of each of these, look. So you can, so these are going to be your ones at your average temperatures all the time. Then that one's half a metre, and then those are fat quarters. So, so those are at the beginning and the end of the year. But that's Liberty, Moda, and our regular fabrics in there. Bit of our splodge there. I don't know what that one is, that reptile one. I don't know what that was for. 
Anyway, and there's your Liberty there. And then look in here, look at your fat quarters. Liberty Wiltshire Shadow, Liberty White on White. Two left once you've all checked out. 109.99, split pay of 54.99. What date did we do it on, please? Fourteenth of this year. <laughs> On the fourteenth of this year. Fourteenth <laughs> of January this year. I haven't seen Emma Bradford. Out. We did it what? Oh yeah, when I did it with it was the second time she did it. Yeah. Got instructions on their own if you'd like them. We did do a demo on that day that I was on with her, with the new colourways. 23rd December 2023. No, I've not seen Emma Bradford for ages, but I think she's in next week. Yeah, yeah, she's booked in, like, I think it's the end of next week, isn't it, she's in? Next Saturday, with me, yeah. Oh, she's doing, here we go, she's, she's doing what? Cave Facet Art Gallery Quilt Kit. And a Creative Grids Masterclass. 9.99. She doesn't do a Friday night what's it anymore, does she? A Friday night Facebook Lives. Anyway, that's nine ninety nine for that instructions. Two oh, of the instructions as well. So it's two of the quilt. Uh, oh, oh. No, two of the quilt left. Yeah. Lovely. Fans and chopsticks. I did this one with Amanda as well. Which one? Is that the one with the blue in it? Yeah. So, this is fans and chopsticks here. So, it's a lovely, lovely design. So, you kind of do like a Dresden plate for your, with your Sanderson's fabric. Look. I remember that when we did this, this was the day we launched the Sanderson fabric. In fact, what it is, we had two colourways, but each one had different Sanderson fabric in it. So the blue one hasn't got the same fabric as the black one. So this is the bluey one, oops, with these. And then you've got your background. These are your chopsticks and these are your fans. 63.99. Uh, six fat quarters and four meters of fabric. And then that, and its finished size is 54 by 66 inches. 17th of December, 2023. I was on that day. Right. Single figures. Single figures on that one. Also got it in the black. That's what I said. That's all right. <laughs> Jess isn't worth used to working on Saturday, so. How are you, Jess? Did you have a late night last night? Oh. Look. So different fat quarters and then four metres of your fabric there. And your instructions. Beautiful. Now, on the day, this was more popular. I, I like that one. I like the blue rainbowy one. Uh, not the rainbow one, the bluey one. But this one was more popular on the day. Oh, because this is the picture, you see, that's what, the, that's what yours will look like. Beautiful. All full instructions, as you'd expect from Amanda, with your templates as well. Very detailed. Got the instructions on their own. Beautiful. I love the fact she, on the front of our pattern, she advertised her long arm quilting and rental service. Nine ninety nine. She's doing what? What naked? Oh, she's doing a furry bear quilt next time she's in. That sounds nice. Nine ninety nine for instructions. Yeah. Next, moving on. You don't don't Google it on that computer. 
If you do, put it in Ben's name. <laughs> right. Okay. Flying chains in pastel. Oh, I don't remember this one. This one wasn't with me, I don't think. Fourth of November, 2023. You get a lot of fabric in this one. Now, you see this one, 62 dollars nine for all this fabric. So two, three and a half, four, five, six, seven metres, seven metres of fabric plus your instructions. Apparently, you only get one instruction on this, though. Instruction and fabrics. Was oh, that you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Be sold out before you change it. Beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. Most of today's stock has gone. Have you drunk any water? That might be what it is. Oh, you have. Oh, that came out of the... Um, I'll file it here for you. Right. I've got this in Liberty Bell. Oh, Wiltshire Shadow as well. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that one. And I like the cream, the vanilla-y background. It's not vanilla, but the creamy background. Look. That one, obviously, that one's more expensive because it's full of Liberty. Oh. Oh, OK. We're going to do a little bit of a deal. And it'll still be on split pay. Well, it will be on split pay. Two-way split pay. Look, £50. Pounds. That's gorgeous. Like seven metres of fabric and um, five metres, that is Liberty. So now five metres of Liberty fabric from Liberty itself, wouldn't, you wouldn't get that. You wouldn't get that. And you've got your 9 99 So take 9 99 off for the, for the pattern. That takes it to £90, pounds, doesn't it? That one, you get three, of three, four, five metres of Liberty. That's all Liberty. So five metres of Liberty fabric for um, £90 is ridiculous. Plus you get two metres of, of, of Rose and Hubble. It's incredible, that value. Value for money, that's the best. That's best. Of course, that's, and it's going to look lovely in those greens, isn't it? Look really lovely. Verdant. 4th of November. 4th of November, that one. Instructions on their own. Of the flying chains. Nine ninety-nine. Lovely instructions, look. Very clear, very precise. She knows what she's doing, Amanda Little. She's very, very good. Now I've never seen this one. I've never seen this quilt before. This is... Oh, of course, in two colours. Right, OK, I've just picked up the actual... Um... Is this which one, is it? There's no purple in this. Yeah, so I've got this... What have you put in? What graphs have you put in, then? Oh, purple. I'll, 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 I'll show you that, then. I'll just show you this, first of all. So, you get the instructions, the Big Mac... Big Mac, no, the big cat mosaic quilt. So what you get is you get a metre of splodge, a metre of splodge, a metre of purple, a metre of lilac or lavender, a metre of white, and then you get this panel. Look at the size, but look at all the pictures on it. They're all Pollyanna Pickering, aren't they? All Pollyanna Pickering pictures. They're paintings, yeah, they're paintings. The, the mum hand painted them and then... Lou did the book. Beautiful, aren't they? So that's that one. That's in the purple version. And look at the price. 67 99 We can take £24 off of that panel straight away. Oh, and 9 99 for those. Brilliant value for money, that. And the layouts. Oh, oh, look. She's given you a choice. Look at the choices she's given you. She's obviously just got a new um, computer, hasn't she? Yeah, so that's your big play, play, I can't even say it, big Mac play, play, play. Then noughts and crosses. Without, now, that's not, has that not got the thingies in it then? That's not got the animals in it. 
Beautiful. Right, this is this one. I'll hold this one up again for you because I've got this colourway. Oh, then we have to go. Look, then we have to go. Oh, yeah, I meant to do tomorrow's menu. Look, there's, there it is. Two left. Two left. <laughs> Jess said, it is going to sell out. And we've got the instructions on their own. Oh, that's why she'll have put it uh, the d different ones so you could do different colourways. Get a lot. I wonder if they are they twelve ninety nine. No, nine ninety nine, not nineteen nine. <laughs> Jess has just doubled the price. She tried to sell you this for nineteen ninety nine. Okay then. Remember the William Morris quilt? Sideways on William Morris quilt. It's there on the wall. There it is. I've got the oh, I've got the box. I've got the box. But 159.99. It was what 249 was it? 249.99. Two left once you've all checked out. Two left. Three-way split pay. It's beautiful. That's on sideways, by the way, if you're looking at it there. You will miss it, Miss Axe. That's the name of the hour. Right, shall we look at the menu? It's not me. I'm not in now for two days. I'm, I'm back in on Tuesday. So, Vic's tomorrow. She has got under £10 designer bundles. Who's producing tomorrow? Oh, has Hayley made those um, bundles then? Yeah, of course she would have done that. But that'll go on forever. Handmade by Hayley. She's got the Bradford jacket. The Dave Bradford jacket on at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Then at 10 o'clock, she's got stunning homewares. Then handmade by... It's very basic, this right one, isn't it? Handmade by Hayley at 11. No idea what she's making. And then fabulous fabric panels at 12. I can see what Hayley's doing there. Hayley the producer. So it's Hayley the producer and Hayley the presenter and Vic's the presenter all on tomorrow. Thanks for your company. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you on Tuesday morning. <laughs>